and a salad. In an hour or less, you eat for free. And the Hofbrau donates $50 to the Russ Martin Show Listeners Foundation. So far, we've gotten about $350 back to the foundation of people that have finished this thing. So you want to go in and try it, fine. Their website is HofbrauSteaks.com. You can see the four Dallas-Fort Worth locations. The West End, Fort Worth, Haltom City, and Bedford. It's the Hofbrau for over 25 years. Great steaks, no bull. The following is an OnStar conversation. Hi, this is the craziest thing, but I'm in a different town, and I don't know what parking lot my car is in. Can you help me with that? Yeah, what I can do is I can send an alert out, and what it does is honks your horn and flashes your lights, if that's any help. Well, that might be a help. <laughs> Could I have your OnStar PIN number? 509. If you can't locate your GM vehicle, OnStar can help. We'll find it eventually, but I thought, I think that's one of the services OnStar can help me with. Okay, so here we go. Let's try this. The peace of mind OnStar offers is more affordable than you might think. We hear a voice. We're cold. Oh, we can probably find it. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. Thank you so much. This is the craziest thing. You have a wonderful evening. Thank you very much. You're welcome. KLLI, Dallas, Fort Worth, Live 105.3. The Russ Martin Show. How old do guys live now? 75? 80. 80? If you stay in good health. Yeah. 80 plus. I know. Don't say it. I know. Got we, got, it. we got both of us got left in 40 years uh, left. I know. And probably 20 of those. after the next 15 years, it's going to start to crap. Because in 15 years, I'll be, I'll be 58. I know. Is that right? Doesn't 10 matter. is 53, another 5. Yeah, I'll be 58 <laughs> in 15 years. God. That means I'll be 62. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. That's depressed. That, that's what depressed me coming to work. I'm looking at all those flags thinking, you know what? When, I, when we die, and it won't be that long, there'll be no flags. There'll be no half mast. There'll be who died? What? Who cares? We haven't done anything great. And that's, that, and that's not the point. It's, it's just the fact that we're, we're, on, we're on the downhill slide. The, the good part, it's already happened. We probably got... I say 15 years. Yeah, about 15 before things get really bad. <laughs> you hit 16, you know, things are... You're done. Don't say that. That's depressing. Well, I can't change it. That's what's uh, going to happen. That's why I'm still thinking 50 looks pretty good to whack yeah, myself. You're whack yourself 50. You have a lot of years past that. Plus, you're in great health. You'll live to be 80, 85. Your parents... How old are your parents now? And they're still healthy? I don't know. Mm. You don't know how old your parents are? <sighs> I'm fine. My daddy, my dad's probably about 70 now. There you go. He's still healthy. Still out running around. You'll live to be 80-something. Easy. Swell. <laughs> well, your dad lives a good life. The last few years are going to crap. I don't even have any kids to call. <laughs> you think my kids are going to pick up the phone? I don't know. Hell no. Sit in my own front yard and throw crap <laughs> at the neighbors. <laughs> Swell. And my, I have my waning years. Sit outside in some kind of lawn chair, the hole cut in it, so I could crap in my hand. <laughs> and just wait for somebody to walk by. <laughs> wait a second, Dan. Yeah, go ahead and let it, sir. Good evening, it's Gavin. G Man. Hey. What are you doing? Ah, uh, just uh following up with some emails, doing some work. How are things going with the uh the big anniversary party is it next weekend? It's going great. It's going great. We have, what, what time does everything start, and how does the how's the rundown go? I would suggest people... Uh, All right, what's people, in that bottle? Uh, just water? Water and the uh, lighter fluid on the rag Okay, to make the cocktail. Do you want me to just light the end and run in and set it on his desk and run? Because I'm afraid if I roll it, I don't yeah. want it to hit something and catch fire. Oh. Yeah, and just run out like it's really a... Mo oh, how do you say it? Mo Molotov cocktail. Run it and set it on his desk, one of the yeah. table, and come out. Yeah. Okay. So right. Followed by... Go, uh, back in black down. with a uh, special performance by you. Okay. We're looking forward to, followed what, by... What time we're back? Jesus, come on! Jesus, come on! Get out! Oh, my God! What, what, what are you doing? Get out of here in front of the studio. <laughs> they threw it out in the hall? Yeah. <laughs> well, you burned the whole building down instead of just your office. <laughs> he looked like a rock'em sock'em robot. His head just popped up in front of the window. Gavin! And then following back to the, uh, <laughs> the color. And, uh, oh, my God. What if that was real? You could have killed all of us. What about me? 
It's always about you. Did you see the size of that? It wasn't real. Like we're going to throw in a, a bottle of gasoline in your office. It's very expensive. <laughs> 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 um, man. What time do I have to be out there? Um, Dan, I would suggest just throw something in there that really blows up. About, uh, six or seven. Okay, back in black. I'm sorry, back in black goes on at six or seven. That's what time you want me out there? No, that's the time I want you out there. Back in black will be uh, going on stage probably about eight. 15, maybe. Okay. Something like that. Followed and, by, uh, Living Color? Return of Living Color. Right. And uh, Vince Neil from Motley Crue playing all his hits. Who's the uh, backup band Vince is using? Who's the backup band? Yeah. <laughs> Come on! Come on! Well, that took a while to light. <laughs> hey! No! 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 Oh, there's more. <laughs> hey! You focus. Jeez. Come on! <laughs> Modern equipment and a crew of specialists perfectly synchronized as they capture the Russ Martin Show. The Russ Martin Show. More exciting action. Action. Let's listen in. Alternative Talk Station. Live. 1053. Want to cash your paycheck for free? Sign up for a VCOM membership at 7 Eleven during March. Then you can cash checks free until tax day. And we're open 24 hours at participating 7 Eleven stores. For over 20 years, it's been the biggest event in sports entertainment. And this Sunday, live and only on pay per view, WrestleMania goes Hollywood. Los Angeles, California. WWE presents WrestleMania. Starring the game Triple H in an epic battle with the animal Batista for the World Heavyweight Championship. Plus, JBL clashes with John Cena as the WWE Championship is on the line. And undefeated at WrestleMania, the legendary Undertaker collides with the legend killer Randy Orton. Plus, Raw's showstopper Shawn Michaels takes on SmackDown's Olympic champion Kurt Angle. And it's Rowdy Roddy Piper and Piper's Pit featuring the return of Stone Cold Steve Austin. The WrestleMania goes Hollywood. Don't miss WrestleMania. Live this Sunday at a special starting time, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, only on pay-per-view. Don't miss WWE WrestleMania 21. This Sunday at 6, live and only on pay-per-view. Order WWE WrestleMania 21 through your cable or satellite provider today. I'm Johnny Caraba. And I'm Damien. Caraba's Italian Grill is getting ready for dinner. It's not your typical Italian. Our ancestors are from Sicily. They came in the late 1800s. They had first-class tickets on Boeing 747. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> they wanted a better opportunity, so that's why they left Sicily. Our family migrated to Texas, and we made our homes in the South. There's a lot of correlation between Sicily and Texas. You've always heard of Southern hospitality, but here, our hospitality is doubled. But like Caraba's Italian Grill, it's kind of like Southern hospitality meets Southern Italian hospitality. Caraba <laughs> is from the Corleone area. It's a real Sicilian name. Growing up, people always had a hard time pronouncing my name. People chop it up pretty good. You know, Caraba, Carababa, Caramba. It's a really easy name to pronounce. It's Caraba. Come to Caraba's for dinner. Enjoy chicken marsala, garlic mashed potatoes, and a little touch of Southern hospitality. At Caraba's Italian Grill, it's not your typical Italian. Ciao, y'all. Visit Caraba's in Preston Center, one block southwest of Preston Road and Northwest Highway. Nissan introduced 10 bold, powerful cars and trucks and achieved the biggest sales increases in America. What's next? Nissan's Drive to a Million Sales event. We're out to break a record. One million sales. So you get great offers on select new Nissans, like the all-new Frontier and the full-size Titan. Now get 2% APR financing for 60 months or $1,500 cash back when you purchase a new 2005 Nissan Titan from dealer stock. 2% or $1,500 cash back on Titan, only at Nissan's Drive to a Million sales event. We're going to drive to a million, so you get to drive a Titan and save. See your Nissan dealer by March 31st. We're in a drive to a million, so you get great offers on select new Nissans. Nissan, shift your ride. Sales increase based on PAI auto data CY 2004. 1753 per month per 1,000 borrowed. Subject to NMAC tier 2 credit approval. Down payment may be required. See dealer for details. Offers end 33105. I climbed the building with suction pads. 40 stories below me, the neon city glittered like an ocean. 
I let myself in with a skeleton key. There were Rembrandts on the walls, and the walls went on forever. This was a man who could have anything. His face smiled from every picture on the grand piano. Acapulco Beach Party, Paris Nightclub, Ski Lodge, and always the glass, the ice, the liquid gold. I had a hunch, and yeah, lying on the shelf, there was the purple bag. The diamonds were in it. But if the diamonds were in the bag, where was the bottle? I found it in the wall safe, the unmistakable round shape, moonlight dancing on gold. Crown Royal. And that's when the alarms went off, like a pack of cats in heat. Crown Royal, blended Canadian whiskey imported by the Crown Royal Company, Stanford, Connecticut, 40% alcohol by volume. Enjoy our quality responsibly, but don't drink if you're under 21. Know how you drink a Crown Royal hanging from a skyscraper? Straight up. Hey, honey? Yeah? Should we add one or two more lines on our new America's Choice Family Share Plan from Verizon Wireless? Who's the third for? Uh, Marcy. Don't you think she's too young? She's not too young to tie up my phone for hours. Maybe she could tie up her own. How much? Nine ninety nine monthly access per line. Only nine ninety nine. Yeah. Well, her birthday's coming up. And I'll get my phone back. Okay, but get one for Natalie too. Well, she's only thirteen. Yeah, but she can already talk her head off. I thought I saw something roll by. Pick it up, Brad. Pick up the new Family Share Plan from Verizon Wireless, now with no roaming charges, and you'll get two lines for only $59.99 monthly access. And you can add a line or up to three for just $9.99 each. So sign up today at a Verizon Wireless communication store or inside Circuit City and join America's best, most reliable wireless network, Verizon Wireless. We never stop working for you. Subject to two-year customer agreement, $15 activation, and $175 termination fee per line. Other charges and restrictions. Coverage not available everywhere. What's the second thing you should do in the home buying process? Find that answer when you attend the TexasLending.com Homebuyer Seminar on Saturday, April 16th from 930 to 1230 at the Studio Movie Grill on Beltline Road in North Dallas. Want to qualify for 100% home financing with credit issues? I'll show you how. Want to know how an interest-only loan can help you buy more home with lower payments? I'll show you how. Hello, I'm Kevin Miller of TexasLending.com, the host of your free homebuyer seminar. We're a mortgage broker and a mortgage lender. Call to refinance, purchase, and get cash from your home or to RSVP at 972-387. 4600. At the seminar, you'll find valuable information from home appraisers, realtors, attorneys, insurance agents, and credit repair companies. RSVP with TexasLending.com online or call us at 972-387-4600. 972-387-4600. Apply for your home loan with TexasLending.com today or see us at 4309 Alpha Road, Dallas 75244. When you think mortgage, think TexasLending.com. License 12023. It's the end of The Biggest Craving Known to Mankind. Brought to you by Racetrack. Saturday, 7, 12 a.m. Stacy Coker said her first words of the day. I want a French toast and sausage taquito from Racetrack. Mm, sure, baby. Now! Stacy had cravings. Stacy was pregnant. Make that two taquitos? Very pregnant. Now! We're talking full-on 99-cent taquito cravings only Racetrack and satisfy pregnant. Stacy's husband hurried to Racetrack. Honey, I present to you taquito goodness. Oh, I love you so much. Saturday, 1243 p.m. Honey. But I'm watching... Hot dogs. Now! Two delicious 100% beef racetrack hot dogs. Sweetheart, I give you these scrumptious hot dogs with all my love. Oh, honey, you're so sweet. Saturday, 843 p.m. Honey. Beef taquito. Yes. Chicken taquito. Yes. Cinnamon apple taquito. Yes! At Racetrack, Stacy finds a variety of breakfast, lunch, and dinner taquitos and 100% beef hot dogs with all the toppings, only 99 cents each. So, Stacy, Yes? Keep going to Racetrack, where the hot dogs and taquitos come in more varieties than there are pregnancy cravings. You're so sweet. Quick, three empty seats. Slow down, man. There's all the guys there. Yeah, good call. Two turkeys neat and one on the rock. Wild, Wild turkey. turkey. Oh, I say we stand right here. Look directly behind you. Do you think my shirt is too tight? Yeah, but it looks good. What about from the side? You're bad. <laughs> okay, we can stay. <laughs> Twist my arm. Hey, another wild turkey, anyone? Uh, I'll have yep. one. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> now, whose turn is to get that round of turkeys? Here's when real quality friends get together, it's time for real quality bourbon. Wild Turkey Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. The real deal. Honoring 150 years of tradition, our process takes longer, but it's worth the wait. That's how we bring you and your good friends the best. Wild Turkey Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Uncompromising people drink responsibly. Wild Turkey Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. 50.5% alcohol by volume. Austin Nichols. Distilling Company. Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Copyright 2003. Austin Nichols and Company Incorporated.
What is that from? Your contract. That's in my contract? Yes. What the freak it is? Read it again. Well, there's there's a list of things. Perform customary duties. Make public appearances, which may be broadcast on the stations to promote publicized station or employer to add to selling commercial time. Attend meetings involving production, direction, and creative creative ideas for the program. Where did this come from? Your contract my, and mine. They're, they're the same. Meet with. Oh, you like this one? Wait meet a with Gavin. Right, exactly. Weasel. <laughs> I ain't got the F yet. I'm about to. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin. I don't guess Gavin's in there. Gavin! <laughs> 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 Telephone. <Yeah. laughs> Who's in there? Is it Pugs and Kelly? What are you doing? I'm working. Have, have you heard this stuff that's in our contracts? No, what stuff? Read this. I don't perform customary duties. I'm going to start from the beginning. Read it so he can understand. Perform customary duties as may be required to be adequately prepared. Okay, that's understandable. Make public appearances, which may be broadcast on the station that promote and publicize the station or employer. Uh, what is that? Let me see. That's I gotta yeah, blah, blah, blah. What is that? Make public appearances? Uh -huh, which may be broadcast on the station that promote and publicize station or employer. Because it's in the contract, that means it's mandatory. That's, a re that's like a remote. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. Uh, all right, what is that then? Yeah, you make public appearances when you do remotes. Well, that's up to me. That's not up to the contract. Well, I agree, but I mean... All right, you, then that you, comes out. You've agreed to make public appearances. Well, then it doesn't need to be in the contract. Well, that's fine if you want to, if you want to take that part out. Oh, uh, what else is in there? Attend meetings involving the production, direction, and the creative ideas for the program. How about that? Well, I thought it would be a good idea. To... Really? You want that in the contract? <laughs> You want to have a meeting every day? Let's have a meeting every day, Kevin. <laughs> I want to have an after-the-show meeting. 705? Absolutely. Uh -huh. Every single day. That way I can review your performance. <laughs> yeah. That's coming out. All right, fine. What Go else? Ahead. Meet with, entertain, and associate with persons in the entertainment, advertising, and related fields at reasonable times and without additional compensation, therefore in furtherance of the commercial value of the program. All right. So let me ask you this. I have to turn the mics off for that. <laughs> oh, <geez>. That's F. <laughs> what was that? Meet with clients? Is that what that means? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At reasonable times. No. Like, okay. for instance. No, there is no for instance. Here's the for instance. No. You know what? You guys should have wrote the contract for us, and then well, we you know, just would have How about this? It. Obviously, that's some grunt contract that anybody would have to sign right. that's just starting out in radio. It took them three weeks to pull a template out and plug my name into it. Am I in a bad mood today? Because he just started reading that. I didn't even get to play all the show music. Perform any ancillary duties consistent with the employee's position that the employer may, at its sole and subjective discretion, require from time to time. Employee employee's services shall be rendered at the facility of the station or at a remote location, again, at the employer's discretion. That's a remote broadcast. We have never done a remote broadcast on Russ Martin, nor will we. Exactly. So this well, is that's fine. One of two things. Either A... You snuck something in oh, and thought I wasn't going to see it because you jacked it. Or B, it was an oversight. That wasn't an oversight. It's something that took them three weeks to take a template from a contract and print out. I could explain that. And I'll tell, you, I'll tell you exactly why everything's happened. Mm -hmm. They dicked around and dicked around. They took a break and dicked some more. <laughs> okay. And waited until almost the day where the contract re would renew itself. So not true. I'm not done. I know what you're going to say. Hand Keep it to going. us. And think we just give it a little cursory look and hand it back so the contract could take effect. Well, there's no time, yeah. Right. Even though you've snuck, uh, snuck a bunch of stuff in. No. Then, okay. Then well, make, then, all right, then what happened? Why did it take... Make the appropriate changes. It was not snuck in. Why is it in it's there? It's not snuck in. Why is it in there? Well, obviously, there are certain things that are part of the standard contract. Okay. Were so, they a part of the last contract? No. Okay. Are you sure about that? Yes. All right. So I don't have your current contract. So it took them three weeks to print up a standard contract. No. No, there are things in there that are different than other contracts. Like what? My name. <laughs> <laughs> no. My address. Mm. No. Other things. Hair color? <laughs> no. Are there any more that go past F? Uh, G was, the, was their basically remote locations. 
at any time they just want you somewhere, you have to be there. Yeah. What is this other stuff that I saw? What is pay or play? What is that? Pay or play? Yes. Uh, pay or play is basically the company has the right to uh -huh. say it didn't work out. Okay. Uh, uh, we what, would pay you. What does that mean it didn't work out? <laughs> I don't know because it's going to work out. Well, so. well, what does that mean? It didn't work out. Pay or play? I mean, we similar we to some... like for instance, other hosts. Yes. We either play you, yeah. or we pay you. Okay. That's to the host benefit. That is. Which means if you yank us off the air, mm -hmm. you still have to pay us through the term. Absolutely. Is that right, John? Correct. All right. We like that. It's <laughs> a good one. Can we? Can that work for our side too? If we decide not to show up. No, no, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> well, there's, there's a lot of stuff that don't make sense. <laughs> so you don't show up and we keep paying you. Write that in. Okay. <laughs> All right. What else is in there? Um, I, did, I specifically just, when I got the contract last night, I went through it just to make sure the numbers are right because you guys are screwy about that. I saw the pay or play. I just kind of skipped through it. I All knew right. Tim Powers would catch anything. That's like, uh, you know... Termination. There's termination uh, for cause. For this cause. Is the causes they have. Dishonesty, theft, use of alcohol during working hours. Hey, what is that? No. <laughs> what is that? No. Give me that. Number seven. Give me that. No. Where is it? Number seven? Mm -hmm. Toward the bottom. Wait. Use of alcohol during working hours. Ah. No, it's still in there. Oh, did it? My clause is in there. Yeah. Nobody else has this. Except for moderate consumption of alcohol during business, entertainment, and the discharge of employees' duties. Okay. You're covered. That's whatever it added three or four years ago, Actually, five years ago. Specifically, I made sure that that was. Keep there. reading. Um, what is this, Rob? This is the rest of it. The rest of the contract is mm. printed. Uh, number eight, unethical, unethical business conduct. What is that? I don't know if you. Well, we don't like that one. Unethical business conduct. We don't know what that is. That's uh, kind of broad. It, I don't know if you became a pedophile or something like that. That's unethical business conduct. What if I wore a tie? It could be. That'd it's be at crazy. Their, it's at their discretion. Come huh? on, serious. <laughs> I've never seen Keep one a tie. In subordination. I mean, while I was doing something, you found unethical. What if I wore a tie? <laughs> no, that wouldn't change. Uh, neglig negligence in the performance of duties likely to cause or actually causing personal injury or property damage. Mm -hmm. We don't like that one. <laughs> That's a weekly occurrence. If you come in here and you kill someone, there has to be results. Well, if we tear up the front yard with a go-kart, that's really, you know, that's covered. Yeah, that's property damage. Fired. Yeah, we don't like that one either. Yeah, still dealing with that, by the way. What's the deal with but it? That's okay. It's, it's a I deal with stuff every day that we do. do you we? ask me what I do all the time. I cover, I cover, I cover. And I spin. Do, do you... When you deal with these problems, yeah. do you hand them the ratings and say, hush? You never hear about them, so obviously they're tucked under. Well, what's the tuck under? I take care of things. They ate up the front yard with go-karts. Mm -hmm. People like to listen to that. Even while we're doing it on the air. Well, that's <laughs> fine, and that's usually the end result. All right. Ten, insubordination. By Russ. <laughs> we don't like that one. Number 11, <laughs> failure to comply with any rules or regulations of employer or any conduct inconsistent with the policies, procedures, or best interest of the employer. Very vague. Yeah. That's too vague. Well, then that's when you come back and make specific stuff. Hogwash. <laughs> like, for instance, if you just said, hey, you know what? I'm not going to play any commercials. All right. It becomes a problem because we have to pay. Or is there any more? Well, that's all for the cause. Those are all the causes for termination. Anything else? Not really. No, nothing. Nothing. He, it goes on. It's all really very vague. It goes on and on. Exclusivity, restrictive covenants. Uh, it's just, it's lawyer talk. Let me see that. Of what's, course it is. What's restricted covenants? I mean, I can't screw eyes? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they got property rights in here. They got... Con what con kind of property rights? <laughs> the property rights that we're allowed to say, the Russ Martin show. Ex exclusivity. Employee agrees that during the term, employee may be required to render services for an employer and any of its present or future divisions, subsidiaries, affiliate. Uh-uh. Number 10's not going to, because that's, that's a way to screw me out of syndication. 
It was in the last contract. I don't believe that one was. You snuck another one in. I did not. Let's get the last contract and we'll compare and contrast. Well, you don't need to because this one's coming out. This is saying that you can do anything with this show that you want. I'm allowed to market the show. You can market it, but you can't put it on any other station. That's what this says. Let me see. You don't have to see it. If you want to look at it, you should have printed yourself a copy. I have copies. <laughs> well, then go look at those. Mine's busy. <laughs> Restricted covenant. Why well, has this got to be that big of a deal? I don't know. I promise to work here for the next three years. You promise to pay me. It's 24 there, pages. There's a sentence. It's 24 pages? 24 pages. Personal policies in Section 317 and 507 of the Communication Act. Yeah. That's in there. We don't like that. No. <laughs> I think the government has something to say with that. The government. <laughs> <laughs> well, we worked on radio without contracts for years. I mean. Yeah, but we also got screwed around. Yeah, that's true. Right of first refusal, does that mean? That means that we have the right, for instance, if your contract's coming up yes. and say you get a, another offer, yeah. we have the right of first refusal. In other words, we have the right to match or better the offer. Do we like that? Yes. <laughs> he does. I'm not talking to him, I'm talking to John. I, I know you like it being on the corporate side. I'm just telling you from the talent perspective, that's a good deal. Covenant not to compete. How so long you is could, this? you could, ah, shushies. How long is the covenant not to compete? I don't know what does it say. Oh, months? I see. No, it's a year. It's 12 months. It's okay. fair. It's, uh, huh? It's fair. It's fair to set out for a year without any money coming in? Oh, by the way, they've also added satellite radio in here now, as far as, uh, yes, whether amplitude or, fr or frequency modulated, microwave, digital, hardwire, or satellite, or any method now known or hereafter developed. <laughs> <laughs> That's because of XM does, series. Does it have the, the phrase in there? In per, in, what, what is it, what's the phrase? Perpetuity um, throughout the universe. Yeah. That's their new thing that they add. That way, regardless of what comes up, they could go, uh, excuse us, we already included the perpetuity throughout the universe. So um, you're covered. Yeah. If you'd like to add an addendum, if something happens with satellite, you're welcome to do so. We want that. Well, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. If they agree on it. Because this, right. this basically is a no compete, and they've now added satellite radio. But I will say. Oh, I got it. I yeah. missed that part. So if we leave here, we can't go to Sirius. You can't go anywhere. Can't go to XM. Nothing. nothing. Microwave, hard, di hard Internet. Wired, digital. Yeah. Hardwired, digital, satellite, or any method now known or hereafter developed. See? You Th can't go This anywhere. is a standard pissant contract that you hand to anybody, and you have the audacity to give it to me. That's not a standard contract, trust me. What's different? My name? There's like five or six things different in there. Took them three weeks to do that. <laughs> Can I see the whole contract? Sure. Is this your copy? Do you need it? Oh, there it is. I'm just taking out my salary stuff. Do you need any of this? No. It's the first page. These 25 pages, mm -hmm. do you need them? No. You're sure? I do not need those. All right. We ain't signing <laughs> God. Oh, Russell? <laughs> Russell? <laughs> that's, that's insubordination. It's <laughs> <laughs> I, I wanted to make sure you didn't need any of that before I chunk it at you. <laughs> no, don't need it. <laughs> what is it, Matt? What's wrong? Well, Matt. Hey. Yeah, but hey, man, uh, just a quick request. I was wondering if you guys could restart the show. Only reason why, man, that is a big part of the show to me. And, man, you cut off the music and how stupid that really sounds. Man, I was just wondering if you could do that for me. Please. Contract negotiations. To even at your boss. <laughs> Scream we ain't signing it. I just like the way all the pages went out over his face and over his shoulders. They did. They did. Pretty nicely choreographed.
I didn't read the rest of it. Is it, is it a crock or not? Most of it is just standard. It's so vague. There's holes all through it. Like when they just say, you know, uh, one of the clauses for firing is if you go against any policy, they can make a policy that you can't wear police shirts. I mean, you know, it's so ridiculously vague. Insubordination. What you just did would have got you fired, technically. But I ain't signed Without pay. Well, that's probably in our other contract. Insubordination? Probably. I would think it's probably not. They'd have popped me by now. Yeah, if they want to. It just leaves them, them open to do whatever they want. That's what most contracts are. I know. I just love how they've added satellite radio and hardwired radio and everything else so you can't do For no that. compete. Yeah. You can't be on CB radio by the definition of that. Yeah, if it's broadcast in any form. Squirrels. Anything else that stood out? Not really. Just you know what? It's probably not any different than the stuff I've been signing for the past 10, 12 years. I don't really care. Just... Chances are none will ever come to fruition or it won't be a problem. But they've made us suffer. Why not make them? Yeah. All right. We don't have time for news? Mm-mm. By the way, what'd you do for your birthday? Um, not really nothing yet. This Sunday, um, I guess my buddies are doing a surprise fiesta party or something. I don't know. Where's your surprise party? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, they just said, hey, you know, we're going to have a party. We're not going to try to cover it up. We're just going to have, we're just going to call it a fiesta. I'm like, okay. So. Mm -hmm. Anything else happened today before I got here? Let me think. I've been out of touch since my power at the house is off. What happened there? I, I heard about it, but you don't know? It's about 1 o'clock. It went off. What are you laughing at, Dan? Just from hearing Rob on the phone with the electric company earlier, it just makes me chuckle. Oh, he called TXU and told him, he's called him twice that I know of. One time, he told him that there was uh, exotic fish in the house. <laughs> And we needed to know how long the power was going to be off or he was going to have to go home and blow into the tank. <laughs> That's a good one. And the other one uh, was that uh, there was medical equipment inside the house, respirators and the like. Well, thank you. And the generator would only go for another 90 minutes. <laughs> and if it wasn't fixed, he was going to have to go home and blow in my grandmother's <laughs> mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I don't know. I know exactly what's going on. I saw him pull up this morning at 9 o'clock and go start unloading equipment. It's somebody digging in the dirt for something out that's unrelated, and you know they popped a power line. That's exactly what's happened, probably. Because the weather's beautiful. It couldn't be that. No, it's not weather-related. Probably one of their renegade chickens no. ran off on a tirade no. No. and bit a power line. No. Bob? <laughs> He's really got to start taping these phone calls. Yeah. <laughs> you call TXU back? Uh, no, I've got another 15 minutes. <laughs> he calls them every quarter hour. Oh, I got you. They can't even tell them why it's out? Somebody should have reported by now at least why it's out. I don't know. They say why it's out? Uh, no. Could it be just my house? Uh, I'm still waiting for the service people to call me back. Um, but uh, judging by their computer, they don't have any outages. So it could be just your house. You pay your bill? I ain't been there a month. Okay. Don't know. You used to forget to pay your bills. and you did that, you was the water, that was the water bill over at the other house, and that's when I had to go doo-doo in my backyard. <laughs> I just wondered. Mm. I haven't been there long enough not to pay anything. Okay. I didn't move in until like the, just after the 1st of March. You set up your account with TXU. Trey. Mm, okay. <laughs> All righty. Trey's also the one that took care of my phone account with Verizon. The old house? Uh -huh. I told them to leave the phone on until somebody called to say shut it off. They waited three days and shut it off. Yeah. Then told me I was going to get DSL at the new house. Yes. Waited till the day I was supposed to get it. Told me I couldn't have it. <laughs> <laughs> and you went away your powers <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> 
didn't he swap your social security numbers one time trying to set up an account? Yeah, and all of a sudden he calls back and he says, somebody else has, has power hooked up with your name on it. <gasps> it's Julio Iglesias. That's <laughs> <laughs> the wrong number. The Hansen, the Hansons have your electricity. <laughs> mm. It's only your house. Hello. What did you do? <laughs> what are you talking about? Why is my power out at the house? I don't know. What did you do? I didn't have to do anything. Do you set up my TXU account? I transferred it, yeah. Oh, well, what happened? Nothing. Does that mean I don't have electricity at the other house? No. Which way, which way, uh, over there. Which way did you transfer electricity? I established a new account at your new house and left the old one running until it was sold. Did you get the address right? You had power. <laughs> I don't have it today. Well, well, I don't think that's probably a power line. It's just his house. Yeah. They don't show it on the computer, so it's just my house. What did you do? Well, medium drink. Where are you? I'm getting a sandwich. What kind of sandwich? A turkey sandwich. Where? It's called New York Subway. Oh. Yeah. What's that lady look like? Is she hot? No. Let me talk to her. Mm. No. <laughs> Let me put her on the phone. No. Yeah, seriously. No. Let me talk to her. No. <laughs> Just for a second. No. Tell her she's on the air and I need to talk to her for a second. No. So they don't have any record of your account? They said, I, yeah, that's what they said. Well, I bet you've gotten something in the mail from them regarding your service. No, I ain't got nothing. Let me talk to that lady behind the counter. Okay. No. What? The old account has just finally expired from whoever had... Obviously, electricity was on before you bought the house. Yeah, that's so, probably what happened. Well, is it expired from the hockey player, mm -hmm. and now I ain't got nothing because somebody forgot to transfer it in the right direction. Who's yeah. got my power? <laughs> They had already canceled. They had turned off. Well, no, nah, they didn't because it was on when I got there. Who's got my power? Madonna? <laughs> Madonna got my power? No. Let me no. talk to that lady behind the counter. No. <laughs> the lights over at the Dallas Cowboys house. Really, really bright. They're yeah. double power. <laughs> Where are you now? I'm sitting down. Oh. Why don't you go back to the counter and talk to that lady? No. She sounded hot. Mm hmm. She's not. Oh. All right. Go turn my power on. Okay. Thanks. It's weird because you forget how much everything's on electricity. I, I know. And after a well, while. Well, I can't get any work done. I'll go tan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know the exact feeling. Well, the air conditioner's not running. I'll run the ceiling fan. Ceiling fan. fan. That'll probably cool them <laughs> off. Then I got to turn on the, the water and it don't get hot. And I don't think I've, I know I've got water heaters, yeah. but I didn't think they're electric. No, they probably are, but they should have water already still in them that's heated. Do you have a, okay, now do you have electric water heaters, the big tanks somewhere? Have I got big it? tanks. Okay, we'll see. Because some of them, big houses like that, yeah. they'll have what's called an instant on unit, like in bathrooms and stuff. So Yeah, I get water really fast. It's hot. And then that's what it is. It's instant on water. They have those in like sailboats where water is a real commodity and you can't let it run for five minutes to right. get hot. Yeah. So it's instant on. And when those go, you have no hot water. Not in heaven. Yeah. So you got an instant on. Oh. And then it took me almost 15 minutes to get out of my gate. Oh, I didn't think of that. How'd you get out? It's got a release. Oh. Uh, uh, a yeah. cotter pen that you pull out. <laughs> you broke the gate? No, you pull it out. You, you pull it's the automatic. Oh, emergency release. Yeah. But I couldn't find that. <clears throat> I was looking at the wrong end. Oh. <laughs> God. I didn't think about it. Yeah. So, so you get out there and you mash in the remote and the gate's not coming open. What a dump. <laughs> I had this problem at the old house. Yeah, you did. Well, Look. the garage didn't come open. Yeah. All right. And we'll break here. We'll come back and we'll start news. We'll be back oh, I get to it. the Russ Martin Show. The bumper. No. Yeah. 
that what you do while we're talking? You just go through look for bumpers to yeah, go along with? Yeah, kind of, sort of. I mean, sometimes I like for it to be totally random to where it's not, where everyone would expect it. Oh. Like, if we're talking about dogs, who lets the dogs out? Maybe. It's Val, your morning news and traffic chick, and I'm here with my favorite mortgage man. He is Rodney Anderson of CTX Mortgage, and I got a question. We always hear the term, loans that don't fit in the box. What does that mean? Well, here's what it means, Val. If you've been through a divorce, you're self-employed, you've had some credit issues in the past, everybody always wants the perfect loan, but we think outside of the box. So if you're out there, your situation doesn't fit in that square box, give me a call today. If I can't help you right now, I'll tell you what you need to do over the next six to 12 months, but my number's 972-985-5208. That's 972-985-5208 or 24 hours a day, Val. Everybody can go to RodneyAnderson.com. Good advice from the number one mortgage originator in the state of Texas and also good advice from a man who's helped me. I didn't fit in the box. Now I do. Perfect credit. Thanks to Rodney for helping me through that. 972-985-5208. It's 972-985-5208 or 24 hours a day. Just hop on to RodneyAnderson.com. I am a Just Breaks customer for life. Just Breaks has a very loyal following. I got pads and shoes at Just Breaks, and they're guaranteed for as long as I drive my car. They know that Just Breaks will install new pads and shoes on all four wheels for $99.88 and will guarantee them for life. They understand brake systems like no other mechanics I know. Just Brakes customers appreciate that our certified brake safety experts are trained to bring your brakes as close as possible to new car condition. Just Brakes will be there for me wherever I drive. And they know that their Just Brakes lifetime guarantee is honored at the hundreds of Just Brakes locations across the country. I will never need to buy pads or shoes again. Come into Just Brakes today for unsurpassed expertise and for only $99.88, the last pads and shoes you'll ever need to buy. I am a Just Brakes customer for life. Just Brakes, earning your trust at every stop. There are additional charges for additional repairs offered good for most cars and light trucks. This Wednesday is the night you've been waiting for. All new episodes of TV's most talked about shows. First on an all new Lost. They believe they have been forgotten. Made it, made it. Anybody out there? That no one was listening. We're survivors of the crash. Can you hear me? Hello? They were wrong. And. Hello? Sydney, where are you? The ground is cold and damp. They dragged me to a cemetery and knocked me out. Whether you're very dead. Or alive. Have you been buried? <laughs> Jennifer Garner stars in an all-new Alias. Then, something completely new and different. Nothing in my line of work is ever what it seems. Got a problem? Can't call the cops? Your check got stolen? That's where Harlan Judd and his team of investigators can help. You, my man, are the master. Tim Daly stars. I don't like what you do. Or how you do it. Oh, no. You've got that look. I just wish I didn't like you. In the series premiere of Eyes. Be there tonight, starting at 7 on Channel 8, the spirit of Texas. Try an old favorite a whole new way. Try a Subway fresh toasted sub. Subway, eat fresh. <laughs> the O'Reilly 300 NASCAR Bush Race, April 16th at Texas Motor Speedway, will be a blockbuster event. Featuring NASCAR's biggest stars, Mark Martin, Tony Stewart, Elliot Sadler, Justin Labonte, Shane Neal, Robbie Gordon, Matt Kenseth, and many more. Passing, bumping, emotions running high, this race has it all. Has it all. A purchase of $25 or more at your local Albertsons gets you a special family four-pack offer. Four Bush Race tickets, four hot dogs, and four Cokes for $99. Look in the Dallas Morning News Sports Day section through April 14th for your free Thursday full day ticket and a discount coupon for Friday's qualifying and IROC race. Don't miss the NGK Spark Plug Shootout, Shootout featuring super late models and legends cars at the Dirt Track Saturday night, April 16th. April 16th. Call 817-215-8500 or go to texasmotorspeedway.com for tickets. Nail salon. Hi, do you have Wi-Fi? We got Manny's Patty's massages. You want your back wax? Pizzeria. Uh, do you guys have Wi-Fi? Is it that a type of cheese? Body shop. Hi, do you have Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi? Sounds German. I could order for you. It might take a couple of weeks. 
Need to work wirelessly? Don't get stuck searching for limited Wi-Fi hotspots. Get Verizon Wireless Broadband Access and work on your laptop where it's convenient for you. With wide area coverage, you can work throughout the Dallas-Fort Worth area and 29 other major markets across the country. And with average speeds of 4 to 700 kilobits per second, you can download large files and email attachments quickly and securely. Millennium Coffee Shop! Hi, do you guys have Wi-Fi? No, but we have a laser light show. Stop searching and start working. Sign up now and get great savings on a Verizon Wireless PC card. For more information, call 1-800-899-4249 or visit verizonwireless.com. Verizon Wireless, we never stop working for you. Network enabled by Lucent Technologies. Coverage not in all areas. Speed claim based on our network test with 5 megabytes FTP data files. Actual throughput speed and coverage vary. Broadband access covers over 75 million people. Tonight on Bravo, <coughs> it's the new series that takes you inside the dog-eat-dog world of dog shows. <coughs> Show dog moms and dads. We got second place and there were two dogs. <coughs> I'm not going to cry over this. Watch what happens when competition becomes obsession. Our dog has more expensive clothes than most people we know. My life revolves around these dogs. These people are a breed all their own. She does everything but changes diapers. Show Dog Moms and Dads, the new series, premieres tonight at 10, 9 central, only on Bravo. Watch what happens. All right, if you're in the market for a brand new high definition television uh, and the, there's too many options for you to absorb because there are a lot of different things, if you're going to dump that much cash on a television, you want to make sure that it's HD TV ready now. You want to be able to turn it on and get HD TV. You don't want to buy it and find out, well, it needs a tuner or it needs something else to, to get HD TV. There are a lot of questions that go along with that. You can call the guys at Digital Planet. They can tell you everything that you need to know. So when it gets into your home and you flip it on, you got HD. 972-265-8500. They can tell you about television. They can tell you about any AV system. They can tell you about setting up a home theater. And that way you can decide, if, is this something I want to spend cash on? Or, or what are my diff different options? Because there's a bunch of them. You don't have to have eight different channels in the house. Sometimes five is plenty. It just depends on who you talk to. Well, you got to have 8.1. Well, no, you don't. They'll tell you what you need. 972-265-8500. They still have that special. Yep, 34-inch HD TV monitor uh, for the unbelievably low price of six ninety nine ninety nine, seven hundred dollars. You're not going to find it any cheaper. Uh, normally, these units go for about a grand. The number again for Digital Planet is nine seven two two six five eighty five hundred. They're the go-to guys. Let's go. The word is out. At Dodge, we've added over a million proud new owners. My Dodge Magnum can really haul stuff. And it just plain hauls. My Grand Caravan's got exclusive stow-and-go seating and storage and 0% financing. No wonder it's America's best-selling minivan. Join us during the Dodge Spring Sales Event to get the most award-winning lineup in our history. Get 0% APR financing plus a March bonus cash allowance that can save you thousands on the new Dodge car, truck, minivan, or SUV of your choice. Hey, I got a V8 in my Dakota. Lots of room and zero financing. You gotta love those numbers. My Durango came with a smooth ride, bonus cash, and tons of room. My Dodge Ram's got great looks, and I got zero financing. Join the millions. Log on to Dodge.com slash spring event and see what the buzz is all about. Yeah, my Dodge Ram's got a Hemi, and the deal? Sweet. Actual savings vary with loan amount. 0% APR financing not available on Magnum. Financing and bonus cash for qualified buyers. Not all buyers will qualify. When it comes to your life, no one has more services that revolve around you than Charter Communications. Whether it's choosing from hundreds of great channels, ordering a hit movie without leaving your house, or experiencing the internet faster than ever, only one company lets you do it all. Charter, not satellite. Plus, with Charter, you'll enjoy all of your local channels and clear reception in all kinds of weather. Call 1-888-GET-CHARTER and save on Charter Cable and Charter High Speed. Charter High Speed Internet Service, now faster than ever with up to three megs. That's up to twice as fast as most DSL connections. You can't get all this with satellite. So call now and get great savings on both Charter Cable and High Speed Internet. Packages start as low as $29.99 a month for three months. Plus, Save $400 when you ditch the dish and switch to Charter. Make your world revolve around you. Call 1-888-GET-CHARTER and get hooked. Restrictions apply. Call for details. Hey, it's Valerie, your morning news and traffic chick. I'm here with Tony Cooper, owner of All Pro Foundation Repair. And Tony, there are so many methods of foundation repair that are out there and that are available. Which one do you guys use? All of them. We can use every approved method to repair.
repair your house. And that's important to you because we don't have an agenda when we come out there. We can tell you which pier is best for you, not the foundation repair company. I'll give you the pros and cons, the advantages and disadvantages of each pier and help you decide which one is best for you. And you don't feel like there's an agenda or someone's telling you it's the world's greatest pier. That's because it's the only pier they offer. We offer them all. All right. And tell me about that top of the line product that you guys offer though. That's a helical pier. It's solid steel. It's hot dip galvanized. And we screw it in the ground rather than push it into the ground like other piers. The screws are always going to hold superior. Also, Tony's offering a $500 free engineer's report if you sign up at the time of the estimate. So whether it's your dream home or an investment property, every job is important to all pro foundation repairs. Owned and operated by UNT alumni. Call 877-MEAN-GREEN. 877-MEAN-GREEN. DFW's most listened to radio station is KLLI, Dallas, Fort Worth. Live 105.3, the alternative talk station. Spectracide Triple Strike. Protect, control, conquer. Throw it hard? <laughs> well said you did. Huh? And clone those hard, asking about beer bottles. <laughs> it floated out of my hand. <laughs> it exploded in his face. <laughs> he ain't talking to me in the hall. Well, he's mad at you. That was insulting. I'm insulted. They hand me a standard contract for somebody that been been at radio eight days. I know. I read it last night and I just couldn't believe it. I just looked and going, I got my old one out just to compare. I went, I just, why, did, why did this take three weeks? Is it the same thing as the old one? Virtually the same verbiage they've added. Things like satellite radio mm-hmm. and internet radio. Uh, they changed the vacation to four weeks instead of three. Uh, it's supposed uh, to be five. The numbers that say, is, it says four. Well, it's supposed to be five. Okay, then that's wrong. All right. That's about it. They changed the, the only way I could get fired before it was if you quit or died. Okay. And then they've basically said, no, we can fire you without cause now, but we have to pay you. So you and so I... So you still have a without cause clause in your contract, but they have to pay you through the term. Correct. Well, that's okay. I'm fine with that. Fire yeah. me. <laughs> we'll go home and sit on the beach. Literally. I don't understand why he's mad at me. Because you threw the contract at his face and it exploded. <laughs> <laughs> Floated out of my hand. You didn't. You, <laughs> you threw it. Mm. Hard. <laughs> Hard. <laughs> And I know, I know, because if that would have been a beer bottle, it would have been in a kajillion <laughs> pieces. I didn't see his face because uh, there was paper all over it. Yeah. Did he look mad? Yes. yes. Definitely. Now he won't speak to you. I'd say he's mad. Gavin. Yeah. Are you mad at me? No, I'm all right. Gavin. What? Don't be the mad. No, it's cool. Just want this process to be over with. So you think I have a right to be upset? Um, I think upset and throwing something in someone's face is two different things. No, I think it's the same thing. Well, I know. No, you know what? It's one of. I looked in the mirror; it didn't cut, but one of the sides grazed, grazed my eye, so it kind of hurt. Oh. Other than that. Well, why don't you come in here? No, because you're gonna do something. No, I won't. I I need to apologize in person. No, because you're gonna do something. What What, what am I gonna do? Come on, seriously. You're going to apologize to me in person. Yes. And nothing's going to happen to me. I don't have time for all your silly questions. Yeah. We don't have a lighter, do we? No. All right, screw you. Don't come in here. (laughs) (laughs) Why don't we keep a lighter in here? We had one yesterday, and I gave it to you. And close. There it is. Oh. Yeah, that one works. Mm Mm-hmm. I'd have changed my mind. I'd like to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. <clears throat> Tim Powers will catch it all. We'll get this done. It's just, it's it's funny. It's turned into, it's just, it's just ridiculous. Yeah. It always does this. Corporate dicks around, and then they throw the last minute at you, going, here, sign this quick. Don't read that. Read it, read it, read it. Sign it. Standard. Yeah. We're family here. <laughs> sign it. Yes. Mm-mm. Remember the first time I, I caught, I read a contract, because in the past you just always, you were happy to have a job, mm-hmm. you're working at a music station, and they, you just, you just assumed you were going to get screwed around, so it didn't matter. Here's your contract, sign it, okay? Well, you didn't have a lot of power, because if you didn't sign it, you didn't want that job, you, you're plug and play. They put somebody else in to go 77 degrees, right. good, good looking Friday. 
I'm sitting on the toilet. It's like late 80s at the Eagle. I'm reading the contract just because it was sitting there and I'd already signed it. It's a few months old. And I got to the point that said uh, you could be fired with or without cause. Mm -hmm. Absolutely useless. Made the rest of the contract void. Mm -hmm. the, only thing, the only thing the contract became then was a no-compete, keep you from working. Yeah. If they fired you or you quit, you can now work. You couldn't work any place for three months. Mm -hmm. And the with or without cause, if they popped you without cause, they didn't have to pay you through the term of the contract. Nope. They just stopped paying you. Mm -hmm. And you couldn't work. Huh. -uh. Dandy. What is this? What is it, Carrie? I'm just calling to see if you passed along that picture I sent of me and Gavin. I don't know what you're talking about. I, okay. I emailed you a picture, and I was hoping you'd pass it along. At the white trash party? I still no. I don't know what you're talking about. Man. Okay. I was just calling to see if Gavin got it. It was a blast, I'll tell you that. I just want to let you know it was a blast. and I got some What was pictures. the picture that you're trying to send me? It was just a picture of me and Gavin at the white trash party. And what about it? I was just asking if you passed it to Gavin. Why would I want to see it? I didn't ask if you wanted to see it. I asked if you passed it along. No, I don't open attachments. I don't it look at it. It wasn't an attachment. What did you send me? It wasn't an email. Then it was an attachment. <laughs> it was not an attachment. It was right there on the email. That's an attachment. If a picture comes with an email, it's an attachment. But it didn't have little... It wasn't an attachment. I know. Was there wasn't a little email. paper clip <laughs> next to it. In, in your mind, that's not an attachment. If it comes as a picture, I don't open it. Okay. Okay. Chill out. Russ, I have some other awesome pictures if you want me to send those along. No, I don't. I don't want attachments. It's not... Okay. It's not an attachment. Uh, okay. All right. Let me make this easier. I don't want you to send me anything. Okay. Thank you. I've got to the point I just block them from the server. Yeah, can you? I didn't know you could do that. Oh, yeah. And they all start the same way. I'm sure you guys get them. I know you don't like attachments, but, but that's it. You're out and you're blocked. I'm tired of telling you. You, are, you already knew the rule before you sent me a four and a half megabyte file. Yes. And if I'm on dial-up, I just... I. Oh, my God. Sometimes when the DSL is down, I'm on dial-up... And a four and a half megabytes is an all day event. Yes, I know. Rob. Hold on. Maybe the rabbit's in the building. <laughs> the rabbit? He won't get it. Okay. Oh, oh, let me hear it this time. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Rabbit. Be very, very quiet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh -huh. I can't wait to hear what he tells him this time. It's, excuse me? It's not disconnected? Okay. I would hope not. Okay. I'm experiencing an outage. Well, yeah, that's kind of what I'm, <laughs> I'm calling. <laughs> Man, it's not off. I hate dealing with utilities. I got crap on my phone line at home with some kind of loud buzz. I just decided I'm going to live with it because I don't want to set on hold. I had to set on hold for 45 minutes to change my address with my cell company. Oh, that's frustrating as hell. Right. And you can't do it online for but security. Is it a problem in the area or is, is it my house? It's just my house. Tell them about your grandma. I, I can call my wife, but she's back at the office now. She went home to walk the dogs, and she reminded me of the tell fish. Her, tell and, them, no, don't do the uh, fish story. Tell them the grandma. My grandmother this. is also in the house. And on a breather. The ventilator. <laughs> um, there's another 90 minutes on the generator, and if I don't get back there, or someone doesn't get the power turned My on, grandma and I'm my fish are going to be floating. My grandmother's going to have problems. <laughs> And, and that's why I've called four times already, and I, I keep getting the same thing. I really need some help, sir. <laughs> Have I tried turning on and off the breaker? I'm at the office. I, I Resetting the breaker? No. no I, I'm at the office. <clears throat> it wouldn't be just one breaker anyway, would it? No. Because the whole house was out. Yeah. Well, 
I say. Okay. Uh, what do I need to do? I mean, I realize you understand the situation, but that's not that's not helping me. Yeah. It's been an hour already. No, it's been three hours now. What else can we throw in? I think the fish and grandma should grandma, be enough. That's plenty. Anything else, they're going to stop believing you. <laughs> that's enough. Okay. Can you call? Can you call the service man that's in the truck and see what's going on? Okay. Can I just wait on hold? Okay. Thank you. I'll just hold. What they say? He's going to call um, the field guy to see what's going on out there, and I'm on hold. Uh -huh. All right. So there's somebody out running around in the neighborhood. You know, you're going to keep screwing around with them and I ain't never going to get no juice. <laughs> you ain't got none anyway. <laughs> Just find out if it's my house or the neighborhood. Yep. Alright. You ready to go with this? Sure. What is it, Kenny? Man, I, I wouldn't uh, bother them like that. They'll just push you back to the bottom of the list. Your fish and your grandma will be dead. <laughs> and if you think they don't, they won't. <laughs> they will. I just... Thanks. I just want to know if it's my house or the whole neighborhood. Yeah. I don't care when it comes back on. I need to buy one of those generators. Yeah. What do those run? A really decent one is about 1500 to $2,000 if you want to run the house. I don't want to run the house. I well, just want just to run this, this like, emergency stuff. Yeah, because I was thinking about when I was going to buy that RV, because it wasn't. Uh, I'm excuse me, a trailer, not an RV. So it really didn't have an, a power engine to go with it. So yeah. on the back, I was going to strap a, like a Honda generator, and it was about fifteen hundred bucks to run the trailer to run everything, air conditioner. How many heater, watts? I don't even know. The guy told me he goes, "What you want is this. It's this. Da -da, it's about fifteen hundred bucks." But that's to run a travel trailer, not a house. Oh. You ready to go? Sure. Mm -hmm. oh, I forgot to ask Gavin something. Gavin. Yeah. Are you still mad at me? What do you need, bud? Was that me? No, I said, what's up? No, you said, what do I need? Oh, yeah. Fine. Am I mad? No, I'm fine. Mm. How's your 19-year-old? Yes, you do. How do I know that? Because I know. Okay. You want to tell me or you want me to tell the whole story? Yeah, please tell the whole story. I know she showed up at the concert. Yeah. And then what else? Have you had any contact with her? No. Have you had any contact with her? No. All right. Then I guess you won't mind if pictures pop up on my website. Mm -hmm. That's fine. All right, then. Pictures of the concert? No. Yeah, I'll bring it. Okay. Absolutely. All right, then. You're sure before I post them? Yeah, I mean, I, I, like, like I said, I saw her at the concert. She, mm. she was wearing a shirt. Mm -hmm. That's thing to wear. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one and only time I've seen her. Okay, then. Well, then there won't be any big deal when I post the pictures. Well, I would gladly post them, please. All right, then. I'm, I'm, I'm begging you. What is it, Dan? Is this the 19-year-old um, from the strip-off? No, from the, the car dealership. Okay, just wanted to differentiate. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. I know I took some pictures with her that night, but okay. I haven't seen her since. All right. Well, then what I have must be fakes. I, I, I hate to say it, it must be. All right, then. But, I mean, if you want to you wanna post them, okay. fine. Okay. Just wanted to ask before I put them up, so there's no... Um, I mean, are they going to be digitally changed? No. Or? No. They're pictures of you and her and stuff. Doing what? Nah, uh, don't worry about it. But I have your permission. <laughs> well, I mean, if you, you're going to... Ah, okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for news? Sure, Rob says Dr. Venegas is here for something. Why is he here? I don't know. Why is Venegas here? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Rob. I know. <laughs> I know this is boring, but I want to know what's going on with my house. Yeah. Well, it's just odd that just your place would be out. Okay. I'll bet you money it's Trey. 
Okay. The trace it, it, so you're sure that it's just my house, <laughs> not the area? Tell you. <clears throat> it's not the area. Well, then tell him to turn my house back on. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. okay. But there's, you, you can't turn it on from any... I mean, someone actually has to go out there? Well, I mean, what's, they, got, they got to go out then. Tell them, they, we need a service order. I need my electricity on. It's a formal request. Mm-hmm. Reset the breakers. Why would the breakers pop? Okay. Right. That's why nobody likes the utilities. Yeah. It's, they won't do anything. That's and if they do something, if they go in another room and flip a switch, yeah. that's $80. That's a charge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. All right. Um, and you have my number and you, someone can call me. Uh, okay. Are they going to turn it back on? I'll back in about 10 minutes. <sighs> I don't know what's going on. Thank you. Okay. Bye. All right, what's the story? They going to turn it on? It, they say it's on. It ain't on. Their records. They said I got to go out there and turn the breakers, flip the breakers off and flip them back on again. Why would those pop? All of them. They don't. I don't know. Doctor Venegas is here because it's Doctor's Day. I have him go out to my house and check my electricity. <laughs> if you said hello. Good. Send a doctor to my house and check my electricity. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> you ready? Yes. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> Did you do a legal ID? All right, 405, J.D. Ryan's here with news. Thank you, Russ. Brought to us by Trophy, Trophy Nissan. This Thursday, Dan O'Malley will be out there from noon until 2. That's in North Galloway and Mesquite. Free tickets to see Artie Lang on Friday night. That's Trophy Nissan. Wednesday, March 30th, 2005, Nora Jones is 26. Today, Celine Dion is 37. Tracy Chapman, 41. Paul Reiser is 48. John Aston, who is uh, Gomez Adams in the Adams Family, 75 today. Peter Marshall, 75. And Frankie Lane, the guy who sang the theme to Rawhide, is 92. Mm -hmm. Federal Appeals Court agreed to consider an emergency bid by Terry Chavo's parents for a new hearing on whether to reconnect her feeding tube, tube raising their uh, fading hopes of keeping the severely brain-damaged woman alive. It was not clear what effect reconnecting Terry Chavo's uh, re uh, feeding tube would have on her as she approached her 13th day without food or water. Hold on a second. Rob, I just got an email from someone in-house at TXU. I'm going to forward that to you. They'll, uh, they'll check my account. Oh, thank you. All right. All right, so I'm sorry I missed it. Is it tube in or out? It's out right now, but they've uh, a federal appeals court has now agreed to reconsider an emergency bid by her parents to shove it back in. But they say at this point, 13 days later, they're not sure what that's even going to do. It's too late. What's to consider? Everybody, this has been back and forth and back and forth. I don't know what else. That's what I don't get. Why didn't they just leave it in until... There were absolutely no other appeals, no emergency measures that could have been used. Once uh, they're absolutely positive, everything's done. I don't know what the rush And is. then yank it. What's the rush? Well, it's not She's really been good. in this state for 15 years. Another three or four weeks ain't going to be that big of a deal if, in fact, it means keeping her alive. Don't know. As of late this afternoon, no word had come on the, from the appeals court. So it's as of about two. All right. And now former Boy Scout of America program. Oh, hold on. What is it, Clint? Uh, you got a main breaker at the top of your breaker box. Yeah. Sometimes it'll trip. You probably just got to re-trip that one main breaker and everything will come back on. Why would it Why would it flip? Uh, just a surge in the power. Because it's done it. Lightning from previous storms. Anything like that. Lightning from previous storms? Yes. Yeah. Oh. So. All right, I'll do that. Uh, Thank you. Okay. I no. still think it's Trey. Never heard of that. I think it's Trey, too. There's a consistent pattern going here. You're right. 
Now former Boy Scout of America program director pleaded guilty today, this morning actually, to child pornography charges against him. Douglas Smith Jr., who's 61, of Colleyville, was charged with felony possession and distribution of child pornography on March 21st. Uh, Smith was accused of receiving images over the internet in February that contained children's children engaging in sexually explicit conduct. Law enforcement officials... How do they know what you're downloading off the internet? I don't know. I really don't. I guess maybe... I'm not looking at child pornography, I but... But maybe... If how do they know what I, I'm looking at? Because this, this was not on his computers at the Boy Scout headquarters. It was so... By it was the way, his stuff at home. All the way in our, in our contracts here, they can read and open any email or anything communication we have on the internet. Well, that's or, why I don't use a CBS or, account. Okay, I don't either. So they can read whatever they want. Well, if it comes, even if it comes into this office and it's Hotmail, they, according to the contract, they can still read it. How do they get into a Hotmail account? I don't know. Unless it's just coming through their server. I guess they can read it. I think at a certain point, they can't get into something. I don't know. All right. Uh, anyway, investigators say Smith's computer at the Boy Scouts headquarters contained no evidence of child pornography. The images were found on the computer at his home in Colleyville. And that's my question. Yeah, how do they... I, maybe if you're on certain really weird websites, they I track them. Part of the thing was his, his email address popped up on some investigation in Germany. Okay. And as a result, he got popped. I'm not sure how, though. The Boy Scouts organization based in Irving, obviously, they say they're shocked and dismayed. Smith was employed by the Boy Scouts for 39 years, and officials had no indication of prior criminal activity. He'll be sentenced on July the 12th. All right. Pope John Paul III is getting nutrition now from a feeding tube through his nose. Sources in the Vatican told uh, the Italian news agency that a breathing tube inserted February 24th made it difficult for the ailing pontiff to eat. The feeding tube was inserted in an effort to improve his nutrition. Uh, he appeared, by the way, at his studio window today and blessed the thousands of the faithful at the St. Peter's Square. He tried to speak, but no words were clear. The Pope had not spoken in public since March the 13th. He did not participate in some of the Holy Week services last week for the first time since 1978. You see the picture of this guy? Let him go. Let me see. Dear Lord. Is he doing a magic trick? No. <laughs> he's, he's blessing. No, nah, it looks like he's doing a magic no, trick. he's blessing him. Or that mic scared him. <laughs> <laughs> look at it. Don't look like the mic scared him. <laughs> kind of does. Uh, I'm Allie, look at it, Chloe. Ever, ever. Yeah. <laughs> Mallory just sent me a link. The federal appeals court has denied a bid to shove the feeding tube back in to, ter to Terry Chavo. Okay. So she's probably out. Yeah, that's going to be the end of that. And I, I heard an audio clip. I think it was from her dad or somebody speaking for the family today mm -hmm. of, you know, she's doing a lot better than we thought she would. And uh, she looks really good. And she's tracking people coming into and out of the room. Dude, at a certain point, you, you got to let reality seep in just a little bit. Right. And understand that this ain't going to play out the way that you want. It's not going to. It's rotten. It's horrible. And I wouldn't want to do it. I wouldn't want to have to go through it. Look at the... I, me of all people, I'm the big ass pussy that didn't want to put my dog to sleep. I know. I sat there and I waited for probably a week and a half before I finally looked at her and went, "Well, this ain't the dog that I got." <laughs> no, she could still follow you around the room. You said she could track you with her eyes, yeah. so it, it looked like she was aware of what was going on. But the rest of her body was gone. She couldn't move. She it was all she could do to breathe. Yeah. And I know that sounds absolutely absurd to leave a dog in ICU for over a week. To where they go in and they massage the muscles so she doesn't get atrophy. I know. I know. That was so I got, I got, I'm not pointing fingers at anybody on this. You want to hope that your daughter's okay? I'm all right with that. Because I didn't want to do it with an animal. I can't imagine doing it with my kid. Yeah. What is it, Dan? Well, I was going to say at some point you, you mentioned the father saying that she's doing really well. She looks great. She's, she's watching people. I've been hearing over the last week, ever since the tube was removed, people saying, well, look at how she's hanging on. Obviously, she wants to stay alive. She's fighting. It's like, no, it takes that long to die that way. It's not hanging on and fighting. It's just Well, yeah, at, at a certain point, you just don't say, I've had it with this. I'm shutting off. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't work that way. But then again, I'm not going to sit there and stomp all over this guy because he's living in a fantasy world. I feel bad for him. Yeah. Right. That's it. It's the only thing they, they got to cling to. Obviously, they got to be at the last end if they're inviting Jesse, Jesse Jackson to help them pray. Yeah. And then and you mentioned it, it took you a week and a half to get to the point where you had to put your dog down. Well, they've been going through this for 15 years. And yeah. you're right. At some point, they need to start to accept what's going to happen. 
as opposed to all they're I doing. I think the only, the only time they're going to accept this in which, is when she's gone. And, and I think, unfortunately, that may end up hurting them even more so than if they were to start to go ahead and accept it. It's a lot easier to handle once it happens if you're already preparing yourself for it. I don't think you ever... I don't want to get too deep here, but I don't know that you ever prepare for death. No. Even when I knew my dad was gone, it was his third stroke, saw him the last time that night, the next morning when he was really gone, it was hard. And it was good for him to, to be gone, but it still hurt. It was still a shock. Somebody just sent an email, said Mark Davis was bagging on you today, saying you were insensitive to the Terry Shavo case. When were you insensitive? What did I say? I don't know. You said it's tragedy and it's sad, but let it go. Let it happen. I, don't, I mean, that's more or less what you've said is what you've just said now. It's, ho- it's a horrible thing to have to make that decision. What? I don't know. This is just one email. So Is that, the, is that all it said? Hey, your, Mar- your man Mark Davis was begging on you today saying you were insensitive to the Terry Shabo case. Maybe it's time to bust his chops. Sick him, boss. Dan, fetch me the Mark Davis, please. I think of all the, of all the different issues we've talked about over the last six months, I've probably been very sensitive to this. I think so, too. It's a rotten place to be. You're in a situation where the, the only person that knows what's going on can't tell anybody. Mm-hmm. And if I ever get to that situation, <laughs> I want to make I want to make sure everybody knows. I printed it out for you. What? There's, there's your medical power of attorney. This is too long to fill out. It's really only got a few blanks. Got a lot of legal ease. <sighs> medical power of attorney. I. Your name goes here. Name, address, phone. As my agent, uh, make any and all health care decisions for me, except to the extent I state otherwise in this document. So you fill this out. You get it notarized, and you're done. Mm-hmm. Well, where, where's the uh, the blank where you work in the code? <laughs> I don't think they have a code. There needs to be a code. <laughs> you're just going to have to trust whoever it is that you're... I'm not trusting you guys with dick. <laughs> well, that's... Big. I want... We're setting up some kind of code, and I want three different people to come in yeah. and test me before you go, okay, he wants to die. Then you'll have to put that as an addendum. What is it, Dan? It, it's almost like you're treating it like it's buried treasure. You <laughs> go over the first part of the map, and there's an answer, then the second part of the map, and then it's the final part. It's got nothing to do with buried treasure. I want to make sure it's like with Terry Shivo. She may be cognizant enough to blink or twitch or do something, and, I, I'm, and I'm not being cute here. Pee your pants, drop a duty, just do something <laughs> to say, do you want to live? Show us a sign. That's all it takes. Right. But what happens if the code comes out in, involuntarily? That's why you get three different people to do it. <laughs> There's fail safe. There's check. It's re- it's called redundant backup. Oh, God. Of course, it'd be my luck. It's the day I got the squirts. <laughs> it's clearly wants to go. <laughs> Let him loose. <laughs> Who's on, was on the hotline? That's Mark Davis. Hey. Uh, I am in line at a convenience store in Arlington. Estimated time to completion of my transaction, 30 seconds. All right. Are we good? Uh, we'll wait. It is. Uh, okay, hang on a second. Okay. What are you getting? I'm getting an Arizona iced tea and a pack of Eclipse gum. All right, then. All right, stand by one moment. What is, uh, is there a chick behind the counter? No, it's a very nice uh, gentleman. Oh, let me talk to him. No, that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> they all got you figured out. <laughs> okay. Is that me? Oops, I'm sorry. Hang on a second. I'm looking at the... Uh, all right, very good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, those Arizona iced teas ain't cheap, man. What do, they, what do they run? Very good. Keep it. No problem. Thank you very much. I just gave him a uh, 30-cent tip on... Uh, I guess I know dollar to 30-cent tip. Okay. I am out of the building and getting into the car. What can I do for you? You tip people at the 7-Eleven? <laughs> no, not, only when I'm trying to get the hell out of there faster than they seem able to make change. <laughs> all right. Never thought of that before. Were you bagging on me on the show today? What do you think? I don't know. I don't know what you're up to. Think about it. What do you think? What is the likelihood of me bagging on you on the show? Let me think for a moment. Please do. Because I know how you are. There you go. All right, then. Yes, I do. (laughs) Really? Really? Well, let me guide you to two factors. All right, then. What is the likelihood, and, and we've discussed this injustice, all yes. right, this great injustice, what is the likelihood of me mentioning you on the show? All right, that's a good point. Mm. Fairly low. Fairly low. And, and I, I forget, why is that again? 
because I because your employers are a lot more loosey goosey about this stuff than mine are. Oh. Now let's go to question number two. What is the likelihood of me banging on you publicly about anything? I don't know. We disagree on stuff. Well, you didn't ask that. You didn't say, did I say that we disagreed about that? Let me, let me see the email. Yeah, well, please, yeah, read me this gem. It just says, hey, your man Mark Davis was bagging on you today, saying you were insensitive to the Terry Schiavo case. Well, you talk about that, the You talk about the Terry Schiavo case? I think I've led you to the proper conclusion. I have talked at great length about the Terry Schiavo right. case. Did my name come up? Not once. And in fact, not only are there two, there are three reasons why this guy is on crack. Okay. And, and that is yeah. that other than being somewhat over the top stylistically, I'm probably likely to share your basic view about this, which is that it's very sad, but that if her if the courts say that he is her guardian, we can agree or disagree about that, but 15 years of court rulings simply make that the way it is, and this woman needs to go be with God now. So you tell me where the, 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 the source material is for me to be bagging on you on the show or off the show. Hmm. What did you say? <laughs> You're too. You're way too defensive about this. Yeah. All it would have no. taken was a no. I did. Yep. You know what? I'll, I'll tell you what I get defensive about. All right. Lying sacks of crap. That's what I get defensive about. Not def not defensive. It's what I get angry about. Yeah. So if some pinhead listener of yours or mine. Well, this obviously was one of yours. <laughs> well, of course. How silly of me. But it, well, it may be part of that growing, massively growing population of people who listen to us both. Right. Chooses to send you something incendiary. I can only figure that in the spirit of playful prankishness that we've kind of established. Right. Or, or that you've established toward me. Yes. Uh, that, that this is an example of same. Mm. I did hear Mark say today that it's, it's a very sad situation, and he, as he was telling one listener. But this is happening every day in every city, including Dallas. Today, people... That ain't what I'm asking about. I know, but, he, but <laughs> he's on your side, is my point. I don't know why we yeah. bag on you. Oh. Dude, there's, just, there's just no basis there, man. All right, somebody will come up with evidence. But no, they won't. I, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Yes. Somebody comes up with tape of, of me bagging on you on the show... I, I will uh, I will come do mornings at uh, 105.3. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. For nothing. Okay. For how For long? Uh, five years. All right. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Best deal Gavin ever made. And enjoy your tea. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Weasel. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe he just said in general some people are being insensitive, and they guess this. Well, guy why would that be me? I wasn't you. You were never insensitive. About All this I case. said was this chick ain't a coffee maker. Stop plugging her, unplugging her. Not like you can just plug her back up and expect her to, expect her to percolate. Well, that's what they said today. Even if they'd plugged it back in, they're not sure that's going to help. What? Line five. Yeah, Wayne. That was when he was talking about how Sean Hannity and Rush Limbaugh were so far over the edge on this, not you. Oh, did he just say Rush? Yeah, he said Rush Limbaugh, not Russ Martin. Well, I don't know how they would get Rush Limbaugh and me confused. He might have said Rush in, the, in one statement, and this guy thought he meant Russ. Uh oh. That would make that makes more sense. What, what, what is Hannity and Limbaugh saying about it? Uh, they think that she needs to be plugged back in. Think I think she needs to be wrong. plugged back in until somebody pulls their head out because nobody really seems to know what's going on. Because so, it's like, all right, in, out. Okay, we're willing to hear uh, your case again. Minute, last it's a last-minute thing. Well, if it's really, if the door's really closed, there's no reason to say we're willing to hear something. Right. Well, right. I agree. The door should have been closed a long time ago. Yeah, if, if, if you're going to make it a, a definitive answer like, yes, unhook this woman, you better be freaking sure that's the last thing that you're going to say about it. Mm -hmm. 
Because you can't, like I said, you can't just flick this chick on and off with her feeding tube like uh, an appliance. This has just gotten so much press. Well, it's not that they plugged her in and unplugged her. It's that, the, you know, the courts have decided and it's been in again, litigation. Now they finally decided, but now we're going to turn around and appeal it. Uh, the decision has already been made. It's been overturned by every court out there. I mean, there's no reason to go back to it. I just but wonder the nurse, if... The thank, nurses thanks, don't Wayne. You've been very informative. <laughs> I wonder if somebody just jumps in on this and, and decides to get in the middle of it just for the notoriety. Of course. Somebody in the ju judicial system. I don't think that'll happen. I think you meant more like Jesse Jackson. Well, Jesse Jackson, I absolutely know why he's there. Sure. Because he knows how to run everybody else's business. Mm -hmm. He can't keep his, his, his Peter in check, but he can tell people how to, he's uh, there at the last minute to manage their children, take care of their schools, correct. handle things, handle supposed injustices. Exactly. But he can't keep his uh, uh, Peter on a leash. We don't want to discuss that. No, we don't want to discuss look, that look because, yeah. Look over that. Look, look at the good I'm doing over here. No, you're jacking around in somebody else's business again. It's a photo op. Yeah. She deserves to die decent, you know, decently. Well, they're not doing anything horrible to her. Yeah. And you want to pray for somebody, you can do it remotely from your house. With yeah. Your, with your Peter up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With your Peter in check. <laughs> but again, the CNN cameras aren't there at the house, so. Right. I'm not taking that. How are we doing, Chloe? Badly? Okay. How many stories you do? About four or five. Yeah. And we'll come back and finish. Okay. All right, we'll be back. We'll be back to the Russ Martin Show. Russ Martin Show on Live 105.3. Keep more of your money at 7-Eleven. Sign up for a VCOM membership during March and you can cash paychecks free until April 15th. And we're always open at participating 7-Eleven stores. For over 20 years, it's been the biggest event in sports entertainment. And this Sunday, live and only on pay-per-view, WrestleMania goes Hollywood. Los Angeles, California. WWE presents WrestleMania. Starring the game Triple H in an epic battle with the animal, Batista for the World Heavyweight Championship. Plus, GBL clashes with John Cena as the WWE Championship is on the line. And undefeated at WrestleMania, the legendary Undertaker collides with the legend killer Randy Orton. Plus, Raw showstopper Shawn Michaels takes on SmackDown's Olympic champion, Kurt Angle. And it's Rowdy Roddy Piper and Piper's Pit featuring the return of Stone Cold Steve Austin. The Rattlesnake! The Rattlesnake! WrestleMania goes Hollywood. Don't miss WrestleMania. Live this Sunday at a special starting time, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, only on pay-per-view. Don't miss WWE WrestleMania 21. This Sunday at 6, live and only on pay-per-view. Order WWE WrestleMania 21 through your cable or satellite provider today. Tonight's top story is about a couple in Yonkers who... Oh, who cares? Did you ever get the feeling that your TV is, well, bored? Our next guest is a hot young actor who's very much like all the other hot young actors. We have. Bored of the same old ideas? Okay, Maggie, $10,000. Now all you gotta do is eat this entire plip. Maggie, hi. Is she sleeping? It's time for DirecTV. With over 225 channels, all in 100% digital quality, DirecTV is bringing excitement back to your TV. That's why in just one year, more people chose DirecTV over all other cable and satellite providers combined. DirecTV. Rethink TV. Act now and pay just $45.99 a month for the first three months, and DirecTV will give you over 50 premium channels free. And get up to a four-room DirecTV system free. Call 1-800-DIRECTV or visit DirecTV.com. Just activate the Total Choice Premier Package with your annual commitment to any Total Choice programming. Offer on 73105 and is subject to approved credit hardware and programming sold separately. New customers only. Restrictions apply at $4.99 a month for second and each additional TV. In the Kitchen with Johnny Caraba and Damian Mandola, founders of Caraba's Italian Grill. Hey, JC, what's your favorite dish at Caraba's? Hands down, it's the polo 
Rosa Maria. Let's make one right now. What do you Come say? Come on, man. man. Get with it. See this fresh chicken breast I have there, Johnny? Well, that's pretty. Now, look, I'm going to put prosciutto right there on that butterfly chicken breast. Look what I have here, JC. Fontina cheese. It melts in Ooh, your mouth. Oh, man, that looks good. Okay, look, I'm going to put that cheese on top of the prosciutto. I'm going to fold that chicken breast back over. Look at that. Oh, man. Well, I can't wait to chicken eat that. breast. And okay, we're going to let that just Ooh. sizzle away. I can see a little of that Fontina cheese oozing Starting out. to ooze out, baby. While that's grilling, let's make our sauce, huh? I'm going to take some mushrooms here, white wine, fresh basil, a little touch of lemon juice, just to kind of spark those flavors up. You're an artist. They say Michelangelo was pretty good, too. <laughs> we're going to put that chicken on the plate. Here comes the sauce. Is that delicious? Mm. Come to Carabas for the Polo Rosa Maria. It's not your typical Italian. Visit Carabas in Lakewood at the corner of Gaston and Abrams across from the Lakewood Country Club. Two more days truck month at Ford Truck Month. Grand Prairie Ford's doing it up and they got tons of vehicles for you ready to deliver. A thousand new and used trucks all ready to deliver. All marked at their lowest price ever only till close of business tomorrow. That's the end of truck month and that's, that's the, the, the big push when Ford brings out all the good stuff and all the best prices and I do want to talk about truck month. It's very important. But today, uh, I must talk about the Ford GT, the Mustang that I'm driving today, the 05. This is the most incredible sports car I've ever driven. I'm sure there's NASCARs that are much greater. But I was I was speeding down the freeway today and punched it. And this car is just amazing, the cornering and the speed of it. Anyway, you can go out and see the Ford GT if you'd like. Uh, it's, a, it's like an ocean blue one that I'm driving today. But it'll be back on the lot tomorrow when I pick up my truck. And uh, again, tomorrow will be the last day of the truck month. Great deals on cars and trucks. As well as, like I said, they get the Ford Focus for nine thousand six eighty eight. You'll never find that price again. Ford Ranger pickup twelve thousand three hundred eighty eight, or you can get an 05 Explorer for nineteen nine eighty eight. Lowest prices of the year. Just a couple days left at Grand Prairie Ford I thirty at Beltline Road. Go out and see the Ford Mustang too. Low Jack Recovery Story number ninety six thousand five hundred and ten. Take out the garbage. One morning in Florida, a teacher turns her SUV into the parking lot. Then, without even raising his hand first, a man with an assault rifle yells at her to get out of the car. He then jumps into the SUV and peels out of there. But our teacher, clearly toughened by educating 9- to 12-year-olds, immediately calls the police. Forty minutes later, a panic-stricken car thief is chased by several police cruisers tracking the SUV's low jack signal. The carjacker finally bounces off a truck and comes to rest against a garbage dumpster, a destination made even more fitting when it turns out he's wanted on murder charges. Today's lesson... While a car can be stolen anywhere, it won't get far if equipped with LoJack, the only security system used by police to recover stolen cars. LoJack. Get it and get it back. Over 3,000 cars are stolen every day in this country. Look after your car. Get LoJack, the only stolen vehicle recovery system that works with the police. LoJack. Get it and get it back. Your attention, please. Northern Tool and Equipment has decided there are entirely too many occasions dedicated to women. Women have Valentine's Day, Mother's Day. Women have the wedding anniversary. Well, it's time we created a holiday just for men. And so from this Saturday forward, this holiday shall be known as the Demo Day Power Sale, where everything will be 10% off. That's right, 10% off everything Northern Tool and Equipment carries this Saturday. So while she gets a dozen long stem roses, you get an eight-horse diesel power generator that'll never die. While she gets fancy French truffles, you get a pressure washer that can remove all traces of the color pink. This new holiday is also a good time to restock on grease, work gloves, and duct tape, too. Or to simply watch a demonstration of your favorite tool in action. The Demo Day Power Sale. Another giant leap for mankind. This Saturday, power up for spring at Northern Tool and Equipment, where warriors prepare for battle. Visit us in Garland, Grand Prairie, and White Settlement. Some exclusions may apply. See store for details. I'm lucky. I'm real lucky. In my job, I get to do the thing I love most. Jump out of planes at 10,000 feet. I'm Tom Gibson, founder and president of Velocity Helmets. Now, we make skydiving helmets for fast vertical flight. We believe the best equipment is created for skydivers by skydivers. So we all skydive. Well, everybody except Marvin. He's our shipping manager. Marv doesn't like to take chances. He says that's why he uses UPS and only UPS to deliver our helmets worldwide. I don't mess with Marv. He knows the shipping business. If he wants to keep his feet on the ground, that's fine. It means more jumps for me! UPS delivers more packages on time than anyone. UPS, what can Brown do for you? 
The Russ Martin Show. The alternative talk station. It's the greatest find yet. Live 105.3. Nissan introduced 10 bold, powerful cars and trucks and achieved the biggest sales increases in America. What's next? Nissan's Drive to a Million Sales event. We're out to break a record. One million sales. So you get great offers on select new Nissans, like the stylish redesigned Nissan Altima. Now lease the 2005 Nissan Altima 2.5S automatic for just $199 a month for 24 months with $16.99 initial payment. The Nissan Altima, now just $199 a month only at Nissan's Drive to a Million sales event. We're going to drive to a million so you get to drive a new 2005 Altima. See your Nissan dealer by March 31st. We're in a drive to a million so you get great offers on select new Nissans. Nissan, shift your ride. Sales increase based on PAI Auto Data CY 2004. Tax title license and options extra. Call 1 800 858 8319 for lease details. Offer ends 33105. Go ahead, Bill. Hi, we're the Pattersons, and uh, we switched to Fair and Flexible at Sprint because our old wireless company charged us huge fees for going over the minutes in our plan. So if your mom called, you think, is it worth it? I mean, is a 20-minute conversation about what the cat did today worth it? I mean, come on, Mom. It's a cat. So you switched. He switched. Yeah, Mom, and I'm glad I did. No more huge overages. The Sprint PCS Fair and Flexible Plan for Families automatically adds anytime minutes as you need them. Start with two lines and share 800 anytime minutes for just $70 a month. And every 100 extra anytime minutes cost just $5. Sprint PCS. Now that's better. Offer N61205. Requires two-year agreement per line and preferred credit. Taxes and Sprint surcharges excluded. Activation and termination fees apply. See store for details. This Wednesday is the night you've been waiting for. All new episodes of TV's most talked about shows. First on an all new Lost. They believe they had been forgotten. Mayday, mayday. Anybody out there? That no one was listening. We're survivors of the crash. Can you hear me? Hello? They were wrong. And... Hello? Sydney, where are you? The ground is cold and damp. They dragged me to a cemetery and knocked me out. Whether you're very dead or alive. Have you been buried? <laughs> Jennifer Garner stars in an all-new Alias. Then, something completely new and different. Nothing in my line of work is ever what it seems. Got a problem? Can't call the cops? Your jet got stolen? That's where Harlan Judd and his team of investigators can help. You, my man, are the master. Tim Daly stars. I don't like what you do. How you do it. Oh, no. You've got that look. Just wish I didn't like you. In the series premiere of Eyes. Be there tonight, starting at 7 on Channel 8, The Spirit of Texas. How do you make a Sunday? With Art Sunday in the Dallas Morning News. The Art Sunday section has news and special features you can use. Brush up on the local art scene. Find a museum for a great date with a touch of class. Read reviews on CDs, DVDs, MP3s, or the next great book you're going to read. Oh, and get the latest dish on celebrities. So the next time you and your friends get together, you'll have the inside scoop. Art Sunday in the Dallas Morning News. It's how you make a Sunday. The Alternative Talk Station. Live 105.3. Why is it you can't call the electric company anymore and say, hey, my power's out? They go, okay, we'll come out. It's just not the way that works. Why? I, what What happened? At what point in service did they just go, you know what? We don't see a problem. 
Okay. Well, my power's not on. Mm. Can you come out and look? Phone company's the same way. I know. Well, if we come out, it's going to cost you. Yeah. Well, what is that I pay you every month for? Mm -hmm. That's for the service. Well, we don't know if, uh, as far as we know, it's getting to your house. Well, it ain't. Well, we don't know that. (laughs) And if we come out to prove it, it'll cost you cash. Yeah. The same thing with my uh, uh, security system at the old house. Something wasn't working. Mm -hmm. Well, if we come out, it's going to cost you. But I pay you for service. Well, we don't know it's uh, our equipment. Well, what if it is? Well, you still got to pay us. Mm -hmm. I'm not making any of this up. I know you're not. I totally understand. And where, where are you going to go? With electricity now, you, you, you can go to... Uh, you, yeah, you got a few different other electric companies. Well, phone you do too. Now there's internet phone and a few others. I got a few emails about broadband service. Mm-hmm. I've heard of it. I don't know how it works. From what I've read, the only downside to it is you don't really get 911 service. Uh-huh. You can call... I don't even know if you can call 911. But when you do... Let's say if you can, Mm -hmm. it doesn't show up. Your address doesn't show up. I got you. But that seems to be the new thing. They expect that to grow exponentially over the next few years, the broadband service, uh, telephone service. But nobody wants to to do anything anymore. Because they don't have to. The power's out. Mm. Mm, I'm not (laughs) there. Ours is on here. (laughs) So obviously the generators are working. It's probably something in your house. It's nice and cool in here. Yeah. Right, too. Almost too cold. <laughs> Rob's still on the phone. In the other room, it's like his fifth or sixth call, talking to somebody. Well, when are they coming out? The last I heard, it's sometime tonight before they're coming out. Oh, Jesus. Rob, what do they say? How many houses is out? Um, Frank said uh, the next door neighbor, the lady, um, and then uh, he said there's been about three other houses on the block. It's that screwball construction crew at the corner, ain't it? Yeah. I knew it. Yeah, that makes sense. Is Frank talking about that hot chick that lives next door? (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Frank's the cop. Oh, okay. He came, he went to check on the house to make sure that everything was okay. All righty. That's all he talks about is a hot neighbor chick. Should we be saying this? I say he wanted to screw her. Okay. <laughs> the uh, the first time I met him when we were uh, helping you with the tanning bed, <laughs> when I first met him, he's like, "Have you seen the hot chick next door?" God. Yeah. He don't talk about the Dallas Cowboy that lives around the corner no. or the country club that's behind me. Did you see the hot chick next door? <laughs> <laughs> what a milf. <laughs> and then I asked him about the cowboy. It's like, well, doesn't the cowboy live? Oh, you got to see the yeah, hot chick. Yeah. He lives right next door to the hot chick. <laughs> Have you seen her? Is she hot? I haven't seen anything yet. Oh, okay. But I know they're listeners. Okay. They because I got an email from them right before I moved in that said welcome to the neighborhood. Oh, that's nice. Because they saw uh, they saw me moving boxes and stuff. So now I don't know what she looks like. Mm-hmm. But that's that's all he can- obviously that's the landmark for Frank in that area <laughs> is a hot blonde chick. I see. Oh man, she's outside playing. And I thought he was going to say something disgusting. She was outside playing with her kids. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's doing it for him, is it? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my Lord. All right, you want to finish with news? Sure. Okay. You may have to read news all day, because I, since my computer shut down, mm-hmm. everything that I read today, all the notes that I made, mm-hmm. they're all sitting at home. I couldn't get at them. We have plenty. All right. Plenty of stuff going on. Keep going. Talked about that lady that found a fingertip in her Wendy's chili. Well, one week after women eating at the Wendy's chili, or the Wendy's place, rather, in San Jose, California area, says she found a human fingertip in her chili. Area sales continue to fall. National sales have not been hit, though. The story has become a little bit of fodder for late-night comics, however. The company, uh, the company rather, says it investigated the March 22 incident and insists that the one-and-a-half-inch fingertip, which appears to be a woman's because it is manicured, did not come from a restaurant or any of its supplies. At the restaurant, uh, the Santa Clara County. I don't think you do any cutting at Wendy's for for prep. Uh, yeah, this... hang on, I'm thinking. Nah, they've changed the menu too much since I worked there. I saw the story the other day, and they said they showed all the ingredients. It all comes from different places. You don't prep it. You you make it there, but you don't have to cut anything. Well, you cut the onions. Yeah, and somebody, you cut the tomatoes. Somebody cuts their finger off. Somebody's going to know. In the yeah, somebody in the store would have said something. Yeah, there've been blood everywhere. 
I think there's something fishy with this story, personally. Why? Think of it. You, you get, think of the little chili thing, yeah. okay? Now you got a little plastic spoon. What? Hold on a second. What now? Who is that? Apparently it's your UPS guy. Is that the one that came by yesterday? Uh, I guess so. You you the one that came by yesterday? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> when you're under when you're undoing the Batmobile? Yeah. You should holler at me with your uh, lawnmower stuck. We could have hooked it up to the back of that truck and yanked it out of there. I I finally pulled my truck around back and pulled the mower around. Them. Did you? Yeah. Did you? Your next door neighbor? Yeah, she has a hot chick. <laughs> 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 I well, like how hot? Oh, uh, real hot. How many? She's not, she's, she's not real big up top, but she's a sweetheart. How many kids do they have? Uh, one that I've seen. All right. But, yeah, she's a hottie. And welcome to the neighborhood. All right. <laughs> Keep an eye on my house. Hey, you bet. Hey, now, now are you, do you, like, sleeping in the morning? Do I sleep in the morning? Well, the reason I say that is because normally I, when I'm delivering to you, yeah. delivering, you know, that section, I catch it between 10 and 11. And, no, you know, if, no. if you get something, I don't want to sit there and bang on your door and say, no, hey, I'm, you know, here's your, here's your stuff. No, I'm up. Okay. I get up about 7. Okay. All right. Thank that'll, you. So. That'll work. And if, if I do leave anything for you, normally I just, you know, ring and I'm out of there. All right. And if you want, I'll. I'm used I'll, to that. <laughs> <laughs> the runaways, runaways. Yeah. <laughs> just, Who dare? Just, just don't stomp on the burning bags. <laughs> I won't. Thank you. All right. UPS guys, guys are zany. <laughs> <laughs> They're all cards. <laughs> they, always, they always set your packages on fire. Why not? They don't. <laughs> what can Brown do for you? <laughs> <laughs> That's their saying. How is it so many people know where I live now, and I was at the other house for five years? Uh, this house is just more monumental. It's pretty well known probably in that neighborhood as well as that area. But how do they know I'm in it? I think you've just said enough that, that people, anyone that, in that area knows. And word spreads. People, people love to talk. You know who's moving in? Blah, blah, blah. You guys don't know about this because this happened on vacation. What? Our sales department was sending pictures of my house over the internet to people over at Clear Channel. What? Yeah. Why? I didn't, they thought it was cute. Somebody in our sales department took a picture of your house and sent it to somebody in Clear Channel. The, they got the picture off of one of the uh, real estate websites. Okay. And it was sending... It was, first of all, it made the rounds in this building. Okay. And then... It starts going to everybody's friends and starts ending up over at people at Clear Channel. And the only way that I find out about it is I got a friend over at one of the Clear Channel stations mm -hmm. and went, you got a beautiful house. When how did you know? They sent me the picture of it God. with the email of it coming from one of the sales chicks upstairs. Jesus. And what happened to her, the sales chick here? I called her on her sale mm -hmm. and I said, what made you think that I would appreciate you sending pictures of my house to other radio stations? Uh, yeah. Well, I was very excited for you. That's not what I asked. Mm -hmm. What made you think that was a good idea? Well, I was just very proud for you, and I wanted other people to see the house. What if I didn't? Yeah. Now, I wasn't ugly to her, and I didn't scream at her, because it wasn't going to do any good, because I knew that Cooperman upstairs was going to take care of it later. Right. And then she starts crying. No. Oh. Damn, you're good. I, really... I, I, did, I didn't say anything. Well, that's just that's why you're good. You yeah. didn't have to scream or anything, and she just automatically broke down into tears. It's very impressive. <laughs> God, damn. You know what? Gavin said exactly the same thing. <laughs> he goes, that's amazing. I don't understand. Well, because they expect you to scream, and when you're quiet, it's that quiet dynamic that's scary. Oh, they, it's yeah. like when somebody looks at you and says, that's okay, you hit me. Oh, yeah. That'll be fine. Yeah. You know you're dead. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like the speech pattern of a sociopath before he dismembers you. I understand. Very calm. That's scary. So, and, and they had some big sales meeting upstairs mm -hmm. that day where they called everybody in and screamed at them. Well, good. Why was I telling that story? About your house, people that knows you look Oh, yeah, you that's live. why everybody knows where I live. Our sales department decides <laughs> they're going to send pictures out. Great. I'm just, I, I've decided I'm going to have a sales meeting at the house mm -hmm. so all the people can come over, all the sales uh, uh, mm -hmm. account executives. Correct. And they can, you know, we can talk about the show and sales opportunities, and I'm going to hand them disposable cameras when they come in so they can snap their own pictures. Yeah, get the inside of the house, not just the outside. Yeah. Yeah. Think, think follow through. Show them everything. What? Someone from Just Breaks called and said they got it last week. Oh, Lord. The picture of my house? Yeah. Who was it? Was it the guy? 
well, the, the the person that called in was a guy, but he didn't give me his name. He didn't want to say who he was or anything. But oh. he, apparently, he got it from their corporate people. <laughs> corporate. So it's well, made just, it around advertising. And, and Just Breaks is one of our clients. Right. I, I just don't get why they think that's okay. I, I really don't know. All right, go ahead. I was talking about that lady that uh, found the little fingertip in. Yeah, why do you think that's screwy? Well, think of the what? Think of the little cup that you get the chili in and the little plastic spoon you eat it with, okay? Who dips that up and could find an inch and a half finger and not notice? That little spoon would not hold much chili. The little, I don't understand. Little, uh, you could not see a, that. Are you talking about the person serving it? The person eating it. No, the person Did she say it. she ate it? Yeah, she said she put it in her mouth. No, she That's didn't. why she wants all the cash. And uh, everybody at the table also wants cash. Everybody why? saw it. Could they well, all they, saw it? They, what are they? They snowball the <laughs> finger, <laughs> spit it in each other's God. mouth. No, they were all traumatized because she saw it and then she puked. I'm sorry, I don't think it ever went in her mouth. I think the lawyer got to her and said, "This really is only going to play if you put this in your mouth." Yeah, you're putting it in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Think how small that spoon is. How could you not see something the size of an inch and a half finger with a nip nail on it? I still don't. I think it's bogus. Well, here's the I mean, other it really thing. Well, here's the other thing. Is since they got the finger, they're going to be able to find out who it came from. Yeah, that's, the cops are trying to get a fingerprint. They're trying to locate it, but you know, it could be somebody technically that was not on file. They should be able to find the owner. You'd think. All right, good. All right. Speaking of fast food, Burger King has unveiled a new breakfast sandwich. That's a uh, well, actually, not for one on a diet. It's the number two fast food chain debuted its enormous omelet sandwich on Monday. The sandwich has one sausage patty two eggs, two American cheese slices, and three strips of bacon. That's 730 calories and 47 grams of fat. That's more than the Whopper, by the way. That has 700 calories and 42 grams of fat. A Burger King spokeswoman defended the giant sandwich, saying uh, eating one is a little different than ordering a full plate breakfast at a local diner. Grand Slam breakfast at Denny's, by the way, which comes with two pancakes, two eggs, two strips of bacon, and two link sausages is only 665 calories. Uh, well, you seen a picture of that thing? No. Huge. Let me see it. I don't have the picture. They just showed it on the news. Oh. Was it any bigger than... Uh, it's like a loaf of bread. Like this. It's got all that stuff. And how much, um, how much meat? Two, 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 two. It has... Um, the sandwich has one full sausage patty, two eggs, two American sli uh, cheese slices, and three strips of bacon. Uh, all right. No, I haven't seen it. What is it, Dan? Yes, Russ. Hello? Yeah, what is it, Dan? I work in the food industry, and the likelihood of someone finding a finger in a bowl of Wendy's chili is not very likely at all. Why? That product's not even produced in the store. It's produced in a facility away from the store, and it's heated up in a bag at the store. Has that changed? Because when I worked at Wendy's, we made it there. Uh, it has changed. I work for a manufacturer that makes chili for Wendy's. All and right. if, some, if someone lost a finger at the producing plant, you'd obviously... They would notify someone who was operating the line. The USDA is involved. They shut down the line. They would throw everything away. It's a fake. Well, it really did happen. I mean, there's people, there's a police report and everything else. This lady is... And, and they have the finger. Yes, they do. The police have the finger. All right. Thanks, Dan. <clears throat> but the likelihood of her finding that, in her, I don't know where it came from. I don't know the story. I just think it sounds suspicious. Well, it's not like she could have planted it. She could have. Or the chili. Where do you get the finger? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't think you could plant something like that. Well, she didn't put it in her mouth. We don't know that. <laughs> that chili's pretty good. <laughs> it's good. It's very tasty. A pull by when, I, when I worked at Wendy's back in 76, 77, we made the chili there. That's I saw the, a story the other day that said they make the chili there. But they showed all the different elements They're all going into the, the pot. Yeah. It goes, there's no way finger could have slipped by us. Yeah, if somebody gets a finger chopped off, first question is going to be, where's the other end of it? And if, if you don't find it, then you get out the, the colander and you start pouring through the chili. Right. Okay, go ahead. Now, a poll by the U.S. National Sleep Foundation finds that the Amer average American is getting about 6.9 hours of sleep. That's less than the bare minimum of the seven hours recommended and way less than the ideal, which is eight to nine hours. 75% of adults say they frequently suffer from sleep problems like waking up repeatedly during the night or snoring. 30% of adults say they've missed work, made errors on the job, or missed some activity because of a lack of sleep. And almost 25% of people who are married or in relationships say they had sex less often or have lost interest altogether because they're too sleepy. Mm -hmm. 
Now, the boy that was accused of Michael Jackson of molestation proudly showed off an expensive watch the singer gave him and boasted that Jackson would buy him anything, according to a flight attendant who testified today. Cynthia Bell said the boy bragged about the watch on a flight with Jackson and members of the boy's family from Miami to California in 2003. Prosecutors contend that the watch was a bribe to keep the boy from revealing that Jackson gave him alcohol. Defense attorneys contend, of course, that the boy and his family were just out to bilk Jackson and other celebrities. They've portrayed the uh, child molestation charges as a shakedown attempt. Bell also testified that she served Jackson wine in the Diet Coke can and did not see his accuser drink from it. Bell said it was her idea to serve Jackson wine in a soda can and became routine on all the pop stars' flights because Michael is a very private drinker, she says. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start hearing about Michael's other accusers in about two weeks. These They've actually given the names out of these five guys. Jordan Chandler, he's the boy who received the $20 million settlement. Uh, Jason Francia, I suppose. He was supposedly molested before Chandler in 1990, but only uh, after Chandler's allegations surfaced in 1993 did they come forward. Macaulay Culkin, he's not going to be on, they won't call him at all, because he's basically on Michael Jackson's side. Yeah, he said nothing ever happened. Right. In fact, I think even his dad said that. Yeah, they both did. Yeah. Wade, a guy named Wade Robson, he's a uh, chore- choreographer who worked with Britney Spears and Sync. He is another guy who probably won't testify, because he basically stood up and said, Michael did nothing to me. And Brett Barnes, now a 23-year-old Australian dude who spent about two years um, as one of Michael's special friends back when he was 11, he said he was never abused. All right. And of course, we know Johnny Cochran died of an inoperable brain tumor yesterday. There'll be some audio to go with this. Okay. Uh, at his home in Los Angeles, he was 67 years old. Johnny was pretty secretive about his illness, and he did confirm the tumor last September. Johnny is, of course, most famous for securing the acquittal of the accused murderer, O.J. Simpson. Yes, he did. Uh, he will be forever remembered for telling jurors that if the glove don't fit, you must acquit. Cut number one. Johnny Cochran talks about how the line, if the glove doesn't fit, you must acquit, came about. Well, we had started thinking about that line during the trial because we thought that a lot of the evidence didn't make sense and it didn't fit. And then when the glove demonstration came about, it was clear to us at that point that we didn't think the gloves fit either. So it was a natural segue. Cut number two. During the O.J. Simpson trial, Johnny Cochran explained to the jury, this is actual jury uh, audio, while the nap, the knit cap wasn't much of a disguise. Now put this knit cap on. Now you've been seeing me for a year. If I put this knit cap on, who am I? I'm still Johnny Cochran with a knit cap. If you look at O.J. Simpson over there, and he has a rather large head, O.J. Simpson in a knit cap from two blocks away is still O.J. Simpson. It's no disguise. It's no disguise. It makes no sense. It doesn't fit. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. <laughs> And no, I love it. Every morning when I get it. Larry King Live, that's the next cut. Number three, Johnny Cochran says he loves being a lawyer and explains why. Cut three. Okay. No, I love it. Every morning when I get up, when I look at all the choices of things I could be, I love being a lawyer because it gives you an opportunity to do interesting things. It gives me an opportunity to, you know, represent people who are injured. Uh, it gives me an opportunity to represent people who I believe are innocent. It gives me an opportunity if I want to go into politics or whatever. So for young kids out there, it's a great career. OJ told CNN, by the way, he last saw Johnny at a Lakers game a few months ago and he was in good spirits. OJ said, quote, we were praying for him then, and I still am now. I loved him as a Christian man. I look at Johnny as a great Christian. I knew him was that. He was a great guy. At one point, Johnny was also helping with the Michael Jackson defense, by the way. All right. Former corn guitarist. Hold on. How are we on, Chloe? All right. Go ahead. Morning. Former corn guitarist and current uh, musical soldier for Christ, Brian Welch, has written another open letter to 50 Cent. The song is called A Cheap Name. Why can't you just find Jesus and shut up? Because he's trying to help 50 Cent not go to hell. 50 Cent don't need no help. I know, basically. That's what 50 Cent's people told him. Uh, the song says, My little boy, by your head in shame, you've disgraced your father's name now. What it's is this? This is from A Cheap Name. This is a, a song that, that Brian has written to 50 Cent. People, when they find God, just turn into an absolute pain. Yeah. Your little toys won't save you from shot 10. That's because he's been shot. 50 Cent's been shot nine times. Okay. Your little toys won't save you from shot 10 without me. You will not win. No, I swear you will lose. And the last song of the song, the last line of the song is just love Jesus. Uh, in his letter, by the way. Well, love Jesus as in love, Jesus signed love, it for him? comma, Jesus. Oh. What is it, Dan? I was going to say, the guy actually mentioned it in his song. 50 Cent's been shot nine times. At this yeah. point, you figure his relationship with God is fairly solid. Yeah.
Well, <laughs> Welch goes on to address that. He says that God told him 50 Cent is a marked man. He said, God told me there will be many attempts made to kill you by the enemy. I don't know if... Why has he been shot nine times? Was this on nine separate occasions or somebody <laughs> get... I think it's nine different times. Uh, well, he was shot nine different times, but they weren't all on uh, separate occasions. Well, what I meant was, did nine different people take a pot shot at him? No, I think it was uh, from multiple uh, like, shots out of a couple of guns. Okay. Okay. He continues, I don't know if you're supposed to live or get smoked. Only God knows the future. Like I said, I'm just the messenger. All I know is God told me to tell you he loves you and play time's over. It's time to come home. He's the reason you took nine, not because you're Superman. You have the power to not only change history, but to a uh, chance to be God's frontline soldier. By the way, 50s rep people. It's over people like that that turn me off against religion. Yeah. Absolutely. They rep people over at Interscope Records. Simply issued a, a no comment. All right. To the letter. And, of course, while um, Brian is uh, continues to try to rescue 50 Cent from Satan, corn singer Jonathan Davis teaming up with another rapper to make another song. Davis says he and Little John will collaborate on a yet untitled song together. What are you laughing at? <clears throat> that collaboration. Of what? Between them two. Little John. Because Little John, all he does is, hi! He does like a little, <laughs> kind of sounds like James Brown sound, effect, sound effects, and he's famous for it. That's all he does? That's all he does. Okay. Have that audio. All right. Well, after screwing up the phone numbers during Tuesday's performance uh, show, the suits behind American Idol forced their fans to sit through a third show last week. Fox pulled in the combined 41 million viewers between Wednesday's revoting re episode and Thursday's. And American Idol's on more than once a week, right? It's only on twice, I think, and now they've run it three times last week because they screwed the phone numbers up on the bottom of the screen. You call in and They rerun the same episode? I think they did with the right numbers. I think that's what they did. And people watched the same episode again? I believe they did, yes. In fact, they watched them very much. They were three of the top four shows. Was American Idol? Mm hmm What is it? In fact... Do I, have I not watched an entire episode and I'm missing something? I don't get it either. I totally don't understand. I watched it a few times because we'll leave the TV on out in the yeah, weight room. it's on right after we get off, so I miss it. And, you know, they, they come and they, they either let them on or they don't. Mm-hmm. They sing decent or they don't. And then they What's the draw? I I've I've tried watching an entire episode because my wife watches it. All right. Okay. And that makes sense. It seems like a chick show. So I said, okay, I hear lots of people talking about it. I want to try it out. I lasted fifteen minutes. And I just I don't get it either. Well, there's something that we're not getting because how many people watched it till last week? The very the, the screwed up version, the one that came out Tuesday, was number one with twenty seven million. The same exact show ran Wednesday and another twenty million watched it. It was a little different. What was different? I watched all three. Basically, they just come on and go, hey, here's how we screwed up last night. And they pointed it out like two or three times. They said, well, hey, here's the screw up. Did they show any the new deal. performances? No, they, they showed the same performances. <laughs> they just explained their mess just up. Just explained their mess up. And a little more behind the scenes stuff to make it kind of interesting. All right. And then another 20 million watched the Thursday show. Which was different. That's, that was a new one. Yeah, that was the results show. That's when they come out and say, okay, here's who's getting booted off the island. All right. <laughs> go ahead. All right, even though the latest version of The Surreal Life doesn't uh, quite have the buzz the show once had, VH1 isn't giving up on it. In fact, they've already announced the lineup for the fifth season of The Surreal Life. Here's another one I haven't watched. In which uh, set to, they're set to premiere VH1 on September the 4th of this year. The cast of the fifth season will include Bronson Pinchot, uh, Sandy... Oh, that's De sad. I know. <laughs> and no. Uh, Why don't you just go into politics? I mean, if, if your career has gotten that bad... Kind of go away. Say, you know what? I was tired of Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. I'll be back. Yeah, like Gopher from the Love Boat. He couldn't get a job doing anything else. He went, ah, screw you. I'll go into politics. Mm -hmm. I like, like this. That was always my aspiration. So now they have Balky. Yes, they do. <laughs> uh, Sandy Ditton, who was Peppa from Salt and Peppa. Okay. Jose Canseco will be on there. Um, I don't know this. Amar Asa. Amarosa? I don't know who that is. Somebody from The Apprentice. That's uh, Amarosa. Amarosa. All right. From The Apprentice. Is that the one nobody liked? Yeah, she was the one that everyone uh, considered to be the... By the way, turn your bitch. mic up in there. Have they been jacking around in there? It, it sounded a little bit different the past couple of days. It's got noise in it. They need to beef up your levels in there and take that hiss out. Okay. Get your hair cut. No, I You're big on haircuts this week. <laughs> I Janice Dickinson from the Americans, America's Next Top Model... Carrie Hart, basically a motocross stunt guy, and Caprice, a British model. 
Why are both Dr. Fetner and Venegas here? Are they in the same room together? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Why is uh, both of them here together, Rob? Um, it, because it's uh, uh, National Doctors' Day. And uh, they, they're doctors of the show. I thought you might want to wish them a happy Doctors' Day. What do you want me to let them do? Come in and play with their favorite parts? <laughs> Um, they are both prepared to do that. Yes, sir. God. Well, we know what Fentner's going to pick. <laughs> Drop him. Yeah. What does Venegas want to play with? He won't tell me. So is that what happens on Doctor's Day? You get you get uh, violated by your physician? I don't think so. I don't think nationally that's what happens. <laughs> this is starting out a lot like bait bus. What is that? What's well, the the gay guys that run around like like the the bang thing? I hate that because <laughs> that, that always mean? makes me scared. Somebody's gonna grab me in one of those vans and pull me in, and there's gonna be this hot Nubian chick. And it goes, they give me first, they give you cash. Hey, you get to have sex with this chick, and we're gonna give you cash. And then the next thing you know, some skinhead comes out and he's got a mouthful of you. It's fake. Those are all fake. No, it's not. Nobody gets in vans for money to have sex. Quit it. Then you ain't looked at the, the internet. I've seen the websites. That's don't you think they'd notice the cameras? Well, no, they have there? the cameras. That's why they're giving you cash because it's a performance. That's why. That's the way they explain a camera being there. And then the hot Nubian chick pulls out her her breasts. Yes. And you think things are about to go. <laughs> that's those are staged. No, they're not. <clears throat> I still have the blindfold. <laughs> <laughs> And then once you're already into it. Yeah, well, you've already done it. Yeah, it's already on tape. What's stopping? Yeah. Hold on. Who wants to come in first? Um, uh, it's up to you. They're both ready. Well, they can't stay if they come in here. Oh, I don't think it'll take long. Whose phone's ringing? It's not mine. It's mine. It's gonna be mine. <laughs> the world will be calling you at five o'clock. Oh, it's Mark Toll in California. Huh. Excuse me a second. Sure. What is it? I'm on the air. How? How? No, nah, that's illegal. That's a raffle. <laughs> Told him I was thinking about selling the number one car, the number oh. one Batmobile. Oh, okay. Because why don't you uh, get, have, sell a bunch of tickets? We've already been through that. That's well, a raffle. That's not illegal. That's a raffle. We can't do a raffle. Yeah, we can't. We can't do a lottery. We can't do a raffle. We can't do a raffle either. I've seen all the legal paperwork come back and forth from Jennifer Babin oh. in New York. We can't do any of it. I didn't know that. You can't do anything good for anybody anymore without having some kind of legal colonoscopy. I didn't know that. She sent of the the entire list of why we can't do it. You can't just, for whatever reason. You just can't have a. a you can't do anything. Well, churches do it. Fire departments do it. Just because we're on the radio, right? I I don't know. I just looked at the list and I went. I I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to mess with it. I don't want to do it to begin with. I know. But then it just got to be an irritant that you can't do anything nice, or raise cash for some kind of charity right. without having somebody stick a, a movie camera up your ass and dig around. I didn't know that. Legal. That reminds me, send Fetner in. <laughs> Let's see, get them in and out. Should I continue? I don't know. Let me look at the camera out in the hall. All right, here comes Robin Fetner. Okay. Oh, he's bringing in Venegas. Hi, gentlemen. Happy Doctor's Day. What is that? Well, Rob said that um, if we showed up, we could do any procedure that's ordinary in our office that we do on urology patients. So these are metal sounds uh, to dilate the penis with. Oh, God. So Let me thought, see that. We thought we'd just dilate you while oh. on the air, you know. Where does this go? Those go down the penis. Down the, 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 the yeah, urinary yeah. tract? Yeah. yeah. Which end of it? Well, we started, you know, at the, at the open end and worked towards the closed end. 
I don't mean which end of the penis. I'm talking about which end of the instrument. Because <laughs> oh, yeah, these look like spokes off a bicycle. They do. Actually, they look like spokes off of a Harley. <laughs> which end goes in? This yeah. end or this oh, end? No, the first end. Yeah. This yeah. end. Yeah. And how far do you go? We go all the way to the bladder. Why, why is it hooked? Yeah, well, they're curved. So you have to well, it's curved. curved here so he can hold his finger onto it yeah. so it don't accidentally slip all the way into your penis. Yeah. This is the size of uh, one of those larger pencils. Yeah. Yeah. It's a kickstand. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. the size of a kickstand. It's a bicycle kickstand. <laughs> It, that doesn't really go into the penis. Yeah. He's making it yeah. up. No, no, no. It does. No, they go. Why, and why does it... Are you guys friends now? Yeah. Mm, well, we yeah. discussed oh, yeah, cases we, outside. Yeah. yeah. Banker time. But you guys are okay with each other now? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't get in any fights. <laughs> <laughs> I, I asked him where the sonogram. He said he didn't need one. Because we uh, did the CT scan. Yeah. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Yeah. How, yeah. Do, how does this actually... Is, is the patient awake when you stick this in? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. How could Dan, that, have you seen these? Possible. Stand up and look at this. Like hell. <laughs> I don't I don't care what I don't care if it's about to fall off. That's not going in there. Yeah, I don't care if food's on the other end of this. You're not <laughs> sticking this in my penis. No. All right, let me ask you this. Short of uh the amusement that you get out of it, what is this for? It's for dilating strictures, blockage. If you have a stricture, a narrow spot in the channel, can't void. It, it's like a rooter. Yeah. Well, yeah. Dilator. Opens it up. Well, the yeah. moment that the, that the curve part... Stop it, there. really. Because I had one time, to, and this was like 25 years ago, I had somebody stick a Q-tip just in the end. Okay. And I almost collapsed. Yeah. You, you can't. Yeah. Well, by the time they're having to use something like that, you're not able to void, so you're going to welcome that no, to no, so I'm, you can go ahead. No, I'm not. I, I'm just... That, that's a 45-degree curve. How, that's going to be excruciating pain. Why can't you put the client out, the patient out? We can. You can use them asleep or awake. Oh. It's more fun awake, though. God. <laughs> <laughs> House of horrors. <laughs> mm -mm. He's making that up. He got that. I'm telling you. No. Home Depot. I'm telling you. We got an office full of them. Office full. Do you want to check anything for real while you're here? Well, we were going to dilate you. We can use a little no, local, no, you know. Put a little no. local down there. Hey, first. I got an idea. Since both of you guys want to check my prostate, mm. why don't you DP me? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, what? No. Yeah. That doesn't work. Yes, it will. No. Yeah. You guys double team me. Mm. It's a new website. No. <laughs> <laughs> Docsonjocks.com. <laughs> <laughs> can we break it? <laughs> On live. 105.3. I'd like my hard drive corrupted. I'd like my computer to make the sound of a Yeti. Grrr. Millions of Americans are just asking for a computer virus. I'd like my system to slow down to a crawl, like an inchworm. Because they're not nearly as protected as they think. I'd like to experience a total system meltdown, to the point that my computer becomes a very large paperweight. I'd like for the whole world to know my passwords. Binky Boo, Fuzzy Bear, and Lenny. I loved that dog. In a recent survey, two out of three homes didn't have updated antivirus protection. That's why at America Online, we now have computer virus protection that covers your whole computer, not just email. And it automatically updates to protect against new known viruses. Now, America Online is giving away this comprehensive computer virus protection to our members absolutely free. Oh, that'll be great. Thank you. Uh, muchas gracias, as they say. Want a better internet? You belong at America Online. Call 1-866-NEED-AOL or go to AOL.com. Join the Alternative Talk Station, Live 105.3. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. At Bell Bottoms Sunday, Sunday. for the Texas Motor Speedway's Total Access NASCAR Pre-Race Show. Hosted by Brad Gilly. Bell Bottoms is located at 8407 Grapevine Highway at Harwood in North Richland Hills. And was voted the best NASCAR bar in Tarrant County. Every Wednesday night, it's Channel 15 with $3 you call us at Bell Bottoms. Every Thursday night, Bell Bottoms has Jet Black, $1 domestic drafts, and $2 wells. This Friday night, it's DJ John's April Foolish Party. And the craziest undies contest with major crash prizes. I, have, I mean cash prizes. Saturday night, Jet Black plays all your favorite dance music at Bell Bottoms. It's all NASCAR this Sunday. The Live 105.3 Total Access NASCAR pre-race show live from Bell Bottoms. 8407 Grapevine Highway at Harwood in North Richland Hills. And remember at Bell Bottoms, there's never a cover. This Sunday, register to win tickets to the Chevy Suite for the next till 500 at Texas Motor Speedway. Brought to you by ChevyThunderDays.com. Let's go!
The word is out. At Dodge, we've added over a million proud new owners. My Dodge Magnum can really haul stuff. And it just plain hauls. My Grand Caravan's got exclusive stow-and-go seating and storage and 0% financing. No wonder it's America's best-selling minivan. Join us during the Dodge Spring Sales Event to get the most award-winning lineup in our history. Get 0% APR financing plus a March bonus cash allowance that can save you thousands on the new Dodge car, truck, minivan, or SUV of your choice. Hey, I got a V8 in my Dakota. Lots of room and zero financing. You gotta love those numbers. My Durango came with a smooth ride, bonus cash, and tons of room. My Dodge Ram's got great looks, and I got zero financing. Join the millions. Log on to Dodge.com slash spring event and see what the buzz is all about. Yeah, my Dodge Ram's got a Hemi, and the deal? Sweet. Actual savings vary with loan amount. 0% APR financing not available on Magnum. Financing and bonus cash for qualified buyers. Not all buyers will qualify. Scusi, signora, but I wouldn't do that. Do what? Eat me. You're a slice of pizza. I'm supposed to eat you. Okay, bambina. All I'm telling you is that you should not eat me. I'm a basically a warm, greasy sponge. But you look pretty good, pizza. Trust me, Bella. When you eat me, I'll kick around like a professional football player. So what do you want me to do? Why don't you go to a Subway restaurant and get yourself something delicious? Hmm. They have a very special deals every day, so you kind of save your wallet and your stomach at the same time. I can't believe I'm saying this, but you've got a good point, slice of pizza. Grazie, buono. <laughs> Try our new Zesty Pesto Chicken Sandwich at Subway. Roasted chicken breast, melted American cheese, and creamy pesto Caesar sauce. Try it toasted or not toasted. The Zesty Pesto Chicken Sandwich for a limited time at participating Subway restaurants. Subway. Eat fresh. Subway is a registered trademark of Doctors Associates Incorporated. Call 1-800-THE-DOGS, 1-800-T-H-E-D-O-G-S, legal representation with Bite. It's the Frankles, Frankel and Frankel. Whether you have bankruptcy, possibly if you've had a car wreck, a motorcycle wreck, uh, 18-wheeler wreck, they can help you out. Also, if you're considering bankruptcy, here's a couple things to know. You don't have to give, give up your home or your vehicles in order to file. Your retirement plan will be protected. Chapter 13 actually allows you to reorganize your financial obligations, stop foreclosures, and they can do all that. Stop repossessions, and they can figure out to the, they'll, they'll actually represent you to the IRS. If you're behind on your IRS stuff, it's 1 800 the dogs, 1 800 T H E D O G S legal representation with uh, Bite. It's Frankel and Frankel. Give them a call. The enemy has numbers on its side. You've got the power of Spectracide on yours. The power to protect your home from invading weeds. Control them quickly. Conquer them completely. With Spectracide Triple Strike Grass Weed Root Killer. It starts to work immediately and kills all types of weeds and grasses. Completely down to the root. Spectracide Triple Strike. Protect. Control. Conquer. Just when you thought it was safe to go back outside, another invasion hits. You've won the war on weeds. Now it's time to battle bugs. With Spectracide Triassicide, our number one brand in outdoor insect control. Triassicide gives you the power to protect your lawn and landscape from all types of invading insects, including grubs. To control them quickly, conquer them completely above and below ground. Spectracide Triassicide. Protect. Control. Conquer. Do you know that home prices are increasing faster than personal incomes? That means that you will not be able to afford as large of a property next year as you can this year. That's right, you are slowly being priced out of the home market and you don't even know it. Interest rates are rising and this becomes a double-edged sword to attaining your new home. How can you put yourself in the driver's seat? By making the decision to purchase right now. Hi, I'm David Bradley, president of Just Mortgages Incorporated and the host of the Just Mortgages Hour every Sunday morning from 9 to 10 on Live 105.3. You know, there are no more excuses for renting. Renting is the slow decay of your financial future. As I always say, I can attain financing for anyone who is willing to follow my simple plan of action. Good credit, no credit, bad credit. Look, guys, you're entitled to your own home. Declare it. Don't procrastinate. Call my office right now, 972-248-1390. That's 972-248-1390. What's stopping you? Call 972-248-1390. Hey, honey? Yeah? Should we add one or two more lines on our new America's Choice Family Share Plan from Verizon Wireless? Who's the third for? Uh, Marcy. 
Don't you think she's too young? She's not too young to tie up my phone for hours. Maybe she could tie up her own. How much? $9.99 monthly access per line. Only $9.99? Yeah. Well, her birthday's coming up. And I'll get my phone back. Okay, but get one for Natalie, too. Well, she's only 13. Yeah, but she can already talk her head off. I thought I saw something roll by. Pick it up, Brad. Pick up the new family share plan from Verizon Wireless, now with no roaming charges, and you'll get two lines for only $59.99 monthly access. And you can add a line or up to three for just $9.99 each. So sign up today at a Verizon Wireless communication store or inside Circuit City and join America's best, most reliable wireless network. Verizon Wireless. We never stop working for you. Subject to two-year customer agreement, $15 activation, and $175 termination fee per line. Other charges and restrictions. Coverage not available everywhere. Want to cash your paycheck for free? Sign up for a VCOM membership at 7-Eleven during March. Then you can cash checks free until tax day. And we're open 24 hours at participating 7-Eleven stores. Hi, it's Gavin Spittle, Program Director of Live 105.3. And I was cleaning my house the other day, found something that I forgot I had. I found the glasses I used to wear. Once again, it reminded me how getting the LASIK procedure from the Key Whitman Eye Center changed my life. That's why I want you to join me on Thursday night, April 7th, at the Key Whitman Eye Center in Dallas to watch the LASIK procedure. After about 15 minutes, you'll be able to ask questions to Dr. Whitman and the patient he performed on. Nobody's going to treat you better than the Key Whitman Eye Center, who D-Magazine has voted the best for three years straight. Plus, when you join me on April 7th, we'll be giving away a free LASIK procedure that night. Plus, we'll have plenty of live 105.3 tickets and gear to give away. So seeing is believing, and you need to see the LASIK procedure from the Key Whitman Eye Center. Call them right now at 214-220-3937. Get rid of those glasses or contacts today and sign up for their April 7th seminar, 214-220-3937. Tonight on Bravo, it's the new series that takes you inside the dog-eat-dog world of dog shows. Show dog moms and dads. We got second place, and there were two dogs. I'm not going to cry over this. Watch what happens when competition becomes obsession. Our dog has more expensive clothes than most people we know. My life revolves around these dogs. These people are a breed of their own. She does everything but changes diapers. Show dog moms moms and dads. The new series premieres tonight at 9, only on Bravo. Watch what happens. Then next Tuesday at 9, the Fab Five are going to where they've never gone before. Watch what happens when Bravo hits the road and is ready to mess with Texas. No way. Nobody does Dallas like the Fab Five. It's called Cowtown. <laughs> we thought we'd take you to a place called Wow Town. Wow Town. <laughs> All new Queer Eye for the Texan Guy. Next Tuesday at 9. But first, it's the premiere of Show Dog Moms and Dads, tonight at 9, only on Bravo. Watch what happens. Nissan introduced 10 bold, powerful cars and trucks and achieved the biggest sales increases in America. What's next? Nissan's Drive to a Million Sales event. We're out to break a record, 1 million sales, so you get great offers on select new Nissans, like the all-new Frontier and the full-size Titan. Now get 2% APR financing for 60 months or $1,500 cash back when you purchase a new 2005 Nissan Titan from dealer stock. 2% or 1500 cash back back on Titan, only at Nissan's Drive to a Million sales event. We're going to drive to a million, so you get to drive a Titan and save. See your Nissan dealer by March 31st. We're in a drive to a million, so you get great offers on select new Nissans. Nissan, shift your ride. Sales increase based on PAI Auto Data CY 2004. 1753 per month per 1,000 borrowed. Subject to NMAC Tier 2 credit approval. Down payment may be required. See dealer for details. Offers N33105. DFW's number one talk lineup is Howard Stern, Hugs and Kelly, Russ Martin, Tom Likas, and Love Live. This is. K-L-L-I Dallas Fort Worth Live 105.3 Now, back to the Russ Martin Show How many do you have? Six, seven, eight. Yeah, let me do traffic. You run through them. Uh, 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 uh. Hi, Gail. Hi, 
Hi there. What do you got? 7-Eleven. And Nationwide Insurance. Life comes at you fast. Be ready with Nationwide Insurance. Auto, home, life. Nationwide is on your side. Westbound I-30 East R.L. Thornton at Exposition. There's a disabled vehicle. It's in the left lane. Traffic's backed up to Grand Avenue. Southbound 35 Simmons at Market Center Boulevard. They cleared a wreck. Traffic unwinding from around Inwood. Eastbound I-30 East R.L. Thornton at Carroll Avenue. They cleared that wreck, but traffic's still real heavy into the Mixmaster area. Fort Worth's got a couple of deals, too. Southbound 35 before Spur 2... Oh, goodness. <laughs> Southbound 35 before Spur 280. A wreck just cleared, but there's an enormous backup all the way to Basswood. It's also affecting Southbound 121 from Beach and Northbound 35 at Long Avenue. The left lane's blocked by a crash. Now there's a safer way to make calls on the road in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and it's available on OnStar-equipped vehicles. Press your blue OnStar button to activate OnStar personal calling. I'm Gail Lightfoot on the Russ Martin Show. Thank you, Gail. Weather brought to us by America Online. It should be about 52 for the low tonight. Then tomorrow, sunny and 70 as it gets a little bit cooler. We have 80 degrees currently at Live 105.3. Hold on before you read that. Dan, what was the thing I heard about you and Tysos doing an overnight show? Is that, is that real? I haven't heard anything about that. I think Lee Harris or somebody in the hall, he yeah. was talking to somebody about it. He was, because the overnight broadcast, rebroadcast of our show is going away. So yeah. they, have to, so they, they didn't have want to pay for it anymore. I know. So therefore, I'd be very surprised that they'd want to pay even more for that, for us. That's why I haven't heard anything about it. Well, where did this come from? Absolutely don't know. Lee Harris is sort of the center, the epicenter of all rumors. So it's either, it's either <laughs> real or something he made up. Uh -huh. Would you like me to check on it? Sure. Gavin. He's not in there? All right. Well, you tried. Hold on. Slow down. Where the hell's the phone ring? I don't know. Do I have the right mic? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the first time I've ever turned that mic on and nobody's calling. Yeah. It's distressing. Yes. There, there we go. All right. All right, go through what you got. I want you to read the dog poem today. Mike. I'm not doing that. We did that. They ran on best of. All right. The dog Trisket has got the diabetes and it's going to be put down. Hal's email. This is week old. Oops, sorry, too late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it says going tomorrow. <laughs> well, the, the people are still alive to hear it. What? The dog wasn't going to be listening anyway. <laughs> I think they were. They probably wanted the two to coincide. Yeah. Hang on a second. I got to ask Fetner about these things. How bad does your situation have to be to where you got to take one of those penis dilators and ram that in? Because that can't go in easily. Uh, well, if you can't void, of course, they do it. But they do it for strictures. People that have reduced stream come in and get dilated. Most of them opt to have surgery so they don't have to have this done all the time. Now, females come in and get dilated frequently. With that? No, well, with female sounds. They look the same. They're shorter. But close right. That looks like a kickstand on a bicycle. Mm -hmm. It does. Are there smaller ones than that, or are you just doing this for uh, our pleasure? There are some smaller ones, but actually they're more dangerous. Cause Why? Because perforate the urethra. These are bigger, a <sighs> little safer. How, how much... I'm just going to ask, how much pain is that? Um, we put local in first. It's a little uncomfortable. A little uncomfortable? Yeah. Do you hear about gay guys doing sticking stuff up there for fun and games? Yeah, not, not ridges stuff, though. That's more fishing okay. worms, rubber yeah. worms, stuff like that. Yeah, you, know? you found a fishing worm up in someone's we bladder had, one yeah, time. Yeah, we had a couple of those, yeah. How do they get a fishing worm up in their bladder? Well, they go to work with the worm, and it gets loose. And is this a real mm. worm or a rubber one? No, these are, these are bass fishing worms that you buy at Walmart, you know? But most people, so they're not live? No, but most people fish with them. But they uh, do something else with them, you know? Uh, why isn't s sex... How could they be pleasurable? I don't know. Yeah. I told you, I had that, that, that Q-tip, yeah. just a Q-tip, swabbed on the end one time. They were checking me for an STD. Mm -hmm. And how that... Far, how far in did they go? A couple, <laughs> of, a couple of yards. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. <laughs> it was just enough to get in and swab it. Man. Who's on the hotline? Uh, it's Gavin. I guess he got back into his office. Oh. Gavin. 
Hey, sir. Are you guys uh, uh, talking about sticking uh, Dan and Tassos on overnight? You know, we're at this point exploring all possibilities. If you don't have the money to pay for the overnight broadcast, where are you going to get the money to pay Dan and Tassos? Uh, it comes out of a separate fund. <laughs> different budget. I knew exactly what he was going to say. Because corporately they can do that. There's different budgets that, that cover different things. Yeah. So you could pay O'Malley to do a live show, but you can't do a pay O'Malley to make sure that we have an overnight broadcast. No, I mean, you know, I, I think we'll have to, you know, make adjustments, but, um, you know, eventually you could pay if you put it in the budget. Just like had it been in the budget, then we could do the the other thing as well. How did, how were you able to pay for the overnight broadcast for the past two years? Uh, it was under a section that um, it shouldn't have been under. But so the money was there. Just because it was called something different, the money was there. Yes. So now there'll be no overnight broadcast of this show because all of a sudden the money that was there isn't there anymore because it's got the wrong name. Uh, I think it has more to do with that. I think it has more than to, to do than to, to do with that. We just changed the system up and I mean, unfortunately, the way we were paying him was illegal. Not illegal how? Well, I mean, it's just not supposed to be done. And, you know, we got to live by standards and practices, so we tried every possible means to, to figure it out, and we can't do it. So I'm going off your word that, you know, your original deal. And My original deal was if you paid somebody on the show to record right. and put on discs the, overnight, the show... Mm -hmm then you could have it for the overnight broadcast. Right. And all of a sudden, they don't want to pay for it anymore. Nope. Somebody in corporate or somebody in the business office found out that it was under the wrong heading and had to eliminate it. So, uh, all right, so the listeners are going to suffer now because you guys don't want to cough up a few hundred dollars a week. Well, I wouldn't include me in it, but yes. Okay. I mean, you know, and listeners can call me and complain, and that's fine. I mean, that's... Would you like them to do that? Well, they do it anyway, so oh. it doesn't matter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would just, you know, it would be appreciated if they just said hello rather than fag. <laughs> God. That's distressing. <laughs> I'll make sure they put hello in front of that. I appreciate it. I don't think my sexuality has to do with programming changes. <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay. So if you don't stick Dan and Tassos in over there, they're... Uh, what are you going to have? Um, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, actually extend Loveline. Okay. Um, which, you know, is a good move anyway. And um, then we'll just move Don and Mike down. What, to three to six? Yeah, it would actually be two to six. Two to six. Their program's actually four hours. Oh, I didn't know that. We just compress it. Okay. Yeah. So, right. I mean, you know, Loveline's a good move, and... So uh, is there a possibility that Dan and Tassos could get their own show? Uh, you know, I mean, I think Dan and Tassos have really improved. I've been listening to their show a lot on Saturday night now. So, I mean, I think they're moving in the right direction. And we're, we're, we're trying to use Dan and, and Tassos as much on remotes as possible. So. Dan, would you want to do that? Absolutely. I think the problem is, um, is that you can't raise enough revenue to... See, this is why radio is really tough now because... All right, everybody sit down. Dan, uh, well, uh, what's mind. his name? Never mind. I'm Gavin. Gonna, Gavin's going to explain radio. The guy us. you threw the paper in the face earlier. I didn't hit you in the face. Hit me. Yeah, I got a little scratch. <laughs> Where's the scratch? Well, I checked and... I mean, it's not really a scratch. Well, what, what is it? it? Is it a scratch? No, I was just... I don't know. Well, Dr. Fetner's... Dr. Fetner's here. Come in here and let him dig in your ass. <laughs> no, we can, we can dilate him. <laughs> yeah, come in here and let's dilate your penis and see if your scratch is uh, bad. He'll forget about the scratch. Yeah. <laughs> be the most action I got in a while, though. <laughs> well, would, you like, would you like your penis to be dilated? Um, no, I don't think I'd be aroused by that. <laughs> How about if we hold you down? We'll do role-playing. Mm -hmm. It'll be like rape. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. It's already happened on the show. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, there's, you know, you can go in explanations, but, you know, the bottom line is is that it's a shame we can't do this, but... Oh, I know where you're going with this. You're going to try and guilt me into it to say, you know what, it's for the listeners. Yeah. Give us the overnight broadcast for nothing. I'm not, no, I'm not trying to do that at all. I'm not trying to do it at all. What I'm saying is is that it's a shame that we can't do it because it's a, it's a good show. But I'm going by, 
I wasn't here at the time that you cut the deal. So I'm going by what your verbal agreement was. I'm backing you. Okay. I mean, I don't want to. But I, I, see, I see the guilt angle here. There's always something bad, and there's nothing bad. The only thing is, is like I said, it sucks for the listeners, but if someone has to take responsibility, sure, management will take responsibility. Okay. Let us dilate your penis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's got local anesthesia. Yeah. Is that anesthesia, or is that just lube? <clears throat> lube. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Let us dilate you, Gavin. No. I think, that's, I think this would be very informative for the listeners on the air. <laughs> no. I don't think it would, actually. Why? I don't know. I don't want you seeing my penis either. Well, I don't have to see it. Uh, Fetner can see it. No. no. I appreciate it, though. Dan, I want you to and Rob to go. Dan, <laughs> can you hear me, Gavin? Yeah. Oh, never mind. <laughs> 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 what happened there? I, I turned oh, the, he's I still, turn, he's I on turn the phone. The, I, well, he's on the phone. I turned the uh, feed off so he couldn't hear me through the phone. Oh. But he still had me on in the background. Okay. I was going to tell Dan and Rob to go in there and grab him, bring him in here. Mm. <laughs> well, we still can. I mean, it's not like he can outrun me and Rob. See if he's still in his office. Die, okay. I think he's still in there. Let me see. Curling! No, I have curling! The hell is that? <laughs> curling on the outside! There goes the tail! That's yeah. What? He's in there. I think he's listening to some NASCAR thing. Oh. Yeah. All right, both you and Rob go in there and get him and bring him to me. <laughs> it's back on. Pick him up Gavin, are you coming? He's coming. I got <laughs> <laughs> he's, just, he's just giving up. Yeah, he's giving up the fight. <laughs> well, Rob's got him in a stranglehold. Gavin, let it dilate your penis. Look at the size of those things. Yeah, I know it. No. And your penis stays that size even when they pull it back out. Right. No. <laughs> Might even make it bigger. <laughs> let him no. go. <laughs> Rob, let him go. You have any blockage? No. Let's start off with a little one. I think I'm too young. <laughs> All right. Sounded funny at the time yeah. in my head. <laughs> I didn't realize you were just going to give up. <laughs> yeah, okay. Here's my penis. <laughs> Go ahead. Shove it in. Shove the whole bike in there. <laughs> Why stop with a kickstand? <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, that's how big that is. <laughs> how are we doing, Chloe? <laughs> Soon. All right, you run through those emails and get done with this. Uh, okay, uh, Mr. Martin, here is something no one has ever mentioned. I can't wait for Spittleville to come out, and I'd love to pay for it. Uh, no one's mentioned that you, know, you charging to watch videos or listen to tapes of your show or whatever. The money you charge goes into your foundation. We get something cool in return. You've always... Oh, I said that yesterday. I know, but this is just in an email. I guess they're reiterating. I can't remember you are ever asking for money and offering nothing in return. I have noticed, however, there's one thing you don't do. Not once have I ever, ever heard you ask for thanks. I wish more people realized that. I'm glad I do. Our police officers and firemen picked a good man to watch over their families. That's a nice one. What? Nothing. I'll go to the lighter one. Didn't mean to make you sad. That'd be nice. Okay. Hey, Russ, long-time listener. I wanted to get your opinion on broadcasting schools. I'm 29 years old, married, have two kids, and you know I'm not going to do this. I know I'm not going to come out and do afternoons and make six figures, but radio is something that I've always wanted to do, and if I have to get food or take the garbage out, I will. I have not been this excited about something in a long time. I've been a plumber wholesaler for eight years and going to change my whole profession. Do you think this is a good idea? Broadcasting school. I don't know. I don't know anything about that one. It's the one in Arlington, isn't it? Uh, this one's this one that he's talking about is in Garland. Oh. Uh, which one's in Garland? American Broadcasting. Broadcasting School. Oh. I don't know anything about it. Okay. Plus, why go to pay somebody to do something, and you can find a small station, and they'll pay you to, to start always, from the ground up. That's what I've always told anybody. Claude, do we still do interns? Yes. Oh, absolutely. We need interns bad, as a matter of fact. Not us, the station. The state, because I don't want interns in here. Yes, just contact uh, Jeff and promotions. Well, what does they have you do? It's grunt work, right? Um, yeah, basically. Just I've never seen anybody up here that does intern work mm -hmm. that does anything that's going to benefit them in the long run, as far as radio goes. No, not at all. It's always toting stuff around, putting up banners. It's like being an extra in a movie. Really, in the long run, that doesn't help your acting career at all. It's nice to hang out with the stars and go, hey, I was on the Tom Cruise movie, but you, you're you not really... It's much better to be a star in a small mo motion picture. Yeah. No, what I, what I tell the kids when they come in, I go, hey, 
Just ask questions. If you're out on appearance, everyone besides Russ, I mean, ask them how, you know, questions. You tell them not to talk to me? But I don't tell them necessarily not to talk to you. I just don't ask them, ask them any stupid questions. Oh. And then, um, hey, talk to salespeople. Because I notice a lot of the interns up here, like, they see me come down the hall, mm -hmm. they'll hang a left. No, oh, sure. They want to stay away from you. I don't say anything to anybody. I know you don't. But it's, all, it's like walking the halls with KBIO when you'd see Ron Chapman going. You would avoid him just because it was Chapman. Oh. You just didn't want to be in his sights. All right. All right, go ahead. Hi, uh, Russ, long-time listener. Not trying to be a nosy F, but I work for a company uh, that I'm not going to say what area. Saw you mowing your yard. I saw your new skag. My coworker said, hey, look, it's Russ Martin. They basically saw you mowing your yard. Uh -huh. It was just crazy. No need to worry, though. I'm not going to be some douchebag and tell everybody where you live. But I was wondering, if I did see you out again, could I stop you and chat? No. <laughs> I mean, I'm not some kind of freak that's going to no. drive by your house I believe day. I've answered your question. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> How do you spot me mowing? They said they saw your police cap backwards and your sunglasses on, and they saw that it was Russ Martin. And his buddy that was riding with him said, hey, it's Russ Martin, look. And he wants to know if next time he sees you out, they can stop a chat. Oh, I remember that. No. <laughs> I, even, I even know who it is. It's those people with the, uh, like, mm -hmm. is yes. this this company? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. They drove up and down the street a couple of times and at set like they were, acted like they were doing, doing something. something. Yeah. I could see them out of my peripheral. No, they can't stop by. I'm mm -hmm. busy. Okay. I'm mowing. <laughs> yeah, I think they got that. All right. If they want to be your buddy. Mm -mm. Uh, Russ, been listening to you since you were on the Eagle. At the time, I was in junior high, even late to school a few times because you were so wildly funny. That's not today. But go ahead. I'm now 20, but growing up, I really didn't have a father figure to show me how to be a man. Your show helped me learn certain things that have shaped who I have become. Things like respecting and taking care of police officers and firefighters who take care of us. Is this going to be another downer? No, it's, it's a very nice letter. All right, hurry Some on. people don't understand, but your show is about doing the right thing. Your show has also created an interest in me getting into radio. However, I decided last summer that uh, given the current world climate, I needed to put that dream on hold and step up into the fight. Tomorrow, I'm leaving to go to boot camp in the Navy. This was a month ago. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> You want to say thank you for he being helped his, him become a man for being his father. That's Jack Nicholson's life. Before I left, I just want to thank you for all you've done over the years, inviting us all to hang out in the treehouse. Now I feel like I'm giving something back by fighting for our country. Thank you. All right, this is a nice one. Uh, okay, and you just want to do a couple more? I uh, just shoot through them. We got a break. Uh, let's see here, Russ. Uh, can we please, 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 please hear the audio of you putting on the powerlifting shirt again? It uh, never ran during the best of last week. I missed it. Oh, once again, please. Did it run? Uh, I don't remember hearing it run. Actually, maybe it's a light day. Okay. Oh, please. I love that. I love that audio. I love it. We don't have time for it now, though, right? All right. Couple more. Does it, I, I've got. I've got over there. This uh, psycho ex girlfriend. Marius Russ. Russ, will you buy me a DV cam? And my a DV cam for what? <laughs> he wants to be a senior. Uh, let's see. Where's the Where's the DV cam? Uh, I know you probably get thousands of these a day, but I thought I'd look for a miracle. I'm an aspiring filmmaker attending uh, school at UNT. Lost my part-time job around Christmas. Still trying to find a new one, but I'm aspi an aspiring filmmaker. Uh, the only thing I lack is a camera. No. <laughs> I have a cast, a crew, no. a script, a shooting location. No. All I need is a camera. Mm -mm. <laughs> I realize you just bought a new house. You hate people hitting you up. I just need a camera. Mm -mm. Any camera. Mm -mm. Buy me a camera. Mm -mm. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Try eBay, huh? <laughs> Thanks for putting are all these real? Yeah, these are all real. These are all I've got. And uh, they just want me to pop cash out to buy a camera? Yes, a DVD, just a DV cam, not even a new one. Was he going to pay me back? He said yes. When he starts making movies and they start making a lot of money, he'd pay you back immediately. Off the top. That's <laughs> 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 <a> deal. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for putting on a great show. It's so funny to me that my wife wants us both, both to listen to your show when we're driving to business appointments. She is from Slovakia, and uh, when she first came to the States, uh, she thought you were so obscene, it was incredible what you could put on the public airways. Oddly enough, it turned in, she turned into your biggest fan. Do they want any cash? They, they don't want. They just is want. it anybody dying? No. <laughs> I would go to the next one. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you've addressed this, but there's a story on Channel 8 about a cop who got shot trying to make a drug arrest in Pleasant Grove on St. Augustine. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they said the police were on bikes in Pleasant Grove. Why the hell would a cop be on, the, on a bike in, in the Grove? That's what he said here. You have a drug-infested apartment in this area and the cops are on bikes? Please take care of this, Russ. 
That's what am I going to do? That's, thanks, Stephanie. Wants you to take care of this. Take care of this. Fix it. <laughs> Just chop. What we don't it? have all day. <laughs> they want me to put fenders on. <laughs> You to call the cops. They really have cops riding around on bikes in the Grove? Yeah, I remember, I remember reading that story. I think it was last week. And uh, to a certain extent, it makes sense because... No, it doesn't. Well... I know where St. Augustine is. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I'll, I'll rephrase. The only way I can see how others might think it makes sense would be because in an apartment complex, it's easier to ride around that as opposed to on foot or on a motorcycle. But a car provides at least some level of protection. I agree. I say give them tanks. Yeah. Because they need it in the Grove. Yeah. The Grove wasn't really swinging when I was living there. And normally, things don't get better as time goes on. Uh -oh. Fix it. Uh, get Kunkel on the phone. <laughs> you got anything good to wrap this up with? Uh, just somebody else wants you to put on the, uh, the weightlifting shirt, please. I laughed so hard, I almost crashed my car. Would you please, please play that, uh, the, you putting on the powerlifting shirt again? By the way, are you guys going to Vegas? Did you push the weight yet? No. I haven't even thought about it since we went on vacation. Okay. I don't know what I can lift now. What do you do when, on normal nights when you're lifting? What are you lifting now? They tell you, certainly. But not, not anywhere near 250. I don't think I'll ever be able to do that. Not without that shirt. Put the shirt back on. I'm not putting that freaking shirt back on. Please put the shirt back on. Do you know what we're talking about, Dr. Fetner? No, but I think you're bulked up. You look better. The uh, This is uh, some kind of elastic shirt. It's probably the thickest material I've ever seen oh, it's for clothing. Mm -hmm. It's it's worse than a like a diver suit. You put it on, your arms go straight out like this. Mm -hmm. But they're in like this. Yeah. You can't move them. They're stuck. Mm -hmm. you, you can't hang them down. You can't put them down at your sides. They're stuck straight out like this. The thing is so small, it looks like a sweater for a beagle. Mm. And you stretch into that, and then because it's so tight, when they put the weight on your hands, all you could do is push it back up. Oh, cool. And it, what, what do they say they add to it, Dan? 20, 30 pounds? Uh, at the one you were wearing, yes. There are other ones that are almost like toilet paper. The one you had is single ply. There are other ones that are double ply and are even made from a, a higher quality material. So the thicker the shirt, the more the weight. Yeah. Actually, I think they did it in percentages, like 10, 15%. Yeah. And then you get up to a certain extent, you know, to wear, I don't know, percentages, but let's say, uh, like take Rob, for example. In a, he, he benched 405. In right. A, in, the, in the proper shirt, I wouldn't be at all surprised if he could throw up 500. Jesus. Right. Yeah. The difference is, though, with those higher shirts is you have to have a certain amount of weight on the bar for you to even pull it to your chest. That's the difference of wearing one of those shirts. You have to actually it, yeah, pull it Yeah, the shirt's so chest. taut, you got to have some weight to push it down. Jesus. Mm. And it just hurts so much, really all you can think of is, i got to get this off. So you put on, you actually pushed 255 that day with that shirt. 250, 255. That was 255. 55. Okay. So what are you pushing now? Do you got to know? I don't know. You got Heavy weight scares me. Well, I know, but they're, they're making you do more and more. So what is it currently? What's the most you've done? Thirty? No. <laughs> the part part weighs forty five. I don't know. Okay, stop. Maybe you did. Mm -mm. You're not there yet. I'm not, I'll never be there. Oh, you? That, that's ridiculous. Um, no. You continue working out. You will be there. No, not necessarily. Genetically, am I right? Genetically, people can only do so much. I could work out, right, Doctor Fenner? Yeah. I don't know what your limits are on the weightlifter. See. You. What about your back? Does the thing protect your back? I think it protects everything. I think it just takes you and wraps it's, you up like a sausage. Yes, so design. everything's kind of crammed together, and your muscles really, they have to focus. Mm -hmm. Just go one way. Yeah. And, and it forces, the shirt forces you into a proper position. It will not let you lift it incorrectly. Mm -hmm. You don't have a choice. You can't move anything. Exactly. I'm never sticking one of those on again. <laughs> it was so fun. <laughs> <laughs> Do we still have the audio? I can pull it. Yes. All right. We'll break here. We'll come back. <laughs> Afternoon show, the Russ Martin Show. Online 1053. 
Hello? Good afternoon. Do you have time to answer a few questions on career satisfaction? Sure. Okay. Tell me, how often do you leave work energized enough to go to the gym, the movies, or dinner with friends? Often, sometimes, or rarely? Well, my hours are long and draining, so I don't have much of a life otherwise. Sounds like rarely. Is your current job life-enhancing or life-hindering? It verges more on life-less. Not exactly your ideal job? No, if that existed, I'd apply it a long time ago. Well, it does exist. You'd be much happier in a customer sales, collections, or management job at City Cards. They offer the flexibility you need to enjoy work and life, plus an excellent salary and great benefits. The Irving City Cards site is dynamic and energizing with long-term opportunities to advance your career. They really take you places. Wow. Do you have their number? one 800 714 2484 or go to careers.citycards.com 1-800-714-2484 I'm calling them right now Bring balance to your world by joining ours City Cards is an equal opportunity employer Cabaret Royale The ultimate entertainment complex where you can park and party all night long Dance all night with our entertainers to help you party and stay for breakfast since the new expansion allows us to be open in the fair room until 6 a.m. Everyone is welcome at Cabaret Royale now that there are more rooms to party in with more than 200 entertainers to keep you happy and more plasma TVs to watch more sports than you can imagine. You can get in with your sports ticket stubs free at Cabaret Royale. All this fun packed into one giant complex. Cabaret Royale is the first upscale gentleman's club in Dallas and they offer all your entertainment needs in one convenient location. Topless girls or nude girls, we have both. Bring your friends, bring your brother. We've got what you need to party till dawn with free breakfast till 6 a.m. seven days a week. Cabaret Royale. Dallas's first upscale adult entertainment complex. 10723 Composite Drive, 214-350-0303. Free buffet at the Fair Room at Cabaret Royale, 11 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. And zero, zero cover. For over 20 years, it's been the biggest event in sports entertainment. And this Sunday, live and only on pay-per-view, WrestleMania goes Hollywood. Los Angeles, California. WWE presents WrestleMania. Starring the game Triple H in an epic battle with the animal, Batista, for the World Heavyweight Championship. Plus, JBL clashes with John Cena as the WWE Championship is on the line. Undefeated at WrestleMania, the legendary Undertaker collides with the legend killer, Randy Orton. Plus, Raw showstopper, Shawn Michaels, takes on SmackDown's Olympic champion, Kurt Angle. And it's Rowdy Roddy Piper and Piper's Pit featuring the return of Stone Cold Steve Austin. The Rattlesnake! The Rattlesnake! WrestleMania goes Hollywood. Don't miss WrestleMania. Live this Sunday at a special starting time, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, only on pay-per-view. Don't miss WWE WrestleMania 21. This Sunday at 6, live and only on pay-per-view. Order WWE WrestleMania 21 through your cable or satellite provider today. Yeah, my uh, company makes some of the lightest, strongest paddles you can get. They're designed by guys who have a passion for kayaking. Every weekend, you'll see us out here at the New River Gorge. Down there, 100,000 gallons of water per second are pounding those rocks. We, uh, we all love this spot. Uh, everybody except for Sean Riley, our uh, shipping manager, he won't get near Class 5 Rapids. Sean uh, doesn't like to take chances. I guess that's why he uses UPS, and only UPS, to deliver our paddles worldwide. Sean always knows exactly where our products are. And we always know exactly where Sean is. Handling our shipments back at the shop. UPS delivers more packages on time than anyone. UPS. What can Brown do for you? Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Allen, my manager's checking your credit, and we'll get you on the road in that nice 2002 Durango. Ron, credit, not so good. Uh, Mr. Allen, uh, what, what are you doing? Uh, Ma'am, what's he doing? Well, he's trying to become invisible. You see, he thinks if he curls up in a ball on the ground like that, that you won't be able to see him, and the problem will just go away. You're kidding. I wish I was. What the heck is he doing? Uh, you know what? He's invisible, sir. Well, that's a new one. He usually uncurls in a minute or two, like, you know, an armadillo or a roly-poly bug, and then we'll just be on our way. At Drive Time, we're totally different from other dealerships. We only work with people who have bad credit. That's all we do, period. Because we're our own bank, we can finance whoever we want. Come in today to see the difference, plus a great selection of quality used vehicles like Ford F-150s or Hyundai Elantras. For the Drive Time dealer nearest to you, call one 866 let's go Credit status affects payment APR, down payment, and term. Oh, here he comes. It's okay, Mr. Allen. Oh, there he goes again. Oh, don't look. Nobody look. 
Dish Direct is going to pay you a hundred bucks just to switch over to the Dish Network today. No gimmicks. There's no hidden fees. There is a phone number, and it's toll free. Even 888-834-1999. You got to cut the cable and enter the world of satellite television. You know, I've had the satellite so long that I've really forgotten what cable is and how crappy the service can be. For $31.99 a month, you get your local channels, and it's all digital. It's the lowest price in the country with the Dish Network and Dish Direct only. Digital cable, that's going to be about 50 bucks a month. You decide where you want to throw your money. Obviously, Dish Direct is the way to go. And you get equipment and installation. All that's free. And they'll do it on your schedule seven days a week. Try getting that from a cable company. And if they don't show up on time, they'll give you another 50 bucks. There's more. You can get to up to four total rooms of Dish Network with DVR recording in every single room. Or if you want to go high def, you can get that in two rooms and the other two have DVR. You take your pick and you also get 100 bucks just for signing up. Dish Network, call them today. What are you waiting for? Seven days a week. It's 888 834 1999. 100 bucks and all the equipment's free and installation on your schedule. 888 834 1999. Football. Okay, seven card stud, nothing wild. About time. Any up. That includes you, Kessler. Pass that wild turkey over here. I'll take some turkey. Anybody need ice? Don't touch my cards. <laughs> turkey neat. Nice. Time for some cigars. Oh, wow, smells great. Hey, not inside, guys. What? What? Poker! You're kidding. I'm serious. Go outside. You are so whipped. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that. What is it, then? Father's Kara's sinuses. <laughs> you are so whipped. <laughs> Shut up. And why is it so hard to use a coast? <laughs> Shut up and hand me that wild turkey. <laughs> when real quality friends get together, it's time for real quality bourbon. Wild turkey, Kentucky straight, bourbon whiskey. The real deal. Honoring 150 years of tradition, our process takes longer, but it's worth the wait. That's how we bring you and your good friends the best. Wild Turkey, Kentucky Straight, Bourbon Whiskey. 50.5% alcohol by volume. Austin Nichols Distilling Company, Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Uncompromising people drink responsibly. This Wednesday is the night you've been waiting for. All new episodes of TV's most talked about shows. First on an all new Lost. They believe they have been forgotten. Made it, made it. Anybody out there? That no one was listening. We're survivors of the crash. Can you hear me? Hello? They were wrong. And... Hello? Sydney, where are you? The ground is cold and damp. They dragged me to a cemetery and knocked me out. Whether you're buried dead or alive. Have you been buried? <laughs> Jennifer Garner stars in an all-new Alias. Then, something completely new and different. Nothing in my line of work is ever what it seems. Got a problem? Can't call the cops? Your check got stolen? That's where Harlan Judd and his team of investigators can help. You, my man, are the master. Tim Daly stars. I don't like what you do. Look, how you do it. Oh, no. You've got that look. Just wish I didn't like you. In the series premiere of Eyes. Be there tonight, starting at 7 on Channel 8, The Spirit of Texas. Log on now to check out SBC Home Court only at Mavs.com. Here in the Lone Star State, the official bird is the mockingbird, the official flower is the blue bonnet, and the unofficial amphibian is the gecko. You didn't know that? Well, then you must never have called GEICO for your free rate quote on car insurance. Or if you've called before, it's time to call again. You could discover the impressive savings that makes Texans love the gecko almost as much as they love the official fish, the Guadalupe bass. In fact, GEICO drivers are so happy with their decision to switch that they've given us one of the highest satisfaction ratings in the business. How much could you save by switching to GEICO? Find out with a simple phone call. Then you'll be all ready to pack up and hit the road in Texas. Just watch out for the official state animal, the armadillo. To find out how much you could save by switching to GEICO, give us a call at 1-800-947-AUTO. That's 1-800-947-AUTO. Or log on to GEICO.com. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. I'd like my hard drive to fry like a mozzarella stick. It would be great if my credit card number was more famous than Neil Diamond. Millions of Americans are just asking for a computer virus. I'd like to lose all my music files. Because they're not nearly as protected as they think. I'd like every single solitary picture of my kids to just, just suddenly disappear. I'd like the curse of the frozen cursor. <laughs> Boo! I would like to expose my private email to the general public. In a recent survey, two out of three homes didn't have updated antivirus protection. That's why at America Online, we now have computer virus protection that covers your whole computer, not just email. And it automatically updates to protect against new known viruses. Now, America Online is giving away this comprehensive computer virus protection to our members absolutely free. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. Great. 
Want a better internet? You belong at America Online. Call 1-866-NEED-AOL or go to AOL.com. Dog, I'm serious. Why is my hamburger talking to me? What? You never heard a hamburger talk? No. Well, I never saw a guy wear a tie with cats on it, but you don't hear me getting all up in your grill about it. I'm going to eat you now. Oh, come on, man. It's ludicrous. You thinking of eating me when you can have a delicious Subway fresh toasted salad? You have one of those yet? Mm -mm. Man, it's all crunchy toasted on the outside with melty bubbly cheese on the inside. And you can get your choice of six fresh baked breads, fresh fixings and whatnot. It's a delectable monstrosity. That's amazing. What amazes is that you haven't tried a Subway fresh toasted sub. Hmm. You're right, hamburger. Of course I'm right, man. Just run on down to a Subway restaurant before your lunch break in. What should I do with you then? Man, just go ahead and plop me down next to that fine lady on the bed. Mm, look at it. Try our new Zesty Pesto Chicken Sandwich at Subway. Roasted chicken breast, melted American cheese, and creamy pesto Caesar sauce. Try it toasted or not toasted. The Zesty Pesto Chicken Sandwich for a limited time at participating Subway restaurants. Subway. Eat fresh. Subway is a registered trademark of Doctors Associates Incorporated. If you have to work in a Wi-Fi hotspot, you might get stuck in a place like this. Who has the half-calf mocha light milk cappuccino? If you use Verizon Wireless Broadband Access, you can work almost anywhere, like here. Wi-Fi. Broadband Access. Wi-Fi. Broadband Access. Wi-Fi only works in limited locations. Broadband Access has wide area coverage, which lets you work where it's convenient for you. Throughout the Dallas-Fort Worth area and 29 other major markets across the country. And with average speeds of 4 to 700 kilobits per second, you can download large files and email attachments quickly and securely. So you won't get stuck in a not-so-hot spot. Sign up now and get great savings on a Verizon Wireless PC card. For more information, call 1-800-899-4249 or visit verizonwireless.com. Verizon Wireless, we never stop working for you. Network enabled by Lucent Technologies. Coverage not in all areas. Speed claim based on our network test with 5 megabytes FTP data files. Actual throughput speed and coverage vary. Broadband access covers over 75 million people. To us, you're more than just a one-night stand. KLLI, Dallas Fort Worth, the alternative talk station. Live, 105. Three. Grand Prairie Ford now has over 1,000 new and used vehicles to choose from. Grand Prairie Ford is open 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Sunday through Friday and is easy to get to at I-30 and Beltline Road. Now, back to the Russ Martin Show. Don Sierra just sent me a uh, an email that said um, there's a poll on RussMartin.info. Would you pay twenty five dollars for a chance to stay overnight and party at Russ's house with proceeds going into the Russ Martin Show Foundation for Fallen Police and Fire? <laughs> Hang on, let me vote. No. Well, <laughs> is that the only no vote? You? <laughs> so far, only two people have voted. Oh, is it new? I guess. Okay. Yeah, I'm the only no. So it's 50-50. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's too much. First it's of all, not. we can't we can't do it. Legally, it's too big of a it's there are too many hoops. Okay. I just can't understand why raffles are this difficult. But whatever. <sighs> there are just too many different criteria that you, you have to meet. And what's funny is you would think the F police fire foundation. Mm -hmm. Which is a nonprofit organization. Clearly. And it's set up and it's not done half ass. Mm -mm. That should be enough. But it ain't. By definition, by the definition we read yesterday, it should be. And Tim Powers agreed. We just can't sell them online. Well, CBS Legal in New York has a bigger problem with it. Of course they do. And you know what? Well, what's the big thing? What if I go ahead and do it? Who's going to come after me? Exactly. That's what's really going to happen? What, the, the litigation is going to come from whom? No idea. I even sent that back to Jennifer in New York. I went, isn't it, isn't it just a, a crap that you can't do anything nice for anybody without having to have an, is somebody crawl up your ass with a camera to make sure everything's where it should be? Yeah. They just make it as difficult as possible. And that's their job in law and legal. Oh, I'm not blaming her. No, I don't mean that. I just mean in, in general. You're right. Is everybody's going to watch and everybody's going to cross-examine it. But I just want to know, the prosecution would come from where? 
the penalties would, would, would originate from what? No clue. Did she indicate that? What law, what rules were breaking? Is it coming no, rules? No, she just said, here are the things that have to fall into place in the state of Texas for you to be able to do this and not get in trouble. Well, not get in trouble with who? Mm -hmm. Maybe right. the state? The state? I don't know. Local authorities? The police who are benefiting <laughs> from this? Yeah. Uh, all right, where's the audio? Where's the shirt audio? What cut? Cut number one. <laughs> what? <laughs> Love this. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's part of it is a visual. I don't know. No, because people are emailing and wanting to hear it. <clears throat> Where does it start? Very beginning? Very beginning. And here's a rundown of what's what. Let me see. Uh, let's go pop some iron. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is this where, that's where I got it on the first time. Or sort of. Sort of on. Or was it half on? I can't remember. Okay, that was the time that we got the first bent shirt all the way on you. Okay. Was it the second one that z uh, Velcro's on? Yeah. That Is that was the one where I'm making all the noise? No. that no. All, all, the, all the bad noise stuff where you, it's the worst of your life and all that, that came before the one you just played. No. This says cut one. Let me just listen to this because it's about a minute. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you look Rob, so is, ridiculous. Is this it? Well... <laughs> it come back for it's like, this it, is not all the way on. Sure. Well, it looks like, all right, this is the original shirt. It's not all the way on. Correct. They yank on me some more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was the Velcro shirt later. That the one on. that you don't actually pull on. You put it on and then they strap you in. That's the one. That's the one I actually went out and did the weight with. Right. I can't breathe. It's cutting off the second. I, <laughs> <laughs> really, I really can't He's breathe. He's got a midriff going still. Uh, they, somebody put my pants up. <laughs> you can't reach his own pants. Pull my pants. pants. <laughs> now be uh, the perfect time. Uh, there you go. He's got a midriff going. Uh, uh, seriously, I can't feel anything in my arms. <laughs> right. because you keep holding hey, them well, up. Well, then you can't uh, press the well, weight. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I was just, okay. Uh, they got almost all the way. There really should be some type of warning flag that goes up when you have to have two people help you put on your clothes. <laughs> yeah. And Rob's pulling out and shoving your skin up underneath He's pulling the thing. shirt out and shoving fat back in just so I'm all compressed together like a nice six-foot sausage. Yes, exactly. There would be people still in court today being court-martialed <laughs> if they did this to those prisoners in Iraq. I can't. I cannot describe. I mean, did you ever see a picture of you in this? No. I can't describe what your shoulders did. It's like the. It looks like both of them were. Uh, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> dislocated. Uh, dislocated. Yeah, they were both. The, looks like the ball was in a, almost in your. Your chest. actual shoulder uh, bone yeah. almost touched the side of your chin, right. your jaw. Yeah. And you couldn't move it. You were stuck that way. Mm -hmm. It scares me. It, I get claustrophobic seeing those shirts now. Yeah. Way down there. Uh, it's looking better. Whatever yeah. he's doing is working. Yeah. We're just... Because ah! you're, you're not looking... <laughs> quit yanking on his neck. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, you were looking bad there for a second. I mean, you were looking like you just needed surgery. Uh, like I do. Well, I, seriously, we're cutting this back off. When I put my shoulder right. out, that's how you looked. Uh, uh, it can't good. be good for uh, your you muscles. Down the side a little bit here. here. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> It's over state, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> it's over state, my Are you sure that's not just visual? Because no. you guys saw me in the shirt and you saw no. my face. No. Oh, I think at this point, I look pretty dejected. <laughs> it's the worst day of my life. No, you can't I, even say it loud. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, that, we come out, this is the worst day. Uh -huh. Why not? It's definitely not a visual only thing. Some chick just called in <laughs> laughing her ass off saying, play it more, play it more. <laughs> yeah, play that part again. Surgery. <sighs> like I do well, I, seriously, we're cutting this back off. When I put my shoulder right. out, that's how you looked. Uh, uh, oh, it can't good. be good uh, for your muscles. Down the side a little bit here. here. <sighs> uh, uh, oh, 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 it's the worst day, my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst day of your life. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay, you ready? Oh. This is the way it's supposed to be? Oh, Rob, seriously. This is absurd. 
That's right. That just looks I'm so <laughs> Now, how long? That's why I took a swipe at O'Malley. Yeah. Couldn't get at him. How long before I put on the next shirt? Can you tell that's, by this? That's at the very end. Did you ever see people in the actual gym wearing these things? No. I think that's, Dan, in this competition only? Yeah, they usually only use that for competition unless they're training. Uh, if they have a new shirt or something like that or they just got one, they have to train a little bit to know at what point how much weight they have to have on the bar before they can actually pull it to their chest. Yeah. The only thing I see with the guys in the gym are the uh, uh, the belts okay, and the uh, nice gloves with the no fingers. <laughs> no, belts have nothing on these things. No. The belt's just to protect your back, isn't it? Yeah, but some people, you can overuse those. Yeah. How far in? To the new shirt, it's about seven and a half minutes. All right. So. And it doesn't take long before the new shirt gets on, right? No, not really. No, they Velcro that one on. What is that? This one come in. He just walked in the door, I swear. I swear. <laughs> Have you had this Velcro shirt the whole no, time? I swear I didn't. I swear, I swear. Okay. It's the exact same shirt, except you Velcro it on. Yeah. And how amazing you walk in after we just cut the other one off. Was this in here? Was this already at the station? This only goes for another minute and a half, right? Yeah. All right, I'll let it run. Because they have the actual lift at the end. Yes. Yeah? All right. I cut the other one off. Ass. <laughs> K-L-L-I. All right, what is that? Then you're going into a break and you come out and you do the thing. Oh. Hey, Dallas, Fort Worth. I know you are, but what am I? Do the gorilla stance again. Why are things in there like that? No, no, that's, that's you. That's you. I, you know, I Did I do that on the air? Mm hmm Why would I hit a legal ID right in the middle of that? I don't know. Maybe you're going, you're, you're going to complete the break. What happened the first time is you were going in the break and then you brought that in and you stopped. And then you were going back into the break. That Ow. sounded to me like an edit there. Ah! <laughs> oh, man. Okay, they're putting the weight on. All right, so I got the shirt on now. Now you have it on. We're back out of the break. Oh, my Lord. I'm glad I shaved. <laughs> yeah. Rechecking the shirt. Two big plates on each side. Yeah, two giant plates. All right. Hold on to the bar really tight. Hold on to the bar. All right, what's the total weight right now? 250. Right at 250, okay. You're good. And you're sure this is all in the right spot? Yes, sir. It's going to be painful. You just going to have to deal with it. I don't want it to be painful. <laughs> it's really painful. What can you do about it? <laughs> it's going to hurt. It's going to cut underneath your armpits. Just get through the lift and you'll be, you'll be done. We'll take it do off. Do I need to come down any further? This no, way? No. You're no. sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, if I start screaming, get it off. Get it off. I will. I will. Just go really slow. Elbows in just a little bit. What? Elbows in just a little bit. Then you're used to it. Elbows in. Yeah, so just, your elbows, just like that right there. Yeah. Uh, just... You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Two, one. Let me spot him. Just go slow. You got it. Drive it up. Ah! Hell yeah! Woo! 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 Congratulations. <laughs> Isn't it funny? Nobody told me Jack S that it was going to hurt until I got down on the bench. Yeah. All right, when the weight comes down, it's probably going to hurt. Just going to cut your arm off right here. <laughs> yeah, they'll just pinch your arms off. There you go. <laughs> Whoa, ready? Let's go to the gun store. Yeah. Oh, man. Not until I lay down on the bench and I got the weight about to get it in my hand. Yeah. This is, this is going to hurt a lot. Uh, yeah. Pinch your arm. They'll probably yeah. not feel nothing for weeks. <laughs> but let's go. Yeah, they'll pinch off like the end of a sausage patty. Don't <laughs> worry about it. That's a driving force to get it off of you. It is. It hurts so bad, you got no choice but just to push, push. that bitch straight up. Who in the world came up with this as an idea to help? Why don't you just do naturally what you can push and let that be the... It's just a way, it's like Dan and, and Larry North said, it's a way to make weightlifting more exciting. You go from, you know... Lifted three, four hundred pounds to five or six. I guess. But I mean, if you're going to get to the point where you're using stuff, why not just get out there with a wrench? Yeah. Uh, I mean, a, a winch. A winch, yeah, pull it up. Yeah. Well, it's... look, now we can do 3,000 pounds, <laughs> but you're using a winch. But I'm turning it on. <laughs> is the car going up? <laughs> yeah, is the car up or down? Shut up. <laughs> All right. Can we do news here? Yes. All right. Uh, da, 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 I am kind of curious to see where I am now. Yeah, I am too. It ain't going to be 250. 
Because we haven't really been training for it. Oh, okay. We haven't been pushing recently. Is that the deal to push something like that? You've got to work on that specific weight every day? I don't know. I don't, I don't know anything about it. No, 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 no. You don't work on that specific weight. Basically, you just change up your workouts. The workouts Russ does now yeah. mm-hmm. uh, is for his physique. It's not necessarily strength training. Oh, okay. Strength training and just working out to look better and feel better are two completely different things. Okay. I didn't know if the guys had been working on because I didn't know if this Larry North thing is still in the works or not. I, we haven't even talked about it. I haven't heard from Larry. He probably re- well, actually, he said he would take the the what I did with the, the shirt. Yeah, he didn't did. he? Yeah, he yeah. Did. yeah, yeah. Maybe that's why they stopped. I forgot. Got all that. We we got off on Spittleville, and I forgot about everything else. Okay. <clears throat> I'll try it tonight. See what I can do. Okay. Why don't you try it before we get off? Because it's not good radio. Oh, that's funny. It's only funny if you got the shirt on. Okay. And I'm not putting the shirt back on. No, I wouldn't recommend that. Thank you. <laughs> still have it. Huh? Where? The shirt. The Velcro shirt? In the office. I well, thought you guys chunked it. No, we chunked the one that we cut, cut off. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Everyone, untilt your head with that knowing look. I ain't sticking it back on. You guys want to wear it? You put it on. It won't fit us. It's meant for you. Yeah, it's designed just for you. <laughs> Come on. Bring it in here just to let me look at it. Okay. But I'm not sticking it on. Okay. It's all right. It's baby steps. And I forget, we couldn't use baby oil. Why? The reason why is because I can't remember, but it was a good reason. Because your hands got all oily and you couldn't hang on to stuff? Well, that that would be uh, one of them, but not the main one. Oh. Seems oh, like baby I, oil would help a lot getting that thing on. Yeah. No, now I remember why. Because if uh, uh, if you're too slick like that, yeah, it tends to stick to you, the shirt. So the baby oil would almost act like an adhesive. I don't buy that. That's why the powder is better because it keeps you dry. Well, that's right. You guys use powder on me. You have to stay dry underneath it. Let me see this. It's still inside out from the last time I took mm-hmm. it off. That look. It honestly looks like it's a sweater for a dog. That's how close the two front arms are. Yeah, totally. And, and that's actually the size of the damn shirt. Yep. It would go on a nice little beagle. Looks like it might even be tight on the dog. <laughs> what is this called? En- Enzer? Yeah, that's right. Advanced Designs, the world leader in powerlifting apparel. Why don't you put it on, Chloe? I can't get in that thing. I can't either. Look, I, look I'm twice the size as you. <clears throat> I ain't putting it on. Already. You ready to go? Sure. Nope. Mm-hmm. What? You just said we did. No, we don't. Fine. Renick. <laughs> <laughs> don't. All right. We'll come back. We'll come back and I'll put the shirt on. Okay. You. That's the radio tease. I ain't putting it on. <laughs> <laughs> To the Russ Martin Show. Why would you listen to anything else? The Russ Martin Show on Live 1053. Oh, I need to run up and grab a new pair of work boots. Ooh, shopping. I'll go too. No, not shopping, grabbing a pair of Georgia boots. Of all the things a man goes through in his Georgia boots. You can't just grab. You have to think about style, fashion. I think comfort, durability. Tough working conditions, 15-hour days, falling objects. Uh, but what will the other guys say? Shopping for them has to be the worst. Come on, we'll find something cute for you. Yeah, the worst. Get it done in Georgia. Georgia Boot. Do your feet a favor. Check out the latest Georgia Boot styles up close and register to win a free pair. Visit the Georgia Boot Display outside Gate 1 at Texas Motor Speedway April 2nd through 4th. And while you're there, get your picture made with a Georgia Booter. Work in outdoor footwear from Georgia Boot. No matter what you do, you can get it done in Georgia. Don't forget, Georgia Boot Display on the Midway at Texas Motor Speedway April 2nd through 4th. Be there. How do you make a Sunday? 
with Art Sunday in the Dallas Morning News. The Art Sunday section has news and special features you can use. Brush up on the local art scene. Find a museum for a great date with a touch of class. Read reviews on CDs, DVDs, MP3s, or the next great book you're going to read. Oh, and get the latest dish on celebrities. So the next time you and your friends get together, you'll have the inside scoop. Art Sunday in the Dallas Morning News. It's how you make a Sunday. I'm Johnny Caraba. And I'm Damien. Caraba's Italian Grill is getting ready for dinner. It's not your typical Italian. Our ancestors are from Sicily. They came in the late 1800s. They had first-class tickets on the Boeing 747. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> they wanted a better opportunity, so that's why they left Sicily. Our family migrated to Texas, and we made our homes in the South. There's a lot of correlation between Sicily and Texas. You've always heard of Southern hospitality, but here, our hospitality is doubled. But Caraba's Italian Grill, it's kind of like Southern hospitality meets Southern Italian hospitality. <laughs> Caraba is from the Corleone area. It's a real Sicilian name. Growing up, people always had a hard time pronouncing my name. People chop it up pretty good. You know, Caraba, Carababa, Caramba. It's a really easy name to pronounce. It's Caraba. Come to Caraba's for dinner. Enjoy chicken marsala, garlic mashed potatoes, and a little touch of Southern hospitality. At Caraba's Italian Grill, it's not your typical Italian. Ciao, y'all. Visit Caraba's in Preston Center, one block southwest of Preston Road and Northwest Highway. DNM Auto Leasing can get you in a new car with absolutely no grief. They can also help you basically do a lot of homework. If you still if you're still on the fence about leasing, because a lot of people have that conception of the you want the car to be yours, and it's only really yours if you buy it. Well, they can break it down on a paper for you so you can actually see what you own when you think you own a car. Go to their website, dmautoleasing.com. They've got the manufacturer's links. They've got the form to fill out to tell you what your current car is worth so you can decide what to do with it. They've got the email, uh, all the email links so you can deal with uh, whomever you want at DNM. Just And that's your one person. That's your one go-to person from start to finish. There's nobody in between. So you never have to explain your story to somebody new. No money down. 30 to 40% you can save every month. Depending on what you lease, you can save up to half when you lease from DNM over buying a car. And like I said, they can answer all the questions. Any area code. 35 lease, 35 L-E-A-S-E, or go to the website, dmautoleasing.com. The all-American mail has few requirements. Food, shelter, professional sporting events on TV, and a regular haircut. Fortunately for these red-blooded urban warriors, there's Sport Clips, a haircutting place made just for guys with all the things guys like. Things like TVs everywhere, and they're all tuned to sports. And there's no girl talk, not in this arena. Instead, Sport Clips has manly things like hot towel treatments, free neck trims between haircuts, and great haircuts at a reasonable price. For guys, at Sport Clips, it's all about you. The All-American Mail. At Sport Clips, guys win. Visit our newest location in McKinney at Highway 75 in El Dorado near Old Navy. Also in Hearst at 820 in Pipeline by Northeast Mall. And in Burleson at Highway 174 and John Jones Boulevard next to Super Target. We have Guy Smart Stylus to give you a great looking haircut while you watch sports. Arthur the doorman. Uh, hello, Arthur. Sean Burns from 14B. Ah, uh, yes. B for Burns, sir. How are you? Fine. Did I get a package? Ah, uh, no, Mr. Burns. No package has been delivered. Let me look. Mm, nope. Really? It should be here by now. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Burns. Your bottle of Crown Royal has not arrived yet. Arthur, I never said it was a bottle of Crown Royal. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No. Yes, you did. No. Yes, did. No, I said a package. Oh, no, sir. You said Crown Royal Fine Deluxe Canadian Whiskey, just like it says here on the label. If it hasn't arrived yet, how do you know what the label says? I'm a good guesser. Uh, where are you right now? In the lobby. Mm-hmm. Do you see that man on the payphone across the street? Oh, my. Someone's stolen your coat, sir. That's me in my coat, and do you know what I'm looking at? Mm, a doorman who just found your bottle of Crown Royal. Crown Royal, blended Canadian whiskey imported by the Crown Royal Company, Stanford, Connecticut. 40% alcohol by volume. Enjoy our quality responsibly, but don't drink if you're under 21. Welcome, Mr. Burns. Let me get the door. Thanks, Arthur. Can I have my package? What package? Keep more of your money at 7-Eleven. Sign up for a VCOM membership during March, and you can cash paychecks free until April 15th. And we're always open at participating 7-Eleven stores. Nissan introduced 10 bold powerful.
powerful cars and trucks and achieve the biggest sales increases in America. What's next? Nissan's Drive to a Million Sales event. We're out to break a record. One million sales. So you get great offers on select new Nissans, like the stylish redesigned Nissan Altima. Now lease the 2005 Nissan Altima 2.5S automatic for just $199 a month for 24 months with $16.99 initial payment. The Nissan Altima, now just $199 a month, only at Nissan's Drive to a Million sales event. We're going to drive to a million, so you get to drive a new 2005 Altima. See your Nissan dealer by March 31st. We're in a drive to a million, so you get great offers on select new Nissans. Nissan, shift your ride. Sales increase based on PAI Auto Data CY 2004. Tax title license and options extra. Call 1 800 858 8319 for lease details. Offer ends 33105. So, we're thinking about knocking down the wall and expanding the living room and... Uh, excuse me for a second. Hello? Hello, this is an early warning alert from LoJack. Your vehicle may have been moved without your authorization. Oh, um... I'm sorry, I think I need to check on my car and... Report to the police that the vehicle has been stolen. Now that activates LoJack and the police tracking computer installed in our patrol cars and our helicopters. Which is telling me that the black SUV behind that liquor store is the one I'm looking for. Now, because early warning alerts owners to check their car so quickly via phone or email or alpha pager, we can recover the vehicle before it's damaged and get it back. To where I was yesterday when LoJack called me. Anyway, we decided to call 1 800 4 LoJack or visit LoJack.com to find a dealer near you. LoJack. Get it and get it back. Live. Oh my god, we hit the mother load. Good quality entertainment. DFW's number one afternoon show is The Russ Martin, the show. Russ Martin show. This is no boy scout camp. Oh, you make me sick. Yeah. On the alternative talk station. Live. 105.3. For over 20 years, it's been the biggest event in sports entertainment. And this Sunday, live and only on pay-per-view, WrestleMania goes Hollywood. Los Angeles, California. WWE presents WrestleMania. Starring the game Triple H in an epic battle with the animal, Batista, for the World Heavyweight Championship. Plus, JBL clashes with John Cena as the WWE Championship is on the line. And undefeated at WrestleMania, the legendary Undertaker collides with the legend killer, Randy Orton. Plus, Raw's showstopper, Shawn Michaels, takes on SmackDown's Olympic champion, Kurt Angle. And it's Rowdy Roddy Piper and Piper's Pit featuring the return of Stone Cold Steve Austin. The Rattlesnake! The Rattlesnake! WrestleMania goes Hollywood. Don't miss WrestleMania. Live this Sunday at a special starting time, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, only on pay-per-view. Don't miss WWE WrestleMania 21 this Sunday at 6, live and only on pay-per-view. Order WWE WrestleMania 21 through your cable or satellite provider today. This Wednesday is the night you've been waiting for. All new episodes of TV's most talked about shows. First on an all new Lost. They believe they had been forgotten. Made it, made it. Anybody out there? That no one was listening. We're survivors of the crash. Can you hear me? Hello? They were wrong. And. Hello? Sydney, where are you? The ground is cold and damp. They dragged me to a cemetery and knocked me out. Whether you're very dead. Or alive. Have you been buried? <laughs> Jennifer Garner stars in an all-new Alias. Then, something completely new and different. Nothing in my line of work is ever what it seems. Got a problem? Can't call the cops? Your jet got stolen? That's where Harlan Judd and his team of investigators can help. You, my man, are the master. Tim Daly stars. I don't like what you do. Look how you do it. Oh, no. You've got that look. I just wish I didn't like you. In the series premiere of Eyes. Be there tonight, starting at 7 on Channel 8, The Spirit of Texas. White, beige, or taupe? No thanks. If I'm going to paint, you're going to notice it. You can at the Home Depot. Discover the largest paint color palette in America from great brands like Bear, Glidden, and Disney, all at the guaranteed low price. I have ideas for my rooms, but first I need to do some homework. With the Home Depot's exclusive Color Solution Center and the Bear Color Smart System, you can match and coordinate colors with confidence and pull your whole project together with a handy Color Solutions journal. Complete with a color wheel and CD-ROM, it'll help you organize paint chips, swatches, and even learn faux finish techniques. My walls win. 
My wallet wins. Right now, get a free Color Solutions journal when you buy $60 or more of Bear Paint, the paint rated number one for the second year in a row. We're driving down the cost of home improvement only at the Home Depot. You can do it. We can help. Offer valid through 525.05 at U.S. Home Depot stores only. Limit one per visit. Some exclusions apply. See store or homedepot.com for details. The Alternative Talk Station. Live 105.3. Delivered by UPS. What can Brown do for you? One, two, three, uh. you laughing at? I think, but, uh, I think it was a Rob or JD was talking about Monday. We're talking about doing a, a toe off between your girlfriend. Uh, and is Joy going? Joy's going to let you take pictures. Yeah, <laughs> she's up for the challenge. Amy's going to be a little bit harder. Yeah. But I know at one point over the weekend she'll get plowed. And I, you get it. Yeah. Yeah. How much longer is Joy's second toe? Um, if this is the first one, you can use your fingers like this. About like that. Wow. Yeah. Does it have just one uh, nail on it? Mm-hmm. Just, it's got one nail. Just extends more, and then the next one's normal. What the? Quit <laughs> <laughs> oh, it! What's it? Scared the hell How'd out of me. How'd you fire that off? I have no idea. I I was back here writing. I didn't expect that. <laughs> I didn't either. <laughs> What, Dan? I was going to say you can do that with the mouse if you click on it as opposed to you hitting the button. Is that what you did? No, I was back here right. I didn't touch it. Okay. The same ghost that lives in your house is visiting you up here. There are no ghosts. Okay. All right, we'll put them on the web Monday. Okay. (laughs) Jeez. It's almost like that would be a deal breaker. If I got pictures of her feet and stuck them on the internet. You're kidding. Mm-mm. Well, she's just very sensitive about it, so maybe you ought to just let Joy out win. Out of what? Let Joy win. Out of what? Not do it. Say the word. No, Drop it? Yes. <laughs> now, you guys got to see what I'm talking about, because it sounds like I'm exaggerating. Yeah, well, maybe we would just leave her alone. It's I, a very sensitive issue with her, obviously. You're not going to see her face? Okay. You well, you guys are the only one that knows who she is. All right. I'll get her a nice gift. <laughs> what are you going to get her? Uh, yeah. Hang on, let me think something. I already got her a perch. <laughs> get her one of those things she sharpens her beak on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No. But she doesn't... <laughs> She doesn't doesn't think the toe thing's funny. No. She doesn't think our kids living in trees is funny. It's not. She doesn't think me sticking a perch at the end of the bed is funny. <laughs> that is. <laughs> but that second toe is so long, she could really hang on to a log or something, and I could poke her on the chest, and she wouldn't fall over. No. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> log. <laughs> I just blew a snot bug. <laughs> Sorry. All right, you ready to go with this? Uh huh. <laughs> here we go. Six thirty. JD Ryan's here with news. Thank you, Ross. Brought to us by Cape Buffalo. Chloe will be there Thursday night. By the way, that's on Addison Road in Dallas. We'll be there from eight until ten. He'll have free Artie Lang tickets and tickets to the Dallas Cowboy Draft Day party April twenty third. That will be at Gillies. Well, most Americans think nuclear weapons are so dangerous that no country should have them. And a majority believe that it's likely that terrorists or a nation will use them within five years. The Bush administration uh, repeatedly warns ab- about nuclear weapons and is using diplomacy to try to force other folks not to use them. Still, North Korea claims it has nuclear weapons now, and they're making more. Iran uh, is widely believed to, within five years, be developing such weapons. And security for the nuclear material scattered around countries like the Soviet Union kind of remains a major concern. We don't really know 
know where all that stuff is. Uh, they went on to say 52% of Americans think a nuclear attack by one country against another is somewhat very likely by 2010. Okay. Former Dallas resident uh, brought his maimed dog back to Austin on another lobbying trip today to support strengthening Texas animal cruelty law. Is this about Loco? Yeah. Loco the Dachshund Beagle mix had its eyes gouged out by an unknown assailant in 2001. Gene Autry, the owner, has been trying to get animal cruelty laws toughened even since then. The well, they already bumped it up to a felony. Yeah, apparently there's some loopholes in that. There's a new bill sponsored by Representative uh, Toby Goodman of Arlington that would close some of the loopholes in the law, and that's in committee right now. It's House Bill 326. So they took Loco back down there to, you know, give an idea of what cruelty really looks like. All right. Well, it's a tight race as people line up on both sides of the Dallas Stray strong mayor debate. The vote is now seven weeks away with a new poll by the Dallas Morning News showing how divided the city actually may be. Campaigns for and against the strong mayor proposal, which would dump the city manager position and strengthen the mayor's authority, are ramping up efforts to reach voters before the May election. Of the nearly 500 people classified as likely voters in the Dallas Morning News poll, 41% favor a change, 40% oppose it. 19% are undecided. Joan Kennedy, the mother of Rhode Island Congressman Patrick Kennedy, was hospitalized with a concussion and a broken shoulder early yesterday morning after a passerby found her lying in a Boston street. She is 68 years old, former <laughs> wife of U.S. Senator Edward Kennedy. Details of exactly what happened and how she ended up in the street are unclear. <laughs> she ended up in the street? <laughs> There was no police report on the incident. Joan Kennedy, who splits time between her Cape Cod home and her Boston condominium, has struggled with alcoholism <laughs> in the past. Okay. Women strongly believe that handymen are better in bed. A recent poll by 3M finds that 63% of women believe handymen are simply better lovers. The uh, 63% feel that men who are good at fixing things around the house will probably be more attentive and more skilled lovers. And so much for true love, husbands only come in fourth on the list of people women would like to see again in heaven. That's according to a new poll in the Ladies' Home Journal. Most women would rather see their mom, their dad, their grandma, than their hubby. While a small percentage want to reunite with an ex-boyfriend. On the flip side, nobody wants to see a former boss. 49-year-old Wanda Ziegler of Naples, Florida, was arrested after she used a shotgun to kill her neighbor's two-pound chihuahua. She, why did she kill this little dog? She said the dog tried to attack her, and she was overwhelmed with fear. The dog's owner, though, believes Wanda killed it because she was sick of it wandering onto her property. Yesterday in court, a judge didn't buy Wanda's fear either, by the way, sentenced her to 30 days in jail for felony animal cruelty. What is this thing that's been laying on the console for a few days? Let me look. Did you bring that in here? Um, yeah. It's just, Why? It's just a list of things. If you're dating a control freak, someone that does these things. I saw it laying over here next to my console. Mm -hmm. It's just something. It's just a list of things that demonstrate what a control freak is. Let me see it. I see you have everything highlighted. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that's my way. Are you dating a control control freak? Most people have the need to feel in control at some point in their lives, even in the midst of the wildest romance. To help you avoid relationship controllers, watch out for these 10 bad signs. I'm assuming I met all of these. Otherwise, you wouldn't have highlighted all 10. It's just a survey. I don't know what you're talking about. You see yourself in that as purely coincidental. <laughs> Should I go 1 to 10 or 10 up to 1? 10 to 1 is fine. Start here? Yeah. All right. Seems energized by conflict or fighting. Hmm. Where's the bell? <laughs> yeah, so you got one, then we did. <clears throat> Threatens to withhold love and approval and or leave if you don't cooperate or he doesn't get his way. Okay, you might have to. <laughs> don't be reaching over there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Discounts your opinions, input, and desires. Let me reach over there. I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> Where did this come from? <laughs> Low self-esteem, internal anger, and the sense of powerlessness makes them determined to be in charge. I didn't say where this came from. I don't know if this is true. I didn't make this up. Makes fun of you and tell you, tells you it's just a joke. It's all a bit. <laughs> What's the matter with you, Dan? <laughs> I just think this is obviously some sick prank someone's playing on you. No. 
It doesn't say on here where it came from. It didn't say like Source Men's Health or uh, AP S- or S- Yahoo or Ananova or whatever. No, I didn't. I didn't write this. I swear. Has unpredictable mood swings, temper tantrums, and anger outbursts. No. Hit it. <laughs> is a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde who portrays himself as the popular, perfect good guy to the outside world, but will act immature, toxic, and con- controlling to you. <laughs> Tries to control plans and decisions on where to go, what to do, along with schedules, etc. As very few, if any, friendships or connections with other people and family. (laughs) (laughs) You made these up. I swear to God, did not. I did not. Is jealous if you have other friends. Career and family is possessive and tries to isolate you. We're not allowed to have other friends. That's the exact phrase that I've used. You guys wrote I this. I swear to Jesus. I did not write these. Well, who wrote it? I don't remember where I got those exactly. <laughs> is jealous if you have other friends, career, and family. Yeah. Is possessive and tries to isolate you. Mm-hmm. Number one, is extremely rigid in daily life tasks, wanting every little detail to be just right. (laughs) I ain't buying this. What a freaky coincidence. (laughs) Did you guys write this or not? I swear to God I did not. All right, where did the phrase come from? Is jealous if you have other friends. That actually, it came off a thing called wireless flash. That's where that, that came from. It's just a new service. Thank you. Let me see that back. Don't tear it up. I'm not going to tear it up. We want to frame it. <laughs> You've been sitting on this for two and a half years? <laughs> I've read it twice before. You have? hmm Because it's got the date on here, Monday, November 12, 2002. <laughs> I've, I've read it a couple times. I just thought I'd lay it out just in case you <laughs> want to see it again. Thank you. I'll file that again for next year. <laughs> We've done it on the air? Uh-huh. I don't remember hearing those. Yeah, I did it from the old building. All right. Mm-hmm. A few months ago, we heard about a device called the Fox Blocker. It's a small metal device that screws into the back of your TV set and actually blocks Fox News Channel. Well, Sam Kimmery of Tulsa, Tulsa, Oklahoma, says ever since he started selling these 895 devices, he's got thousands of emails, both complimentary, angry, and a few death threats. Sam says he and his partner created the device because they believe Fox News has a conservative journalistic bias, and what they put on the air is more opinion the news. Why do you got to have a blocker for it? That's what I'm saying. Just don't turn it on. Why would somebody I don't pay nine bucks not to see it? I don't know. Why? Well, who's who's threatening to kill him? Uh, just just people have emailed him and just said, you know, well, Fox. Clarice spoke- Tinsley? No, 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 <laughs> no. Fox spokeswoman says the network doesn't care about the Fox blocker. In fact, Fox uh, News primetime. Mike Ducey. No, no. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Fox News primetime rating for the first time in three months. Uh, uh, three months of the year, rather, doubled the CNN numbers. That doesn't mean anything. I know. <laughs> I know what you're cable say. ratings suck. I know. Did you see the, uh, I like it. Is it Bernie Mac? Who's the guy with the new cable series? I don't know. Do you still have it? What was the story you did earlier with American Idol? It's over here. Uh, Didn't that have a whole list of ratings? Somebody's got a new series on cable. Yeah. They were all excited because it's like 4 million viewers. Oh, yeah. And it, it's not Dave Chappelle, right? Because that, technically that's not new. I don't think so. I think Bernie Mac still has his show on Fox, doesn't he? I don't know. I forget what it was. Sorry. There it is. Let me have it. Thank you. I'm sorry. It was a black guy. Ving Rames, the guy from Pulp Fiction. Yeah, he's doing Kojak. 
Yeah. <laughs> Debuted on the USA Network to four and a half million viewers. They were excited about that. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of ratings that you get out of cable. American Idol on Fox is 27 and a half million. I think CNN is, I may have this wrong, but I think it's like in the 1.1s. Millions. Yeah. That's not very many people. Uh-uh. All right, go ahead. Sure. 56-year-old uh, Stephen Copenhaver, an attorney at Round Rock, Texas, just north of Austin, was busted last week for trying to get a woman to perform a lesbian act in exchange for free legal service. Last month, a woman named Lee Heavens of Round Rock called up Stevens and asked if he'd represent her husband, who was facing criminal charges again, criminal charges for assaulting her. She told Stephen she didn't have very much money, and he came up with a solution. He told her to wrangle up another good-looking female, and if he could watch them together... That would take care of the legal fees. Okay. So the next day, basically, they showed up at his house. They, he asked, they asked, what can we do? Get together, kiss, do that. In fact, you may take a couple of times to get all the legal fees done. Right. At that point, the father and the mother burst in from the other room, and they called the cops on this guy. What are they calling the cops about? Well, because he got charged for prostitution, basically. Or, That's uh, not prostitution. Stephen was arrested last week on the charge of prostitution for intentionally agreeing to exchange in, uh, in sexual conduct for a fee. For his fee. Sexual conduct. If he's convicted, nah, he faces up to 180 days in prison. That's a screw job. <laughs> it is. Well, I think so too, but... All right. Okay. Most Americans pay what they owe in federal taxes, but not everybody. There's still a gap between what some taxpayers owe and what they pay. <gasps> to the IRS, the gap is known as the net tax gap, and it's between, you ready, $257 billion and $300 billion dollars. It's a major source of the gap. About 80% of it is from individual taxpayers underreporting their income. Folks like Richard Hatch. It's come up. With, he's finally come up with an excuse, by the way, why he never paid taxes on that yeah. $1 million he, he pocketed. He claimed he thought the network was going to cover his taxes for him. He expected CBS to pay it. <laughs> Hatch's <laughs> lawyers say CBS should have considered him an employee under the California law. You still have to pay taxes. And withheld the tax. Of course, neither the feds nor the network are buying that. Hatch is also accused, by the way, of failing to declare more than three hundred thousand dollars in income he learned while he was earned rather when he was on radio appearances. He recently uh, backed out of a deal to uh, plead guilty to settle his bill with the IRS. Now he faces a maximum sentence of ten years in prison and a half million dollar fine. How are we doing, Chloe? All right, good, John. And, and Dr. Anthony Chillet. Uh, Chile Yak, excuse me, of uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, was on his motorcycle recently. He was going 35 in a 25-mile-an-hour zone. Not a big deal, but he was on the way to deliver a baby. He's a doctor. Officer William Lillison pulled him over and asked him why he was speeding. He said, I'm on the way to a delivery. Officer said, are you delivering pizza? He said, no, I'm a doctor. He said, well, if you're a doctor, I'm Mickey Mouse. So William called the hospital to confirm it. They backed it up. He then cuffed the doctor, put him in the back of the police car, and drove him to the hospital. It's only when he showed the ID and everybody at the hospital said he was uh, really a doctor and there was really a baby being delivered that yeah. he uncuffed this guy. The police officer suspended for... So he still had him cuffed at the time? All the way to the hospital. Even though the hospital you know, said, yeah, that's really a doctor. Yes, he's really on the way. Yes, the baby is coming. Can you get him here? They popped the cop? Uh, 16 days without pay for bad behavior. Good. Uh, let's see here. Last Sunday, Canadian police pulled over a guy. He, they saw him weaving in his Ford pickup truck on the highway, loaded him into the police cruiser to take him to the station for a breathalyzer. En route in the back seat of the cruiser, the man, whose name hasn't been released because Canadians don't release the name of drunk drivers, vomited, <laughs> relieved himself, and then defecated. Then shoved his own feces in his mouth because apparently he thought that would beat the breathalyzer. It didn't. The machine registered. Yeah, that really should have. At that point, I think you have to let him go. <laughs> no, seriously. If you got, if you got a, if you got a mouth flush, you, you got to let him go. I mean, you, you're probably going to blow a, a, a point one two or something like that, yeah. but it's going to be grunt. <laughs> He was more than twice the legal limit. Police said it took him. They didn't let him go after he shoved his own crap in his mouth? Vomited, relieved himself, and defecated, and then shoved it in his mouth. Thinking it would beat the breathalyzer. <laughs> wow. All right. And took him industrial cleaners in about two hours to clean up the back of the police car. FHM Magazine released the top ten of the... 100 sexiest women in the world. That hits uh, newsstands next week, April the 5th. Top 10 lists are... Wait. Uh... Now, they always got screwy people in the top 10. This is a pretty good one this year. Uh, who's number 10? Number 10 is Lindsay Lohan. Uh, is that the one you got the hots for, O'Malley? Damn straight. She wasn't even on the list at all last year. Now she's number 10. All right. Uh, Jessica Simpson. Is not on the list. Not on the top 10. This I got is it. just the top 10. 
Uh, Cameron Diaz. Nope. Halle Berry? Yep, number five. Okay. Uh, number five. Uh, 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 There's a chick that was married to Billy Bob. Angelina Jolie. Yeah, is she on there? Mm-hmm. What number? Number one. Okay. She was number two last year. Uh, he shoved his own grunt <laughs> in his mouth, and they didn't let him go. No, they couldn't let him go at that point. At was, a certain point, you got to give somebody credit for creativity. No. <laughs> he, was, he was obviously drunk and stupid and crazy. Fine, uh, you let him walk home, but give him credit for the man's obviously yeah. got other issues other than he's drunk. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Pamela Anderson's number eight. Terry Hatcher, number seven. Uh, Alyssa Milano is number six. Uh, Halle Berry, five. Like I bet Terry Hatcher's got a rotten set of cans. Why? I, she was on the cover of something in this, that we had in the studio. People or whatever. And you could tell by the top she was wearing, those things are flat. Really? Yeah, very floppy looking. Yeah. Hasn't she had kids? Yes. Yeah. Paris Hilton came in number three. Jennifer Garner, number two. And Angelina was number one. All right. Do well, you think your lady is uh, fantasizing about Brad Pitt while you're having sex with him? Well, a poll on uh, too timid dot com. Are you having sex with her? Yes, I'm sorry, that's what I meant to say. All right. It finds that 43 percent of <laughs> you think about Brad while I scream. <laughs> <laughs> Both on this. Uh, anyway, they found out 43 percent of people say they think about somebody else during sex. What do they think about? 18 percent think about an ex. 15 percent think about a coworker, and 10 percent, only 10 percent, think they think about a celebrity. What do you think about? I think about joy. No. Only. Why can't you be honest for I'm not once? Gonna, I'm not. Why would I, even if I by chance do, why would I say that? Because you know you do. From time to time, you, you feel like that last little thing needs a little push. So you think of somebody famous. What, who do you think of when you're doing? Uh, who do I think of? Sometimes I think of exes. Do you? Uh-huh. Sometimes I think of L.A. Do you? Yeah. You haven't heard from her forever. Uh-uh. Uh, Terry Weigel. Porn star. Yeah, she's hot. Mm -hmm. Did you do her? I did her face. Okay. That's the one I had the picture of. Um, stuff like that. I don't. You're lying. I really don't. Lie detector? <laughs> Ashton Kutcher Lie detector. hired Brad Pitt. Will you take a polygraph? I think Joy would like to know this. No, she doesn't. I don't I don't know. I don't. I don't think, yes, you do know. Can I read my story? This no. is a good one. How about a, how about a polygraph? Of all your exes, and do you ever think about them while you're I, having I sex with Joy? I I don't think of exes. I really don't. Celebrities? I'm trying to think. Not really. I think more of situations. I think Joy would in, would, would appreciate a polygraph, and she would know that your love is... Uh, uh, My love is true. Is validated. It's fine. It's real. This is a good story about Ashton Kutcher. Uh, he hired Brad Pitt's personal trainer after watching Demi Moore drool over Brad's body. Why don't Troy. we get Diane from Don't Lie In? I don't want to. I've, I've done that enough. I think Joy would uh, appreciate it. Ed McMahon's going to write his memoirs. I don't care. It's a book called Here's Johnny. You ever fantasize about him? <laughs> oh, Johnny, yeah. Uh -huh. He was smooth. Stories he shares with Johnny's blessings given before his death. Paint a picture of Carson so cool before the camia, camera, but genuinely shy. McMahon re uh, recognized Carson's gift early in their partnership and felt blessed to hitch his wagon to this rising star. I'm writing, I'm writing memoirs. What are you going to write? All the stuff about you. What do you know about me? I know everything about you. What is it that... The problem is you've told it all. I was going to say, what is it you know about me that I haven't talked about? I really don't know anything. The only thing I want to know is, who is the guy in the other studio that's been staring at me for three and a half hours? I don't know. Who the F is that? I've seen him in there, too. Who is that, Dan? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's Bruce. He's one of the board ops here. But, but he's been standing in there since three o'clock. Yeah, it's a good show in here. <laughs> no, not today. And I felt bad because I kind of, in fact, I even looked up and he'd been sitting in that one spot for so long. Uh -huh. He wasn't there and I missed it. <laughs> where, where did my listener go? Oh, yeah, I was in. It. It's like, well, the show's obviously got to suck. He couldn't even, he wouldn't sit there. Stop it. He may have had to go to the bathroom at, at that moment when you looked up. I mean, three and a half hours is a long time to sit in one place without having to pee. Can he? Can he talk to me from that uh, intercom in there? Uh, not, not from the intercom. No. Oh. No, he could if I left my mic on and he spoke into it. The one behind. Well, I asked him where he went a while ago. I was distressed. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, he was in the uh, production room next door. Doing what? Vertical. Uh, he was doing Lycus's promo. Uh, so he had to work. Yes. So he wasn't bored with the show. Not at all. Asking. A fun we're, show. We're on board, were you? No. You love the show, right? 
Rapper Master P and his brother pleaded not guilty today to felony charges. Oh, What's wrong with his family? What family? The the Master Rapper P guy. Are they black? <laughs> Him and his brother. Are they? But yeah. Okay. That's <laughs> not right. <laughs> and his third brother, Corey Miller, that's a rapper that all uses... Rappers, the C- 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 all rappers. All good rappers are black. Yeah. We'll agree on that, right? Yes. And all rappers like to kill each other. <laughs> <laughs> These guys were carrying around guns in a lease car that they were un- unregistered. And then their other brother, C. Murder, is appealing his second degree murder conviction for popping a 16-year-old kid in a nightclub. Yeah. What's wrong with these people? I, that's part of their image. I guess. But it's not just an image. They really do it. Huh? I'm still hoping that'll catch on in the country community. <laughs> I know you are. What is it, Jules? Yeah, um, I was thinking that, you know what I think about? I think about, like, I'm having an orgy, like, one guy after another. D- oh, you- they, they, you're, like, pulling the train? Yeah, and I'm, I'm busy with other stuff, too. Like, what others? Where are you from? Um, New York. Yeah, I thought so. How long you been down here? Two years. Yeah. You like it down here? Oh, yeah, it's good. Um, kids like it. My husband likes it, so. You ever, you ever pulled a train? No. Um, I have fantasies about it, and I uh, think about girls and stuff. Yeah. What's, a weir- Jeez, hold on a second. Sorry. What's the weirdest thing that you've done? Uh, I don't know. Done it in a stairway in a project, something like that. What projects? Out of New York. You know, uh-huh. those big... Uh, Ghetto projects, yeah. and the stairways, and also um, in a hallway, like in the entrance of a house. Uh-huh. That's about it. Let me ask you something off the air. You ever cram a, a trailer hitch in? <laughs> <laughs> no, ah. I don't like it. Didn't appreciate it. <laughs> All right, I'm just curious. You sound like somebody would get off on that. God. <laughs> A lot of women have that fantasy of uh, trailer hitch. No. <laughs> no. Every, every time they drive by a U-Haul, they can't. Yeah. <sighs> what were we gonna say? I'm just saying a lot of women have that fantasy of m- m- multiple guys pleasing multiple guys and being. That's the one that attention. Amy keeps throwing out, but I don't know if she keeps throwing it out to shut me up about a three-way. Because she goes, "Well, all right, if I can have two guys, then we'll bring another girl over." I think but that's got to be the fair trade-out, and I'm never gonna do that. Well, I know you're not. I just think secretly a lot of women really think that they'll never say it. I about the doubt this lady's ever told her husband that, but they have that as a fantasy. You get that they're the center of attention. They're able to please multiple men. You can time. have you and another chick in the in not in the studio in the in the, bed, in the bed, and both of you can still focus on the one chick. So she's still the center of attention. That's not what they want. They want multiple guys. I don't want. I know you do. I in my rule, I have a limit of two balls in a bed. <laughs> That's a good, that's a nice round number. No more. <laughs> Unless I get cancer, no less. But never anymore. There's no reason for two sacks to be in one bed with me and my girlfriend. Just, it's fine. ever. Okay. okay. Especially if we touch. You can avoid that. Be I, I forgot. How did you do it? You'd be at opposite ends. Always. Well, you can. And do you ever spin her around? Sure. You can. Uh, how do you decide who gets a good hole? <laughs> What's your definition of good? I, I don't know. It's, it's Well, how do you decide who gets well, what? Normally, the guy that's going with the girl gets the good, gets the good he one. He gets to pick first? <laughs> yeah. He gets okay. To pick. But obviously, the girl wants variety. Oh. I won't get too technical. Okay. Seems like it would add more excitement on it to stick her on a lazy Susan and spin her. No. And then you end up with whatever you get. Like a sit and spin? No. <laughs> yeah, and it, that way it's like roulette. It's a game of yeah. chance. Yeah, you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> That's a fun game. Yeah. And if you really wanted to add to the um, chance, right. you could wait till it. The... Don't. <laughs> Whatever you're going to say, stop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, then? <laughs> say it anyway. <laughs> say it. <laughs> wait till what? <laughs> Certain week. No. God. Oh, Russell's. <laughs> I'm wrapping it up there. There's a new That's how you know you lost. <laughs> I'm J.D. Ryan. We'll be back to the Russ Martin Show. 
Jesus. <laughs> you are the nastiest. <sighs> like catching the brass string. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's an afternoon fraternity with a lot of hazing. The Russ Martin Show on Live 105.3. When it comes to your life, no one has more services that revolve around you than Charter Communications. Whether it's choosing from hundreds of great channels, ordering a hit movie without leaving your house, or experiencing the internet faster than ever, only one company lets you do it all. Charter, not satellite. Plus, with Charter, you'll enjoy all of your local channels and clear reception in all kinds of weather. Call 1-888-GET-CHARTER and save on Charter Cable and Charter High Speed. Charter High Speed Internet Service, now faster than ever with up to 3 megs. That's up to twice as fast as most DSL connections. You can't get all this with satellite. So call now and get great savings on both Charter Cable and High Speed Internet. Packages start as low as $29.99 a month for three months. Plus, save $400 when you ditch the dish and switch to Charter. Make your world revolve around you. Call 1-888-GET-CHARTER and get hooked. Restrictions apply. Call for details. Let's go! The word is out. At Dodge, we've added over a million proud new owners. My Dodge Magnum can really haul stuff. And it just plain hauls. My Grand Caravan's got exclusive stow-and-go seating and storage and 0% financing. No wonder it's America's best-selling minivan. Join us during the Dodge Spring Sales Event to get the most award-winning lineup in our history. Get 0% APR financing plus a March bonus cash allowance that can save you thousands on the new Dodge car, truck, minivan, or SUV of your choice. Hey, I got a V8 in my Dakota. Lots of room and zero financing. You gotta love those numbers. My Durango came with a smooth ride, bonus cash, and tons of room. My Dodge Ram's got great looks, and I got zero financing. Join the millions. Log on to Dodge.com slash spring event and see what the buzz is all about. Yeah, my Dodge Ram's got a Hemi, and the deal? Sweet. Actual savings vary with loan amount. 0% APR financing not available on Magnum. Financing and bonus cash for qualified buyers. Not all buyers will qualify. Hey, honey? Yeah? Should we add one or two more lines on our new America's Choice Family Share Plan from Verizon Wireless? Who's the third for? Uh, Marcy. Don't you think she's too young? She's not too young to tie up my phone for hours. Maybe she could tie up her own. How much? Nine ninety nine monthly access per line. Only nine ninety nine. Yeah. Well, her birthday's coming up. And I'll get my phone back. Okay, but get one for Natalie too. Well, she's only thirteen. Yeah, but she can already talk her head off. I thought I saw something roll by. Pick it up, Brad. Pick up the new Family Share Plan from Verizon Wireless, now with no roaming charges, and you'll get two lines for only $59.99 monthly access. And you can add a line or up to three for just $9.99 each. So sign up today at a Verizon Wireless communication store or inside Circuit City and join America's best, most reliable wireless network. Verizon Wireless. We never stop working for you. Subject to two-year customer agreement, $15 activation, and $175 termination fee per line. Other charges and restrictions. Coverage not available everywhere. <laughs> Do you have a business where you need uh, security? Possibly you need personal security, like some of us will. Uh, Southwest Group Protective Services are the folks you need to call, whether you're looking for uniform security guards, executive protection, uh, security training maybe for the folks you have. Is South the same company down the street? Uh, no. Okay. No. Never mind. Uh, Southwest Group Protective Services encompasses the entire spectrum of security-related needs. They recognize, of course, that a you know, safe, secure workplace, workplace is very important unlike this place where you can pull the doors open. Uh, they also have personal uh, protection for individuals, bodyguards, for instance, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, if that's what you need, if you need that much. Their strict selection process ensures only the highest caliber professionals. They are licensed by the Texas Commission on Private Security. So all these guys are highly trained to do whatever. Like I said, all the way up to executive protection to just somebody who wants somebody to watch over their house. And they're based right here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Here's their website. It's SWG Protect. Dot com. That's for Southwest Group Protective Services, swgprotect.com, or you can call them 214-688-0700 if you need security.
Hey, it's Bugs and Kelly from the Midday Show on the Alternative Talk Station. Live 105.3. Attention auto leasing professionals who want to reach their potential in the auto leasing market. Due to huge growth of Autoflex leasing and the auto leasing market, Autoflex leasing is expanding their force of leasing specialists. If you have high integrity and professional standards, call Autoflex leasing now at 817 or 972-234-1234 for a career opportunity with the leasing leader. Autoflex leasing is America's largest independent auto leasing company. And they offer more than 50 different lease programs on every vehicle. Their volume of calls is unequaled, and they offer full benefits, better income, and shorter hours. And you'll have fun for a change. You must have automotive sales or leasing experience. So if you qualify and want a career and not just a job, you owe it to yourself to call America's largest independent auto leasing company at 972-817-234-1234. Call Autoflex Leasing today. Autoflex Leasing, an equal opportunity employer. Size does matter. KLLI, Dallas, Fort Worth. The 100,000 watt home of DFW's number one talk lineup. Now, back to the Russ Martin Show. You ready to go, Dan? Yes. Rob found out that it was a at work crew at the end of my street. Really? Digging around that popped the power on a bunch of houses. I knew as soon as the power went out, I walked outside, and it was those idiots down the street. Dug a hole. One of our chickens went nuts. No. <laughs> <laughs> what is he, chicken? <laughs> So they had to fry it. <laughs> Chicken got loose in the pole hole digger. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> It'll probably be off when I still get home because they said it was going to be at least 7 o'clock before they could send somebody out. Oh, my God. Yeah. And, it's, and you know, just because it means they get there at 7 o'clock don't mean the power's back on. No, whatever they've cut, they're going to have to dig all the way around it, get down. Fix it. Fix it. Yeah. <clears throat> Hold on. Yes, Rob. Sorry, I, I just called out to. Thanks for saying where I live. That's what I thought. <laughs> Rob called the police yes. where I live mm-hmm. and found out my power was still off. It's pertinent to Rob and his story to say exactly what city, which police department he called. You have to. Right. Otherwise, the story's not any good. <laughs> no punchline. Yeah, no punchline. And my power being off unless you know where the freak I live. <laughs> Ready, Dan? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, that guy's gone again. Oh, no. He's still in the studio. What yeah. is his name? Uh, Bruce. I like, it too. I like where he stands <laughs> and I can see him. Bruce, get back over there. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. It reminds me of somebody I used to know. Who? Walt Beeman. Oh, he does, actually, yeah. Yeah. So it was kind of comforting to watch him sit there through the whole show. Very nice. And, and because he was there all, the whole time, I figured, well, the show's got to be okay today. Yes. Even though I don't got my show notes because my power went off. Mm. But Walt's still sitting down there. Enjoying it. What's his real name? Bruce. Can I call you Walt? <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. All right. For more information about the Russ Martin Show, pictures, links, video, and more, just go to RussMartin.com. To get answers to any question you might ever have about the show, just go to RussMartin.info. To instant email only during the show, send that to... Walt, the show's not over. Back over here. <laughs> All right. Keeps moving. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. To instant email only during the show, send that to studio at RussMartin.com. The other show websites are JohnDavidRyan.com, TheGrandDragon.com, DanAntasos.com, GailLightfoot.com, and DJClo.com. 
For Laura Brumley's cooking website, go to saltandpeppercooking.com. For more information about the Spittleville production, go to spittleville.com. For Black Eddie's weather information website, go to weatherinig.com. And the official site for KLLI is live1053.com. All right. See you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Here? No, she's not. The Russ Martin Show on the Alternative Talk Station. Live. Live. Hottest international showgirls showing you everything you want to see. The Gold Club. A BYOB party with all your favorite sporting events on 128 plasma high-definition screens. The Gold Club. Luxurious rendezvous seating in our oh-so-private VIP enclave and extreme skyboxes. The Gold Club. Five-star international cuisine from Chef Ramon. Enjoy a complimentary, lavish, 70-foot luncheon buffet Monday through Friday. Full menu service till 1.30 a.m. daily. And our own special legs and eggs breakfast buffet every Friday. Friday and Saturday night till 4 a.m. The Gold Club. Two for Tuesdays, where all dances are two for one, and $10 Sundays, with $10 cover and $10 dances all day. The Gold Club. BYOB and all nude all the time at the all new Gold Club at PT's Plaza, Plano Road at Miller Road, just north of 635 in Dallas. The Gold Club. Be there tonight. When I say the word free, the first thing that pops into your head might not be bank, <laughs> but that's because you haven't been to South Trust. I just opened a new South Trust checking account and I got so much free stuff, I couldn't believe I was in a bank. First of all, the checking is totally free. Plus, I got a free check card with free Visa Extras rewards. Free online banking with free online bill payment. No South Trust fee when I use other banks' ATMs. And it's all free. No monthly service fee, no minimum balance, no direct deposit requirement, no strings attached. Banks and free stuff. Hmm. If you have trouble thinking about those two things together, it could be you're with the wrong bank. Stop by a South Trust Financial Center today or call 1-800-CALL-STB for your free personal checking account. You're not just another customer. We're not just another bank. Member FDIC. On January 3rd, 2005, South Trust and Wachovia Bank N.A. merged. South Trust is a registered trademark of Wachovia Corporation. I'm with the Wilson family. Go ahead, Patty. Hi. Well, we decided to switch to the fair and flexible plan at Sprint because our old wireless company charged us huge fees for going over the minutes in our family plan every month. So we sat down for a family meeting, took a vote, and decided it was all Wendy's fault. Yeah, that was a tough time for her. Mom. Well, it was. But she's the one that suggested Sprint, so it all worked out. Good call, Wendy. Thank you. No more huge overages. The Sprint PCS Fair and Flexible Plan for Families automatically adds anytime minutes as you need them. Start with two lines and share 800 anytime minutes for just $70 a month. And every 100 extra anytime minutes cost just $5. Sprint PCS. Now that's better. Offer in 61205. Requires two-year agreement per line and preferred credit. Taxes and Sprint surcharges excluded. Activation and termination fees apply. See store for details. The enemy has numbers on its side. You've got the power of Spectracide on yours. The power to protect your home from invading weeds. Control them quickly. Conquer them completely. With Spectracide Triple Strike Grass Weed Root Killer. It starts to work immediately and kills all types of weeds and grasses. Completely down to the root. Spectracide Triple Strike. Protect. Control. Conquer. Just when you thought it was safe to go back outside, another invasion hits. You've won the war on weeds. Now it's time to battle bugs. With Spectracide Triassicide, our number one brand in outdoor insect control. Triassicide gives you the power to protect your lawn and landscape from all types of invading insects, including grubs. To control them quickly, conquer them completely above and below ground. Spectracide Triassicide. Protect. Control. Conquer. To us, you're more than just a one-night stand. K-L-L-I. Dallas Fort Worth. The 
Alternative Talk Station. Live 105.3. Have you disqualified yourself from buying your home due to problem in credit or lack of income documentation? There are many people like you. But there are also many people in your same situation who now own their own home because they call TexasLending.com. At TexasLending.com, you may qualify for 100% financing on your home with credit scores as low as 560. Hello, I'm Kevin Miller of TexasLending.com, and we are a different kind of mortgage company. As a mortgage broker and a mortgage lender, we help people like you get the best financing for your home, even if your credit's a little bit odd or your income documentation looks a little bit funny. Call 972-387-4600. You may qualify for 95% financing with credit scores as low as 540. We provide FHA and VA loans even if you're in a Chapter 13 bankruptcy. Call 972-387-4600, 972-387-4600. Visit 4309 Alpha Road, Dallas, 75244 or log on and apply at TexasLending.com. TexasLending.com. Applicants must qualify for loan approval, license 12023. White, beige, or taupe. No thanks. If I'm going to paint, you're going to notice it. You can at the Home Depot. Discover the largest paint color palette in America from great brands like Bear, Glidden, and Disney, all at the guaranteed low price. I have ideas for my rooms, but first I need to do some homework. With the Home Depot's exclusive color solution center and the Bear Color Smart System, you can match and coordinate colors with confidence and pull your whole project together with a handy color solutions journal. Complete with a color wheel and CD-ROM, it'll help you organize paint chips, swatches, and even learn faux finish techniques. My walls win. My wallet wins. Right now, get a free color solutions journal when you buy $60 or more of Bear Paint, the paint rated number one for the second year in a row. We're driving down the cost of home improvement only at the Home Depot. You can do it. We can help. Offer valid through 525.05 at U.S. Home Depot stores only. Limit one per visit. Some exclusions apply. See store or homedepot.com for details. It's Valerie, your morning news and traffic chick. I'm here with Tony Cooper from All Pro Foundation Repairs. Tony, there are so many methods out there to fixing foundations. So uh, which is the actual best? How do you know? By how much weight the pier can support. This is what's important to you. The job of a pier is to support weight. The more way it supports, the better the pier. Guys are hiding from the truth. They're talking about uh, ridges and cables and how deep it goes. They're trying to shield you from the truth. What's important to you is how much weight that pier can support. This pier is mathematically proven to hold at least twice the weight of your house. That means it's mathematically impossible for this pier to fail. And you're talking about the top of the line, the helical, right? That good one. It's hot dip galvanized, solid steel, and screwed into the ground, not pushed in. Also, Tony's offering a $500 free engineer's report if you sign up at the time of the estimate. So whether it's your dream home or an investment property, every job is important to All Pro Foundation Repairs. Owned and operated by UNT alumni. Call 877-MEAN-GREEN. 877-MEAN-GREEN. Travelocity presents The Roaming Gnome, denouncer of travel myths. Our first myth, you cannot afford a vacation. Au contraire, Travelocity has great deals to tons of beachy places. Myth two, cliff dive only in designated areas. Nonsense. The lines are way shorter over here. Now get an additional $50 off Flight Plus Hotel to Mexico, Hawaii, or the Caribbean. Travelocity.com slash beach sale or AOL keyword travel for details. And a salad in an hour or less, you eat for free. And the Hofbrau donates $50 to the Russ Martin Show Listeners Foundation. So far, we've gotten about $350 back to the foundation of people that have finished this thing. So you want to go in and try it, fine. Their website is HofbrauSteaks.com. You can see the four Dallas-Fort Worth locations. The West End, Fort Worth, Haltom City, and Bedford. It's the Hofbrau for over 25 years. Great steaks, no bull. The following is an OnStar conversation. Hi, this is me. Hi, this is the craziest thing that I'm in a different town and I don't know what parking lot my car is in. Can you help me with that? So what I can do is I can send an alert out of what it does is honks your horn and flashes your lights if that's any help. Well, that might be a help. <laughs> Could I have your OnStar ping number? I don't know. If you can't locate your GM vehicle, OnStar can help. We'll find it eventually, but I thought, I think that's one of the services OnStar can help me with. Okay, so here we go. Let's try this. The peace of mind OnStar offers is more affordable than you might think. We hear a horn. We're close. Oh, we can probably find it. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. Thank you so much. This is the craziest thing. You have a wonderful evening. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. J-L-L-I. Dallas, Fort Worth. Live 105.3. The Russ Martin Show. How old do guys live now? 75? 80? 
80? If you stay in good health. Yeah. 80 plus. I know. Don't say it. I know. Got we, got, we got both of us got left and 40 years uh, left. I know. And probably 20 of those. after the next 15 years, it's going to start to crap. Because in 15 years, I'll be, I'll be 58. I know. Is that right? Doesn't 10 matter. is 53, another 5. Yeah, I'll be 58 <laughs> in 15 years. God. That means I'll be 62. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. That's depressed. That that's what depressed me coming to work. I'm looking at all those flags, thinking, you know what? When I when we die, and it won't be that long, there'll be no flags, there'll be no half mast, there'll be who died? What? Who cares? We haven't done anything great. And that's and, that's not the point. It's, it's just the fact that we're we're on, we're on the downhill slide. The the good part, it's already happened. <laughs> we probably got, I say, 15 years. Yeah, about 15 before things get really bad. <laughs> you hit 16, you know things are. You're done. Don't say that. That's depressing. Well, I can't change it. That's what's going to happen. That's why I'm still thinking 50 looks pretty good to whack yeah, myself. You're whack yourself at 50. You have a lot of years past that. Plus, you're in great health. You'll live to be 80, 85. Your parents, how old are your parents now? And they're still healthy? I don't know. Mm. You don't know how old your parents are? <sighs> I'm fine. My, daddy, my dad's probably about 70 now. There you go. He's still healthy. Still out running around. You'll live to be... 80 something easy. Swell. <laughs> well, your dad lives a good life. The last few years are going to crap. I don't even have any kids to call. <laughs> you think my kids are going to pick up the phone? I don't know. Hell no. Sit in my own front yard and throw crap <laughs> at the neighbors. <laughs> That's well, then my, my have my waning years. Sit outside in some kind of lawn chair, the hole cut in it so I get crap in my hand. <laughs> Just wait for somebody to walk by. <laughs> wait a second, Dan. Yeah, go ahead and let it, sir. Good evening, it's Gavin. G-Man. Hey. What are you doing? Uh, just uh, following up with some emails, doing some work. How are things going with